should be live. 2023 Mississippi State Championship. You see Brad Cook with 217 in the house. You see him on right in front of you. We are just about to get started. I never know exactly when he's going to start his little show, so I just wanted to uh, get rolling. So we are getting ready to put on quite the show, I believe. Um, quite a few people here. The entries are good, for sure. Um, I didn't see how the uh, signups were going because they were kind of outside front, but judging uh, on the crowd. I'm surprised he ran two tables. I think we kind of talked him into it. I think he wanted to run three. We're probably around 200 and 20 entries or so. Maybe pushing the 250 mark. Quite a bit of talent. Give me a check if anybody is uh, actually watching this. If you could uh, jump into the chat. Oh, you're killing me, Sean. Oh, he did better, actually. Okay. He was worrying me there. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Bam, if I would have known that was coming, we would have been going live right now, so. Nobody jumped in to say they could hear me. Hopefully you can, I'm not even sure. Somebody possibly in the chat could uh, let me know that everything's rolling and that you can see here and you're ready to enjoy this show. All right, there you are. Appreciate you guys, Joe Nelson, Billy Dar. Thank you. And uh, Joe, as far as uh, let's see if we pull that up. Oops, wrong one. Uh, Dustin Hyatt, I believe he may cut a little bit. He, he probably walks, I would guess, in the uh, like a 178, 180 range. It's an educated guess. I think I've heard that before. He's getting older too, so um, he could be a little heavier. I know once he tops the 172, he, he, he wants to go for that number one spot and hold it. Um, and I believe he's aiming for the for the next spot up. So, ah, man, rock and roll. Showtime. Never see with that shit. It dries my eyes out. All right, a little smoky in here. We're getting ready to roll. Got a legend next to me, Tim Bresnan. Quiet down quite a bit. But we are getting ready to get rolling. I believe we have uh, two or three. Matches, I'm not sure the whole lineup car that it give it to me. But here we go. 
The lefty match here. These are all going to be vendettas. So this is uh, six rounds all the way through. They look pretty even, pretty uh, fair. Yeah, they might as well just strap that every every match. Didn't see that coming. That's when I wonder if you should just be you able to force the strap. I think you're working with me. On rest of stretch. Definitely shouldn't I happen, but you. sometimes you're looking you at it kids. like that's definitely what's going on. I think we work pretty good together. You pulling it all today? No. No. Oh, looks like he's going to have enough. Go watch his arm, though. It looks like he might be too much. Uh -huh. Anthony, you did not miss but that match. If you jumped in and saw that match, you did not miss anything. You know, just started the action. We got a few uh, vendettas and then uh, we're going to roll into the pro portion of the tournament. Follow that up with, uh, I believe, the Masters, ladies, amateurs. Got a lot of talent in the house. A lot of big names. Yeah, they they figured it out. I figured they would eventually. That's a common thing nowadays. Always does. It's a elbow more than anything. Don't slack up, Keegan. You better get after it. Sean Hancock on point as always. These guys look pretty uh, fair to set up though. They're not fighting too much. Ain't messing around. Needs to be a little more patient. The hit definitely uh, compromised the wrist. They're going to switch it up, We're going to round three. I wish they gave me a uh, lineup card. See if I can flip that and get you the other side. Definitely a big match coming up with Dustin and uh, Kyle. If people don't know who Kyle, uh, I think it's Hebert is how you say it, Hebert, I don't know. Um, they're going to know today, probably. He's 
uh, he just doesn't travel much, so he's not as known. But I mean, you're talking about um, a dude. I don't think he ever loses around here. And I'm pretty sure Dustin's never beat him. Whoop, oh, wrong one. But I don't know the whole story. So. Yeah, it is Hay Bear, I think. You're right. Thanks, Anthony. Looks like Sean likes that guy on his shoulder in on the right. Let's the left go a little bit. See how that happens again. All right. Scores uh, twos are three. Oh, Keegan. This is a six round bend down. These guys will fight it out all six rounds. I'm not sure anything changes, but this one is for the actual win. They're going to fight it out at 30 more seconds. Try to remember to get that volume up so you guys can hear that. Right to the straps. Not yet. Still waking up. All right, Sean getting the strap. I'll tell you what, as far as referees and putting a strap on, Sean is probably the best I've ever seen. It's fast. Uh, fast and smooth. Keegan the uh, the win. Wrong mic. Counts four. Oh, Keegan Forch out of Mississippi. Sounded like that one was working when you dropped it. Hey Jess, can you turn my mic up just a little bit? see that on screen the fuel fuel uh, code discount code there on fighter 20 I'll tell you what man that's that's some stuff that uh, I think all arm wrestlers should be aware of and probably use especially during competition the harder y'all let yell the harder he fights Boom, trying to get some excitement in this crowd. There's quite quite a few people. I mean, it's a packed crowd to be this quiet. I didn't set up my uh, third camera to swing around, but. Definitely packed. Looking similar.
Yeah, I would say there's probably 300 people in, in the crowd. And 200. Yeah, it was fast. Something. said last so it's just these two so we have it it is Dustin Hyatt Dude, number three in the country right now right-handed Kyle is not ranked however that's only due to kind of like a inactivity to an extent just not he's not having his name out there he's definitely known Dustin Hyatt always comes in ready, so I would assume nothing different this time. He's got his dad Stu in the corner. I did not see Kyle, so. Think. Got Dustin looking fo focused as always. Looks like Dusty's just going to dive in. Might as well go to ref grip. Then look like they're going to they're going to be okay. That 
was hard to tell from that. Uh, Dusty definitely didn't just dive in, but Strap could change that. So they go outside. I can't tell power wise or anything from that. So. Interesting. I think this strap will give us a little more info. Got Craig Millett right there on the downside. Sean Boom Hancock is your head ref. Boom Premium Promotions. He is the one putting on the whole show. like he was looking for a false start call probably but he knew he was in a spot dusty gets there i don't i mean what are you gonna do but that's just one let's see what happens see if it uh see if it changes this time if we get anything different obviously i'd see him have to change it up a little it didn't work could do the same thing just a little bit better i'm not sure I might have to uh, join the party, you know. It sounds fun. All right, we should be at time. I don't know if they're giving two minutes or one. Usually we got one minute between. Maybe it's two. Kyle's going for a huge towel. Go! Step him up! Well, they look very close outside of the strap, so let's see if this goes the same way. Maybe it's just the strap's favorite, Dusty, or. We'll see. We'll find out. Definitely got a nice little strap set up there. Let's try set down. Class, the money class. 
I, uh, last I heard, uh, and again, I haven't been up really to the registration table, but the last I heard, there was like 25 people in it. And I forgot about that class, actually. They will run that one first. So right after this uh, vendetta, I believe they do the money <laughs> class and, and, then the, uh, and then the pros, the rest of the pro classes. But man, there is uh, quite a few names in here. It's a good turn. Got that there, Louisiana. Louisiana Bulldogs. Got that right there, baby. Love Louisiana. I promise you, the harder he yell, the harder he pulls. When I say go, you guys fire up. Blow the roof off this place. Let's get it on, guys. Come on. Calling them up. It's round three. So a little bit of a different match in round two than one. So let's see if uh, we can get some more excitement here. Both these guys definitely came prepared. Should be obvious at this level, but it's good to see. Opinion that's a uh, international master referee there. What was that? They need to fix the lighting. I don't know. The light looks pretty good on my end. Nice little glare off of Craig's head, but I'd run into that same problem for sure. Which I believe I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and jump on the table at some point. So we'll test that theory. Yeah, he's definitely cupping. figure it out although I do believe that I don't know I don't I need to be able to rewind this and do a replay somehow I gotta figure out how to incorporate that I know if I have like a separate I usually pull it up on a separate machine or my phone and then I can just pull it up on YouTube but I think if I was to rewind that I'm pretty sure that that elbow came pretty far off that pad quite a bit before the slip Second machine, and I'm not really trying to overload this one with what I got going on, especially if everything's running pretty smooth at the moment. In which case, I can't really market it either. So, if you guys want to let your people know that the stream is available and this is where it's at, it would help get this in front of more. Viewers, more arm wrestlers. Hopefully, more of you guys will show up at this tournament next year because this is definitely a tournament to attend. Um, it's one that Arm Fire will follow for sure forever. Put it on the list of elite tournaments in the U.S. See if he can stay out of the strap. That's what uh, I'd be telling him to do. Go. Stop. Elbow. Elbow foul. But that's why he dove in, I think, was to try to avoid the strap. 
And Dustin's like, yeah, bring it. Come on into the hook with me. Yep, stew in. Go! No, I can't hear you unless you're in there, though. Are you trying to yeah, I bet he looked at it like, bring it. I reached over to hear that, didn't even see what happened. Oh, just I wonder if he dove in anyway, so I just missed that. That was uh, Stu coming over to say. He was like a fiat in the middle of Chicago freeway at rush hour. He's zigzagging, going every which way, trying to find a lane. I'm not sure. I'm so far behind. So you find the one here. And he's over there to the. Um, so far behind the speakers that Sean's talking into that mic. So when I have the, I got the headphones on too, and I can't hear anything. So when he's talking, I can't really hear anything. I do like that Sean's figured out how to put that table exactly where it should be. We didn't take off the floor or nothing. He's just going on the camera. He's doing a phenomenal job. We're at four. Dusty already the vendetta winner. Let's see if uh, Kyle can figure something out here. Crack this code. Needs to be outside, I believe, for sure. Looks like Dusty's just got too much up pressure. Say up, I guess what is that top pressure? I don't know. I would I consider it up pressure. Like a rise from the top. That was very dominant. I'd like to see Dustin jump in that money class with all them big guys. That'd be interesting too. I believe they're seeding that by weight. So. Curious if uh, Dustin lets him get comfortable to pull him uh, where he's comfortable since he's up 5 nothing, or if he just tries to straight to the bank since he's got some more pulling to do. Dustin looking very impressive. That, that was a dominant performance for sure. Real quick, we are going money. Anybody didn't know about the money price, and you think you might have 
Sound like there's 25 right there. Brad just told me he said six or seven per arm. Got some big guys though. I know uh, you got John Breda in that class. Herman Stevens was in that class. Um, BJ Fakakis. I wonder if uh, I think maybe. Cody got in or not. Saw Mike Todd here. I think he's going to pull Masters. I don't think he's in the money class, but he might be on left. I'm not sure. Um, Tim Bresman also will probably jump into Masters. Craig Toulier is in the house. Obviously, Dustin and Kyle. There's quite a bit, so I guess a lot of the quietness. I am tucked back in this corner, and the speakers are a good, you know, 20 feet away from me, in front of me. So it's all pushing out to the back. But it's probably overall good for copyright issues, but it does make it seem a little more dead than it actually is. I'm considering setting up another camera just so I could shoot it around. I don't think it's worth it. But like you guys care about seeing the crowd, right? Just get some matches going. Do some arm wrestling. Definitely need to make this uh, a trip if you haven't made it. I, got, oh, I forgot big Corey West in the house. He's probably definitely here for the money. You say money, he comes running. Man, that guy is huge. I'll tell you what. I don't know if that's if it's just big, it's wide. Thick. It's hard uh it's hard seeing anybody really. It's pretty dark when I look out into the crowd, so Can't tell. It's probably really, probably just sounds like crap. A lot of background noise. Huh? Through my headphones, it sounds like crap. I'm trying to figure out a way. Yeah, I think I did hear Dustin in that. Left seems a little lighter, but uh, I think I did hear Dustin's name.
up and just turn around like, hey, no, shut up. Like I'm, I'm picking on not. I got him wound tight. And I turn back around, he said something else. He said, I went, you're blind, I wouldn't hire you for all the money in the world. He said, I wouldn't work for you, you racist motherfucker. The fuck up. the footage. All right, can you guys hear now? Brad over here. Making me cut the cut the sound for a second. So you got BJ over here sporting his knuckles up jersey. He was just involved in that big card up in the, in the northeast side of the country. He said that was a pretty cool event up there for sure. Definitely a cool jersey. He's probably one of the big, no, with the Corey West in there. He's not the biggest guy, I guess. You got Corey West, BJ. Um, Tulier, John Brita, Herman Stevens. I think John Brita's just left. Herman Stevens just right. Uh, they are getting ready. Getting ready to do this money round, which, like I said, I think it's six, six or seven arms per side. I'm giving away about what, fifteen hundred bucks or so. What's that? It's been three years since you did this. It is. It's been. 
in three years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know half the people coming up. No, I'll play. What's up, man? What's up? How are you? Bill. Bill. Was it Billy? Bill. Yeah. Bill. Okay. Mm -hmm. guys are ready this is a triple elimination bracket for these uh this money can you hear can you hear check check come on there pretty boy It's just going to stay on table two for this whole thing. I like that too. Oh, I got I to help my, my beautiful bride out there. Really. That's cute. Anything for my boo. There you go. Got to cover that ball head there, Rance. I didn't want to play it. You got to love the Lord's man on the left side of the table. That is a gorilla, Mr. Corey West. Corey West. Oh, we're jumping right into it. I like this. Just wear them down early. Right? Everybody else licking their chops, right? Everybody right now is praying this goes into a war <laughs> right out the gate. Uh, right handed, you got BJ, Corey West. Corey looks motivated. BJ obviously going outside. And Corey, uh, Corey's looking huge right now. Ooh. Jesus. That's a strong man. That is a strong man. He is freaking thick. Looks like he bench presses 4,000 pounds, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Man, we had a trip to Mike's house one time, and we watched Corey warm up doing like 110-pound dumbbell flies. We were like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. So basically 4,000. Yeah. That's what me and Herman were laughing about, man. We bought the same weight. Then we're going to hug with a touch bellies. <laughs> Herman looking uh, very focused as well. Oh, that was like all arm. He didn't even like put his body into that. It's hard, hard to be experienced like that. And Herman just said, you know, he's, he's kind of been out of shape lately. He ain't really been in arm wrestling shape, decided to jump in today. 265 pounds, he told me. That's, I, and I told him, I said, we're about the same weight right now. We're going to hug and touch bellies. Never even heard of that from Herman. I, I told him he looked big, but I didn't know he was going to come out with that. Cody, Cody gets to jump on the on the king right here, right to Craig, right out the gate. Tucking that foot up in there. Craig's hands hard to deal with. Very but Cody in that press. Very uncomfortable looking. Craig looks comfy. Got to slow down, Craig. You got to slow down. 
Trey is kind of notorious for being a little fast on the go. The quick twitch muscles. Wants to get in that spot for sure. Cody looks like he's abandoning that inside game. He's like he's going to go outside try to jump to the straps. He definitely doesn't want to go inside, it seems. But didn't look like it was going to work out too well. Oh, oh we're we going back to the inside game. <laughs> Should have got a ponytail for Cody. Would you help him put it on? I would. I definitely would. Touch them <laughs> luscious locks. <laughs> he got it. Go. Stop. Looked like a good setup there for Craig. He kind of, kind of got weaselled on that setup. We couldn't tell what you wanted to do, going inside, going outside. I wasn't slip, but I was walking. <laughs> <laughs> On that second setup, yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> like Cody didn't put the leg down and everything. <laughs> Good Lord. Man, Corey West. Jeez, that man is a load. If I were him, I'd be going to all the tournaments that offered money too. I think everybody up here just thinks I've ever seen him. It don't even look like he's having to use much pump and pronation. He's just flying people straight to the pad. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be a decent little match. This is a heavy. This is a heavy Herman. I see Herman Only second going. Match. I see Herman going right through him, but Craig did look pretty stout in that last one. Craig, right here. Craig definitely wants outside. You tell Craig's a little nervous about that inside setup right now with Herman being this size. He wants to go outside, which you don't see Craig doing that often. It's going to be a slip right here. Herman's pretty sneaky in the setup, dude. He is. Well, yeah, he's. Craig's always got a little bit of a, uh, a foul <laughs> tendency. Herman definitely one of the smartest pullers on the table, for sure. One of the smartest people I know. <laughs> That's smart table, table IQ is ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's comfortable in all spots. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely going to see where... Craig's yeah. light's gonna be versus this size of Herman. I'm not yeah. sure I'd want to be tied to Herman right now. It's a they, big man. They, they both took a pretty good break for a while too, so I'm just glad to see them both back. You know? Absolutely. Herman's setup looks really good right now. Yeah, he's on that world level where everything's just comfortable. He does everything right. He's, he's set correctly. He's centered, you know. He's going to try to go right over his wrist. He's got the bottom loaded. Let's see what happens right here. See it. Craig's loaded with a ton of back pressure on it. So massive, uh, massive. It's the carve, you know. He's cutting in right before him. Yep. I think Herman really needs to just come back with just the stash. Yeah. You know, <laughs> take, take off the beard, leave the stash. You know, there was a rumor going oh, around that Herman's yeah, stash yeah. cured cancer. That's why <laughs> the government made him grow a goatee. So, you know, yeah. they got to market that right. Cody Franklin back up, David Hobbs. Call me biased, but I'm going to go Cody on this one. 
I don't, I don't know much about uh, either guy on the table, really. Cody's inside game, his press is just, he's he's committed. He will commit that shoulder to the day he dies. It's been a while since he's been pulling. But... Oh, wow. Way out, way out, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> he was on the back side of the table. I guess definitely see David wants the lat drag. <laughs> was it both? Did it, was it offsetting? I don't Was it? I think he called two. Oh, he's off the back again. Yep. There you go, Cody Franklin. Nice call. All right. This could be interesting. See, Cody can do something besides Xbox. You see that? What? <laughs> I like B, BJ in this. I do too, but man, Craig has pulled BJ a lot of times, and he does know how to get inside of BJ's hand. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. yep. And, <laughs> so BJ's top roll is just next level, always has been. But man, Craig really knows how to get inside of them bigger pullers. And he knows once he can get on BJ's bicep, he, he can control the match how he wants. Yeah, he's definitely vulnerable a little bit there. Yeah. B, BJ's still been a big guy, though. Yeah, he's still good. In those spots, and he's getting better. Oh, absolutely. Now, BJ's not afraid of the hook. I mean, we went to uh, WAF back in, two, uh, no, I'm sorry, WAL back in 2017. And. Yeah, he was banging with the big boys on the inside. I'm like, look at you, trying to get diversified. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh, did he? Wow. What nice, a live nice dragon hit. hit. Yeah, nice hit. Craig Touye is your winner. You got some crystal balls over there. <laughs> Calling all these matches. We got a rematch already. Should they be pulling again? They should probably be switching that match with somebody. Yep. There it is. Come on, stay in there, Cody. Oh. Good jump, man. That was a good jump. No idea. <laughs> David Hobbs, I think. Uh, no, David Hobbs is the guy in the red. I don't know who this one is, to be honest with you. Who is it, Cody? I'm trying to figure out where David Hobbs' is next at. All I see is shoulder and ears. Now, BJ's got a beautiful setup right now. He's all in them pinkies. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Winner, BJ Fokakis. This guy is who's again. He's in his hands again. See if Cody can get inside on him. Yeah, he doesn't let anybody get a cup in. Double foul. Nope, false start. False start. That's a fast BJ. You don't see that all the time. Too fast.
BJ was super confident. He let him get in the spot that time. He let, it, let him have the setup and everything. Right. Had to pay when I got here. Right. 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 Corey West, that's a bad man. That is a bad man. This should go Craig's way. Craig's carved in pretty deep there. See if we can keep the fouls to a minimum. Super carve. And it is the fall. Pumpkin carving season's in. Ooh, wow. Craig's skill set to be able to hook in and hit that lag drag oh. is just, it's next level. On Okay. Stop. Wait. Great job, DJ. Nice play. He did. He, he sat back on it. Well, he was on the he was the corner of the pad right there. Great job. Oh, here we go. Straight to the straps. I like it. Straight to the straps. See this one, I, I mean, I can't flip a coin on it to be honest with you. Herman at this size, hard, it, it's hard to beat. Yeah, I got, I got Herman, but Craig's been looking really, really Craig, good. Survived the hit. Yep, you gotta survive the hit with that. You know how Craig, he don't have one hit. He has like four. And he loves that strap because he's lat drags hard into that thing. Herman looks set up good, though. They're both going to like drag hard. That's not the spot that Herman wants to be at if he's doing that. Definitely not. It is. Beautiful hit by Craig. His ability to light drag on the hit once it's cupped, it's, look man, we trained with that man for years. Using two hands is a struggle. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even get Come a on, second. Craig, he's little, you got him. Forget this triple eliminations, what's got these matches looking weird. Yep. Forget about that. As fast as Craig is looking, I just don't know if he can get to that bicep quick enough. Did he? Craig did get a pin on core a few weeks back. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. See if he's got enough speed to get to that bicep. Craig looks good in the setup. Oh, he's shooting in hard. Oh, he's carved. Oh, wow. Corey West is a bullet. Jesus. You're slowing that down. Not even close. Nobody's slowing that down whatsoever.
So Herman may actually flop for his press. He's done yeah, it before with DJ. Oh, he's going out. Uh-oh. Did he get and above him? Here it goes. And he is setting up for it. Flop wrist. He did get above his hand. He did. <laughs> That's tough to get above BJ. It's a dangerous spot to press in. BJ's closed this gap a little bit in the, uh, from the past, but BJ used to really sit back on that tricep to post that hand up. And if he does that, Herman will flop wrist through it. He's got a man of many tools. I see Herman changing up and going a different direction this time, though. He's going to jump into the hook. I don't think he's going outside. Kind of like a more of a this angle, just press in. He's real good at setting up the yeah, exact set up same way every time. Oh, look. He doesn't really. Uh, he's definitely going inside. Show what he's going to do. Yeah. No, he oh, stayed he on the outside. The Stoned him, too. Here it goes. He's oh, setting he up for the it. press. He's setting for the press. Oh, BJ needs to drag back. Yeah, if he, he doesn't drag back. back. Yeah, he's too much in the center. Oh, beautiful hit. Here it comes. Oh, BJ tried to set up a press. Now, this is a match right here. Yeah, it is. Herman's wedge is solid, though. He is Both not of them moving. are technically oh, look, perfect, really. There oh, goes the press. Oh, that timing. There it is. He just timed that hit right right after he went. And it, if you watch it, it's it's that, that curse of that true top roller. When you set back on that tricep, you, you completely disengage the shoulder to be able to block that, and there it goes. But Herman's knowledge again, table yeah. knowledge skills. Good match. Two staples of the Louisiana bloodline here. Should be a good one. Herman was just in that war, though. Yeah. Ooh, all start. All start. One more. That rubber band said. Herman is crying inside. <laughs> Herman's gonna have to be faster. He has to be clever right here. <laughs> that he's got. Nope. Man, Craig looking super strong. Craig and Corey, here it goes. So Corey is talking, taking no losses. It is a triple elimination, so Craig does have to beat him twice. Yeah, nobody even slowed him down either. I guess three times you'd have to beat him up. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He'd have to, leave, he'd have to beat him three times. Wow. Piece of cake. Yeah, you got this. You got it, Craig. He's little. Pounds, I think. I'll tell you what, Craig's setup in the strap right now looks beautiful. I just don't think it's enough. Craig is trying to get anything he can. He still didn't really get anywhere. He's about Not to drag, all. though. He was in there. God, that man is a animal. Corey West. Now I'm hoping.
hoping Corey's going to pull left-handed, right? Is he pulling left? I don't. I don't think so. Oh man, it's weird, kind of. You would think he would just clean it up, but I don't I think, think. I don't think I heard his name. I think a little buddy Michael Todd is pulling. Through. Money class? Yeah, for the left hand. I think so. But that'd be why he didn't then. Which that sets up a really good match. I can't wait to watch Michael Ty versus Jonathan Brita. It's going to be a great match. Hey, Rebecca. Brad was making a joke. I haven't commentated in this in almost three years. What's that? I haven't commentated in this in almost three years. I'm missing my little Bama bull. My baby bull, my calf. Where's he at? Justin Bishop. Did you, you remember the line of beers we had here? Yeah. It was like the ongoing joke for like a year. Like, if you want to see Joey arm wrestle really good, get him drunk. He was beating everybody. I don't remember none of it. <laughs> That event, uh, that live stream actually that was ran, I think Artem was running it at the yes. time. That was like the the whole reason I started doing the live stream was that stream. Really? Because I never would watch them before and I sat there and had it running because you guys just talking in the background yeah. the whole time and I'm like, this has to happen. I watched the thing for like four hours and I had never watched a live stream of arm wrestling before that because it, really? it was always a shit angle and it would just sit there and it was boring. And this one, it was just, Justin was funny, you guys, you could tell everybody was drinking. It was it was just, it, it held my interest. Oh, I was yeah. like, yeah, there needs to be more of this probably. It, so. it, it was a great vendetta. It was the longest tournament I think I've ever been a part of. But Because really at that point, people had not really been streaming that much and they definitely weren't commentating them no and that was what four years ago five I think it, I think it was like four years ago it's about like the last time i competed <laughs> you God. pulling today no not at all. <laughs> still not doing it man let's see if herman got enough yeah he's left there's Corey left so mike i don't think mike's pulling the money class he's probably just know. pulling masters or no he's probably pulling open for the uh for the trophy. Yeah. It, I mean, that, that tournament was actually kind of like a personal one for me, man. Me and the, the wife actually had some uh, some family issues that were going on, and we needed like a break, and we needed like, just a getaway. So we, we brought my daughter to my in-laws, and we came here, and, and we were so embraced by everybody, just the, the family and friends that we've had over the last, you know, 15 years. And, you know, they just – they were there for us the whole time, and – they made an event of it, and I sat up here with me, Justin, Cody, and uh, Josh was here. I slept at uh, Josh's house the weekend before, and, and we just – it was one of those things that I kind of needed. And it, it sucked that I kind of got out of the sport when I did because it was, you know, kind of something that I needed. But the, this kind of this tournament, this specific tournament, Mississippi State kind of holds a little special place in my heart. I love it. And it was all that, that first time, that streaming, you know. It was a great time. Definitely a staple event, I believe. Oh, yeah. Jonathan Breida looking nasty, too. He's way far on his side. Not anymore. <laughs> a little slingshot. Here's a match right here. Let's see if uh, Breida can even budge this monster. Rita Strong, man. It, he's one of the guys I try not to yeah, bet against. But Corey's been just been rolling yeah, through you people. Could, yeah, you He wants his fingers. I, I don't know you want that. Look at the size of that hand.
press grip. Yeah, yeah Breed is super stout, but I mean, you're talking, that's probably only a hundred pound difference. Breed is probably the solid 300. No, actually, I think he's only like 250. What? Yep. Or 240. He's not as big as you would think. And it's actually one of the big. Ooh, wow. Corey's making it look easy. Corey's making it look easy. Yeah. This is a different type of power. Yeah, absolutely. I think Rebecca said he just did 500 three times. Benching. Oh my God. <laughs> well, as we was talking about earlier, we, we had we had went to Mike's for, I don't know if it was a tournament or a practice, and Corey's like, you know, I'm gonna warm up, I'm gonna warm myself up. Grabs two, grabs a 110 pound dumbbell, and he's doing flies with him. And we're just looking at him like, you've gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> My poor little guys over there in like 135, 145, like, man, he can, he can literally like fly you. You realize this, right? <laughs> Big man. About the width of the table. Herman trying to see if he's got any lane, I think. If anybody can't find one, it would be Herman. But Good outside pressure. He just couldn't get that hand open. It looks like it'll end up. Herman and Brita, maybe two and three. Let's see if Hobbs has anything for Brita. He's definitely carved in heavy. Too strong, too fast. That was a very, very confident hit right there. <laughs> I think he's heavier than 250. Let's see what that little fat boy is. They got to lay down. Who lays down, you think? Yeah, Herman's going to lay down. Herman will? I have a feeling. Well, Brita got one loss. Herman got two, so maybe might be Brita. I mean, I guess I can see that. Go, stop. Oh, they actually pulled. Brita's just too much anyway. I figured one was later. You're right. He's got two losses, doing it. Go, stop. He is. What's his weight? Um, it, didn't he say he was like 240? Crazy. Yeah. Pretty sure he was up to 300. Corey, what you weigh? 215? 220? 218? <laughs> Speaking of identifying, where's my little transgender blondie? Where'd he go? Where's a little color over here. I'm a little bit of Cody Franklin there. Side. There's no going inside with them. You have to crack that hand open somehow. And look at the size of them. Or hand, paw, mitt, whatever you want to say, right? Go. Stop. Yeah. He tried. <laughs> he gave it hell. It's too much. That's world level. You got to almost graduate. You're out of the country. This is that perfect example whenever powerlifting eventually collides with trained arm wrestling. Right. Yeah. 
I remember when Corey started, he was just so strong, but he was beatable, right? There was guys like Herman that would kind of go through him. DJ would give him mm-hmm. a battle and go through him. Then eventually, that knowledge just started kicking up. The tendons started getting stronger. And <laughs> good luck to whoever has to line up with that big man. Just that hand. Good Lord. Loser has to shave their face. He tried, but it went right inside. Yeah, and he just just hits a wall. I think he wants to go outside, but them bottom fingers are just sucking him right into the middle. Oh, yeah. straight to a hook. Winner. Taking home all kinds of dope. It looks to me. What's that? Come on, old man, I got you. <laughs> I got torn. I got. I got torn meniscus in both knees. That's your I, I can't that's roll over on my knee. Oh. You almost cracked your head on the way up too. Hold on, hold on. Not yet. Hey. Overall, my big man. You want to pull him or no? Overall. Why, you got money? <laughs> Tim's out here trying to cherry pick it. I see. If I wasn't pulling, I'd do it. Oh, you are pulling the. Uh... Pulling masses. Now I'm pulling any overall. Hopefully, Hopefully I'm pulling any overall. First place is. We were talking about that earlier. What, what are you, 61 now? 58. 58? Oh, you're looking great for 58. <laughs> I'm only 37. I look like shit. I'm wounded. <laughs> Big boy gonna hurt more than Russell. He's he getting wounded every year. Right? What's it on now, Mr. Tim? That's a whole lot of man right there. He just ran through the class. Fucking peck is huge. Yeah, never seen nothing like that. No. Nobody got out of his I mean, nobody got out of his hand. He ain't gonna beat him. He ain't gonna beat him going into that hand. hand is huge. Got a paw on him. He's strong, struggling just to lift his arm up. <laughs> But you could see Brita at that last match. He was he was doing everything this way, and it would just look like throwing well, the pinkies down. When you set up that sideways though, coming back ain't gonna help you. You, no. gotta, you gotta come back and up. You gotta come up and out. I, mean, I don't know how strong his hand is right now, so it's tough. No, no, it looked pretty damn strong. It looked pretty damn strong. And kudos to Craig. I mean, Craig hit into it. Yeah. Which I've seen Craig do that. You know, that's not uncommon for Greg. Hell, he yeah, did it to BJ after, earlier. After the first time he hit into it, it wasn't. <laughs> he, <laughs> he felt like he hit he the He knew stage. not to hit it again. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Corey lose inside. It's a lot of body weight to move. Look, I think we're going to have to bang the girl if you're going to go hurt. You went to the hot. So that's what I'm saying. They were like, Joe, you pulled? I was like, I'd have to pull 261. They're like, yeah. I'm like, no, I haven't pulled in like three years. Like, no. Hey, I 
been doing, Mr. Tim? Trying to heal. Trying to get back in shape. You moved, man. Not up north, there's no more. Middle Tennessee. Yeah. Outside of Nashville. Okay. Way, way, from, way from all the bullshit in Nashville. Like, Henderson, like, 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 Henderson, like, 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 Hendersonville and all that? Uh, no, I'm about 40 minutes northeast of Route 40. A little fucking, as a matter of fact, the time when I bought the property 15 years ago, the dry town. Dry okay. county. Yeah. That doesn't sound fun. I look, I, I'm. I, I live a mile off the road, up in, up in the woods, so I just stay, I stay back there. He's coming. He's, he's moving down next month. Really? Yeah. He's sick. He's sick. He's coming down sick. We're going to Kentucky. So he's got to pull uh, Dave Terrell, and then we'll come back. We're going to grab my stuff and go up and pick up his stuff up north in my box trailer. And he'll be down. He's got to find him some work. My shoulder up. I got a I got a torn rotator cuff for over 20 years. Well, I couldn't lift it. I couldn't straighten out the over, but now I can because it took me almost a year and a half. I took you know, the ball to grab the trying to throw a softball. It took me almost a year and a half. Fuck that. Oh, Throwing ball when you're arm wrestling? Uh uh. So I stopped arm wrestling, started coaching softball, and uh, man, trying to throw the ball is so bad. Well, you figure with arm wrestling, you can just switch and everything up. Throwing the ball, you trust. We got, we got a kid in Kentucky we train with. His arm really long. His wrist is throwing a ball. Ow. Throwing a ball. His wrist is trained to this. So his wrist goes with his wrist. But otherwise, he's a great fucking arm. Well, see, we used to say the thing, same thing about John Toops, right? John Toops? Toops? Uh, from Louisiana. John, yeah, John, John uh, won a national championship in a D2 school, right? Did he? Playing baseball. And uh, he threw a baseball ball in. Baseball players, they got good, quick, connected tissue. Now John throws the ball as weak as I throw a ball. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. Yeah. Oh, it is. And, uh, but now my arm straightens out. So I'm going to on the doctor. He's like, you know what it is? He's probably had arm calcium, hot, it's all in love. Yeah, he worked them out. He said, you worked them out. It's probably damaged that. It's like, now my, the bottom two fingers, that all the nerve, like, you know what's that? Really? Uh, I can't throw them here. Up. We, had, we, had a, we had a guy, his first turn. Kid strong as fuck. He blew it up in uh, New, uh, New Orleans, not New Orleans, uh, Atlantic City. He fucked. He didn't break it in there, but he fucked his own. He, now a year later, a year and a half later, he just can't still feel him back there. Just from here, uh, I can't. Especially if I keep my elbow on the table long enough, like, like I, I won't feel like all the down to the arm. That's what I tell this kid, kid from Texas about about the Mezzarengo table. I had my pads, I recovered my pads, my pads. My Mesorank will work at least. Hardly any pads. If I had to recover, I put a little bit of I had to put a little bit of gel back. Oh, no, I like that like hell no, 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 I can't even practice on the table with my two sits. It hurts. It hurts to put your elbow down on it. Somebody 
of times they didn't, they didn't like the back room. Tampa Hart had that. I mean, they top them on their right way back. They're not laying down on that base. You're not laying way on that base. Well, see, the original, the original ones with no pad at all. When I had, had a little bit of pad. These are 100% better than the old ones. Well, that's why I love them WAL pads. They were so refreshing. Oh. And I can elbow five a day. That was the fucking one. Oh, I didn't like the one, but I just like that big one. We're, we're in New Orleans. I was sitting with the girl that was running out. They come walking in with that pad. And no, we practice on a regular pad. You walk in, what do you think about this? What the fuck's the matter? We're going to change it anyway. They didn't even have the fucking, they didn't even have the studs in the pad. They had to, they had to screw it to the table. That was the one in 2015. Would have been whatever. Yeah. It, was, it was like the third or fourth one. Oh, what the fuck's the matter? What I think is, you're going to do it anyway. I'm like, there's no studs on it. Oh, we're just going to screw it to the table. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that was Devin Loretto. He said it wasn't. That was, when I pulled Devin up in, in uh, Toronto, we had a, we, we pulled on a bigger bat, yeah. all him. Because Devin wants to go. Devin wants to do whatever the fuck Devin wants to do. That's why he came up with that Freedom Arm Up, brother. He says, oh, I'm like, somebody's going to break their arm. Well, <laughs> I, I, I cringe every time I see that. <laughs> so he, he fucked Ermey so bad. Is there anybody that saw that and didn't say that he didn't fuck Ermey? And they're calling Ermey's and says, Ermey can't, doesn't speak English, so he's just let go. And they're like, no, no, no. And they're like, they're following Ermey's. He's trapped, he's trapped the shit out of here. Well, look, Luke is like, no, our image was moving. No, dude. Cody. Yeah. Masters Open and Masters portion of the tournament. Welcome back, sir. What I miss? Oh, not much about to get this party started. I don't think they have enough refs. <laughs> Keeps them fresh, man. They uh, should be able to cycle through them. Keep everybody fresh and going fast. Yeah, I think so. Two tables, though, man. That's a that's a big tournament. Over 100 yeah. injuries plus two tables. He wanted to do three really bad. 
I'm not sure. It's about hours. There's, there's that too, so we got a picture. We got that to stop the chalk. Reading these off per person instead of per class? Yeah, it sounds like it. The good thing is I think they just want one hand or both hands. They're not just, <laughs> they're not just reading left or right. I didn't even listen for my name, so we'll see if they got me or not. The only bad thing about uh, the little money event they just had is uh, you got to kind of see all the, the big beef on the table, man. You didn't, I'm not going to be surprised at this point now. Well, yeah, and some of those guys probably don't don't even pull. Not at all. <laughs> I don't think Herman's pulled in several years either. Not competitively. I mean, uh, I mean the tournament now, though. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of those guys might not pull. I don't see why Tulia would, and he was so dominant. But. Especially because he's probably going to be in this class unless he pulls up in the class. But he might go for that bulldog. I'll tell you what, though, I really like watching the lightweights pull. I, I always have. I think it's faster. Them dudes will go into every possible angle to get everything they can. Uh, Tulia has got to have a bulldog already, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure he has one or two. Yeah, I mean, how many do you really need? Once you, I mean, at that point, you're just collecting. You want a wall of them? <laughs> So I could see where it's not, you know, it might not be worth it. Nobody's on his level at that weight. No, not even close. And in and, and reality, Craig's at least always, not here, right? he's always had to gain weight. Always. The amount of food Craig eats will, like, surprise you to stay the weight he does. So freaking strong, though. Oh, he's massive strong. I mean, I do, like, he, if he stopped eating the way he eats, he'd probably sit around 160. Yeah, I can see him, I can see him making 65. Oh, yeah. I mean, not now looking at them, but I mean, I could see it. Back when all those WAL guys were making 160, they were all 200 pound guys. Oh, he could have made that. He could have easily made that back then, too. Yeah, it is picture time. Off stage, they're going to get these brackets ready to roll in, and I'm assuming they are going to fly through them because that's what's up. Now, have you got a chance to watch RJ pull before? I have. I'm a big RJ fan. Is, uh, his, is his son here too? No, J. Paul didn't make it. So me and J. Paul grew up together. Like the person that got me into arm wrestling was RJ, because me and J. Paul have been to school since we was in elementary school, and uh, you would always see how good RJ was. But being from a small town that we were from, it's like okay, yeah, nobody can beat RJ. Nobody can beat RJ. Then once we get into competitiveness and like we're starting to pull all these national yeah. events and stuff and you see so many strong people and the, RJ used to manhandle these people at his prime it was just it was an insane cause especially because he really didn't start competing until his 40s yeah that's nuts and it's still for his size I mean I think RJ might weigh like a buck 45 soaking wet with five rocks in his pocket right he, solid though man his hand is jacked. his hand is just still today just like concrete Super nice guy. Oh, yeah. But he's focused, man. He's focused and ready to go. I did uh, see him on the way in and talk to him for a second, but he uh, he looks focused and determined, and he likes this uh, event, and he always comes ready to go. RJ? That's a, that's a good question. I don't know. I was like, where's my little transgender blonde at? Huh? Who's that? Cody? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We, we're gonna, we're gonna I'm going to come up with a rule of uh, <laughs> giving a foul on a hair and pits. <laughs> you know, like you got to turn your head around. Yeah. Is he you here? Put hair in a I, I told him, you want to put your hair in a ponytail? I got you, boo. Come here. You want me to braid that? I've been, I've been learning how to braid. <laughs> there she is. You want that? Yeah. Are you with the band after this? Are you with the band after this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I 
Who was like with that hair? We're not sure what he identifies as right now. He's watch, watch, watch any arm wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'll watch Strongest Badge if it ever comes out. I don't know him. He was pretty good. Benny. Did he pull up Brennan? Did he pull up Brennan? Did he beat Brennan too? Bad little dude, then. They run in two machines, like they got a they got a table on each one. Beautiful. What do you think about two hundred and fifty people in there? Oh yeah. At least. Three hundred maybe? You know, and we've had we filled this thing in more before. That's the crazy uh, thing about it. That really does throw me off. I think this looks bigger than last year. A lot of talent, though, for sure. Whether the numbers are there, I'm sure he's got to be in the 220, 230 range. I mean, y'all. I think. Uh, I think Sean said you had a hundred plus entries just yesterday, right? Yeah. He's on early yeah. sign in. Good lord. Pretty late start too for them. He's usually real good about being on time. I mean, I know they ran that money class. They didn't know how that was going to go, but yeah. <laughs> well, Corey made sure that was uh, kind of fast. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to blow through these, so we're going to have a lot of action going on. I think he's hoping to set off amateurs roughly around three o'clock, but uh, it's going to be three or four. Uh, he's going to be pushing. She's still calling names, so it's definitely a, this is a huge tournament. Yeah, tell him to cut the, cut the bullshit at the table. We got to keep them things moving. We kind of talked him into running two tables, too. He's going to come back to me and be like, I told you we need a third table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we needed a third table. I mean, we could back up a little bit more. He can't put three. Uh, we could fit him. It's just like then it, the cameras are all messed up. And yeah. That's why I was asking early if he's, you know, can I, can I lock these down yet? You're not telling me. But really, it slows him down at the machines, too. So... With, with the and the, with the crowd and the slow down there, it, it offsets kind of the, uh, you know, you could knock these out a lot quicker if everybody's yeah. just efficient. You know? Of course, they're going to run into the situation where they're like, all right, who won? No, you're not telling me who won. <laughs> but they can only go that way. That's usually, true. So it helps. They got the extra refs too, so really those guys should be there catching the winner. Sean, real quick. All right, looks like we're about to get this kicked off now. You too. You too.
all good. I'd be saying like 15 seconds before wet ref's grip for everybody. He should tell everybody to keep things. Because you're going to have to be blowing through some matches. And if anybody's not refing, they should be catching the winners for the guys. That'd be cool. Because you guys are going to have to blow through this shit. It's fucking 115 already. It's 130, huh? Yeah. Is it? 120. How many, uh, do you know how many signed up total? Yeah, it's in the 200 plus range. How many weight classes did he end up going with this year? Six. He always does six. Oh, seven now. He does the 260. So it's IFA plus the 260. Yeah. As I said before, we have 23 time world champion monster Michael Todd here. More than an arm wrestler, he has one of the largest YouTube stations in the world for the sport of arm wrestling. He is a huge, huge promoter. We thank you so much for that. He's come here today from Hot Springs, Arkansas to help promote the sport, to help promote the Mississippi State Championship and my food productions. Look at us, we're about to be YouTube famous. Mike has ADD. Um.
have to say that. You guys are good with you and Taylor. Take this stuff out of it. That ankle looks really, really cool. You don't have to say the same thing as Justin Taylor. You got killed, by the way. Mississippi! My name is John Boone, Hancock with Brooklyn Productions at the ARL. Joe Rogan back here? We're going to be YouTube famous though, Rance. We're going to be YouTube famous. You should have seen this in Game of Arms. It was way worse. You should have seen this in Game of Arms. It was way worse. Way worse. We, we were so, oh, it was like, They are so far behind. Very. Come on, man. You can at least put your headphones on. You can listen. Yeah. Sit and you got to talk. It's a deal. Well, I'll get up. <laughs> he ain't going to understand a word he says anyway. Unless you know redneck pronunciation. We don't, we don't pronunciate, we pronunciate. Yeah, is that, that red, red neggy bonnets? Yeah, exactly. exactly. My, my education level's up good enough. <laughs> well, you know, you, you live in Louisiana because it's, I mean, it's just a slight twist, but it's similar. Yeah, that's a slight so it's yeah. <laughs> Why would I say, do you know what I'm saying? I can just go, you know what I'm saying? No, I mean, no, I mean. <laughs> All right, we got table one and table two. The one thing for five guys, you're going to be on one. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. I was, I was just saying, man, I love the 155 class. I know I shouldn't say that because I was always a 98 guy, but I love the 155 class. They're just so fast. They move so well on the table. Like, you want to see what angles look like in arm wrestling? You watch 55. And you better watch close because most of them are fast. They are very fast. And if they ever get into a burner, it's going to be a burner. Oh, yeah. Like a per person, obviously, growing up watching and, you know, getting to pull them was Olin Lucas. And Olin's, like, technique was so crisp. But you could see it, too, because, I mean, him being on the table. Uh, and then you pull people like RJ, who pulls – like a 200 guy. Yeah. Traditional top roll, strong, high hook. And uh, it's kind of like, man, it doesn't look the same versus somebody that's very technical, like a little Dustin Hyatt. Well, it's like watching uh, Justin Bishop. Yes. When he pulls 155. Justin's so technical. You could, you could see the adjustments. You could see him using his hand and his wrist in different positions. I'm super biased, man. Little Brendan's my buddy, man. He's just – Oh, he's a guy to watch. He's a God-given strength for such a small guy. Uh, Breed and Herman right out the gate. Oh, look, look at that. And they ride together too? Yeah. yeah. The good thing about watching those, they're teammates, so they know what each other's going to do. I'm almost willing to do Kyle and Grant are going to pull in a little while too. It happens every time. Yeah. Never fails. I draw my teammate first out. Every time? Every time. Or I'll draw you. Yeah. There's Brendan. Beautiful <laughs> shot. What a hit on Br by Brennan. A lot of base going on somewhere, huh? Good Lord. You know, not only does Brennan have good natural ability, he works He yeah. works hard. As, as long as I've known him, he goes to he all always kinds of tournaments and he, he works a lot. Well, whenever he started with us back in 2015, I think, uh, we told him, like, look, we'll make you strong. And the way you're going to be strong is you're going to pull every big guy in this room. And we're going to pull into your arms jello until you start getting tough. You're going to get tough or die, one of the two. Ah, Brita, easy. Too much. Brandon's got a great setup right now. Go. 
This little man across the table looked like a little muscle hamster, but Brennan just had everything in the setup just now. Well, he's strong and fast. Nice, com nice combination. Skills. So if there's anybody going to beat Corey West, it's going to be this guy. I'm full of shit. I don't even know who this dude is, but he's definitely going to lose. That is uh, Cody, Cody Jackson. Jackson. Cody Jackson. He's from Tennessee. He's an up-and-comer. He's, he's, he's got, a big boy. He's got he's some Definitely good. solid, but that's a tough draw right there. Absolutely. He's not he's, he's not gotten at the point of his career where he's consistently beating real top-name people, but he'll catch him occasionally. Well, right now, he's so far across the table. He's He lost all his leverage. Too wow. Much. And then Corey hit. I think it's the first hit we've seen Corey do all day. <laughs> Here goes RJ. RJ looks focused and ready to go for sure. Is so hard to deal with, and at that weight, he's got to have one of the biggest hands on the planet. How old is RJ now? Uh, he and my dad are exactly the same age, so I think they're 58. That that goes to show you people like him, people like Tim, people like Ron Bath. The longevity of this sport's awesome. Yeah, because Tim just uh, told us earlier, kind of insulted him a little bit. I said, "What are you 61? Is it 58?" I'm like, "My bad. <laughs> you look great." <laughs> I hope I'm still pulling at the level of these guys when I get that age. Cause they're they're still high level pullers. See, that that's my goal. When I get back into it, hopefully I'll be their age, and then I'll still be fresh. <laughs> Rita's got a really good setup right now. He's, he's still too far across the table. RJ with that hand. Oh, it's on the other side of the table. That's an elbow off the back, is yeah, what it is. Elbow. Should be elbow foul. The, every there was no pin because it's in the middle of the table. So who is this uh, little gentleman across but, the table coming But in? RJ's elbow is off the back, I think. I'm not sure who that is. But I'm Tim's right about the pin. Yep. Because you can't pin when it's in the middle of the table, so yeah. there's no call at all. They just let go. But, I mean, he, he yanked his hand out, right? You know, a lot yeah. of people don't understand that call, the center of the, center of the table. If it goes to the center of the table, it's not a pin. you got to be on one side or the other. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually just not even a call. You don't even make yeah, a call. The match just keeps going. If it goes dead in the center, you don't make a call at all. Mm -hmm. Unless one of them pushes. Three to of course, a slip. So take note. Or, or you're or down in the go. middle of the table, and you're up, you know, just push to your go. side. Just push to your side. Let it. That's going to straps. Yeah. He's trying to finger lock it. I would let it go. He just needs to stay there, man. He's not going to. Elbow off the back that time. Yep. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. The B-side just got wrecked. Ah, Jonathan Breed coming West in. Is to take ridiculous. He's just too strong. There he is. When you're that strong, you don't need technique. See, the funny thing is that RJ is tremendously overpowering this young man, but he keeps letting go of his bottom fingers, which makes no sense because RJ's hands are plenty strong enough. It's not like this kid's getting out his fingers. Clamp them bottom fingers and roll with it. Go sideways. Pull that little boy's britches down and give him a spanking. There it is. He's got so oh, much. Man. Oh, he got oh. No. Move. That was a beautiful, combat. beautiful. Adjustment. His pronation is nasty. It is. He got it. Yeah, he his wrist, his pronation through that, and then that that pull through. Yeah, that's solid. That's a great move. Was that eight, eight, these two have this would be a good room? match. They pulled so many times, I can't even count, man. Do they are they at the same point in Louisiana? Do they have practice no. together or anything? No, Brendan's down by Mayan and uh, South Louisiana in Lafourche Parish, where Levi is probably about three hours north. Ooh, did you see that regrip? Levi almost got him <laughs> with that regrip. Dude had an iron hand. You can tell that. Oh yeah, Levi's hand is very, very strong for, for that 55 side. Yeah, they're already matched up again. Is there, They better be going for third place, because otherwise. They probably, yeah, I think they are, because I don't think there's many people in that class. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, they should be splitting them up. 
Oh, smashing that hand down. Yeah, I think the straps, that's, uh... How's all this sounding? Sounds good, yep. They pulling for third? Too much. Little Brendan got a really good sa uh, strap set up most of the time, but he's got the buckle, so it's it's gonna be a little harder on him. Levi's no slouch. How many times have we watched this match today? I think this has been like number five. <laughs> Why aren't they just rolling it though? We need to be knocking these out. Oh, Levi's got everything in that setup. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He had a broken over right before the go. You're gonna have to not be holding on for camera work, I don't think. You sandbagging, huh? You sandbagging. You want to make a prediction on this match? <laughs> Corey West by mom. <laughs> Although, this is the first time I've seen Brita get on his side of the table so much. He has a really good strap set up right now. Corey's got the buckle. I mean, he had, he had, he had to go really far outside. Really far outside. RJ's hand. He don't miss him. He's got oh, he don't do it's, it? It's a trademark thing and shit like that. He don't, nobody misses him. Our, Leonard don't even miss him. Gotcha. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, that, that K-Flex tape that that guy had on him, is that legal? Center table again. Right, somebody needs to take it, to take it off. It. it was uh, the, that that kid in that black shirt that's getting a drink of water right there, that small. Where'd he go? Oh, he tried. Man, good man. man. <laughs> he had the setup and everything. He did. He had a really nice setup, man. Corey's just a load, bro. Good to see you, man. Later, bro. Take care. Harvey Stevens is out. Some glow sticks. <laughs> I can't hear anything but the bass. Just pounding. They're, uh, they're getting on him about that K Flex tape that he had on his uh, bicep. The uh, bass? The wow. guy. The oh, really? Shirt. Yeah. Yeah, he like had that. Like, you know what I'm talking about? That. Yeah. Is it just this one song, maybe? I don't know. Can't have anything on I'll there. I'll let you know in the next one. Levi with another really good setup. See, some of these young kids really need to learn how to load a little side pressure, get them guys off that shoulder. You don't need to be teaching bad habits. <laughs> teaching bad habits, nothing. <laughs> be the man up, use some side pressure, son. I can't believe they're like running one table like this and they're not blowing these out though. Like, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know, it's already 140. Yeah, they're gonna run out of time. Yeah, he has, oh, that kid has some oh, really kid's good pronation. He is, he's, 
like he stopped the surge on that with just pure pro nation. We gotta find out his name. His name's Aiden. Aiden. It's this guy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Aiden Barrett. Oh, okay, that's the one that they were talking about. He's the one that beat uh, RJ and them the other Yeah, day. Brad has uh, Brad Cook has a video out uh, yep. with them two battling. I think what was it? Uh, I forget where they were at. I think it was Louisiana State, right? Yeah, Louisiana. Yep. Aiden Barrett. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Oh shit! 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 Sorry, guys. I didn't miss it almost, but they did. Oh, elbow. They got it. They let it go. Nice. Nice. You know, David Hobbs is coming along. Yeah. He's come a long way. Oh, yeah, he man. looked pretty good out there. Aiden lost on fouls. Ah. So, fun fact I don't even know if y'all knew this or not. Do you know Mike used to live in Louisiana? Really? And trained with, well, it was right before my time, but trained with Craig and them for like about five years. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. Used to work in the plants out there with uh, Craig and them. Back when he was a very young Michael Todd. <laughs> Michael's wanting a bulldog bad today. Oh, he's about to, he's about to flash pin everybody with this press. Oh, a little quick press. Yep, yeah, quick press, real fast. There it is. I have been on the receiving end of it. It hurts. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. I know, dude. What was the call there? We know it's coming. That was a straight top rope, side pressure. Good job, Mike. A lot of power, though. That's hot, bro. That's a pin. That's a pin. What do you get, elbow? There was an elbow, foe. Yeah, it's. Yeah, just a little bit. What was it? An elbow count? Elbow foul? I guess, but I would have thought losing position for sure. Nice, Brennan. Uh, slipping and losing position. Been, nah, yeah. but that's a slip. Should that's a been slip. In, that's straps. Nah, it should have been an intentional straps. slip. Straps. Straps. Yes. You can't. You can't dive in. Dive through. Oh, like I that wasn't intentional. intentional. Nah. Yeah. Nah. He was in. That was good. If he would have been dead center of the table trying to push through it, I'd have, I'd have said yes, straps. But uh -oh. oh wow, Combs over Hobbs. Dude, what? Was that Cologne? Do you say final already? Yeah, this is final. So just not many pros, maybe. And this it was is all amateur. This is that new uh, 260 class that's going right now. Oh, we got you. There weren't but three people in it. Oh, Mike set up perfectly for this press again. He's gonna go right on top of that wrist. Brennan's got a beautiful low hand set up right now. Yeah, he's gonna crush that hand open. Oh, beautiful top oh, yeah. roll. <laughs> That's textbook. That's that, textbook. That, that is textbook low hand top roll right there. Yep. You can't get any better. Okay. Now, this is the rematch that we were talking about from Louisiana State. The RJ, Aiden and RJ? Uh, Aiden and Brennan. Okay. So uh, Aiden beat Brennan in Louisiana State, put uh, Brennan at, at two, and Aiden's only loss so far was on fouls. So yeah, yeah. And he might still be upset about that, so he might have a little more vengeance. Brennan's got the good side of the table, though. It's like I taught him well. <laughs> is there really a good side, though? There is absolutely a good side. Yeah. There's positives to both, right? No. X Rans, I am a table raping machine. There you go, Brennan. There it is. Beautiful regrip. Brennan's hand looks strong. 
Yeah. This kid's hand doesn't look as strong, but his pronation is yeah, really Yeah, he can't break it, so his it's, it's keeping him in all these matches. His arm's solid, too. He never broke loose from his lock. So, so this is where you – Even when Brennan got his hand, his lock never never went. Yep, so. but, but this is where you're going to see that side of the table play factor right now, right? Buckle side is going to take away that pronation. Brennan's going to set up deep inside, close the gap on the strap. So I don't think the buckle matters as much anymore with a fair strap. They are yep. running fair strap? Yeah, yeah, okay. they're, they're completely running fair strap. And it plays a little bit. I just don't think it plays as much as it used to. It's hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Can you speak Yankee? Kind of. <laughs> I can understand it. I'm not very very good at speaking it. So I don't know much about Dalton Moses. I know he's a he's a strong little dude, though, man. I know he's a little, that country in North Louisiana strong. I was talking to him earlier, and he said he's getting back into it and starting to practice, starting to train a little bit. Oh, Brennan's got it. Oh, no. Oh, he lost yeah. it. No, he still got his hand. Stay back. Yeah, it's going to be hard to come back. He needs, that one he needs the lat drag. He needs to wait for the pump and then drag back. Now drag. Now Aiden drag. needs to be pushing his elbow forward a little yep, bit. Yep, he does, but he's not doing it. No. Just leaving a minute. He, he needs the lat drag back. He's got it. Brennan has got it. He can wait him out right here. There it is. Lat drag. Lat drag. Lat drag, Brennan. Ah, that one's going to be tough. Ah, got him. Ah, doggy. He got him. That was well earned. Yeah, it was. Very much. It was a good match. He worked for that one. That kid is good, man. He's got a heck of a little top roll. They both look really good. Brennan just got married. About a, really? Yeah, a few months ago. It's so funny. I mean, that, that just shows how old I'm getting, right? I mean, I remember when the boy was still in high school, that, running cross me. country. I still look at him like that. Yeah. He was just a little kid running cross country at South Lafouche High School, and now he's a teacher there, and he just got married. I'm like, oh, my God. Let's see what Nick can do. Nick lost his hand again. Oh. No. If he doesn't take that hit and he stays patient, he can win that. But he yep. keeps taking that hit separate from it. Separate. Every yeah. single time. And then he's losing his hand even more, and he's done. He's just got to stay tight. It looks like he's in it from there. I like that spot if I could get that strap to catch. So Nick pulls in a very odd way, and it's not it, like if you if you feel it at first, it's kind of odd because he pulls with a flat wrist. Yeah. He doesn't like the cup at all. He will pronate flat wrist. And for anybody that's training, that's the first thing you learn is the cup. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you want a cup, but this kid is just – it is so tight grip that this doesn't go this way. So when he does rainbow wrist, which we like to call him rainbow, <laughs> rainbow wrist Nick, <laughs> when it does pop out, he'll try to pronate again, and it's at that point he's just holding on with the bottom finger. Right. You're holding on for dear life at that point. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Todd, that's Rance. Kiki's been working on his uh, working on his hand, working on his left a lot here lately. He looks skinny. He looks skinny. He's light. He's a lot lighter. You know, he used to pull around 270. Yeah. He's down to about 240 now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Dropping weight. He got tired of uh, playing with the big boys. And now he ends up in the same class anyway because he's <laughs> got to pull 260. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Elbow foul. Strong. Dalton's hand looks very strong. Man. He's, he's, he's looking strong all the way around today. It'll be a good match. His side pressure is straight down, though. He's going to be blown up still. Don't, you need a lap drag. Don't let him bring it down to center of the table. Leo, I was looking strong today. Yeah, he's got he's, a great setup. He's definitely fresher. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a win right there. Wow. Uh, I don't know. We got, we got a top angle, so. It's hard to call a pen from this angle, for sure. Uh, I don't know if that was elbow foul, but we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Haters. Always hating on the refs. <laughs> Tim is getting up there on the <laughs> Tim is one of the most fair refs I've ever had. Make sure his man. prescription's correct. <laughs> it's been a while since he's gotten his, gotten his eyes checked. 
time. What I like about Tim's reference is he just he don't so, he don't so put up with anybody's crap. If you notice what I'm telling Nick right now is I'm telling him to go to the corner of the pad, close in that gap to that hand on the strap. Nick. It don't make any difference. Nick. It don't make any difference. Keegan's so, just too strong for him. I don't think he outpowered him. He outpowered him every time. I don't think so. Every time. Absolutely not. Well, I was cornering Keegan and I said, look, just be patient. Keep your hand, don't hit. You know what I mean? Don't don't lose your hand where you hit just because you're stronger. So and as soon as Nick squares over, he should take that leverage away. And it should be light drag to the corner. There he goes. And Nick's setup looks fantastic right now. Yeah, Nick looks good. If he's going to beat him, it should be right here. They don't have that centered at all, though. Looks good. Ready to go. There it is. Stay. 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 Don't, don't separate. Everybody always wants to Are you separate. hating on my coaching team? It's a good setup. It's a good setup. You know if anybody's going to rape somebody in the straps, it's going to no, be no, me. No, no, I, I was, I was, I was saying, I was agreeing with you. If he's, and I said, if he's going to beat him, he's going to beat him right here with that setup. Now, look, he lost some of the setup right now. Yeah, Keegan got a little bit of it back. Yep, he did. Look, yep. There it is. Stay. There it is. Yep. That setup is key. Justin Bishop taught me that a very long time ago. If you win the setup, you've already won at least 60% of the match. Well, you know, when I turned pro, that's one of the things that I had to learn. Everybody was telling me I was being too fair in the setup, and I just let people get what they wanted. And because that's that you win or lose in the setup. Oh, absolutely. Well, there were people that was way I was way stronger than that should come even close, but was better setting up, and I never had a chance. But the setup is everything. Well, uh, I'm trying to remember his name. I think it's Mario. I think he's either from uh, yeah, from Georgia? Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. Mario, yeah. yeah, Mario. Uh, I don't know Mario's last uh, name. I don't remember. I can't call his last name right now. But. So I beat I beat Mario about three years ago. Been, been off for a while. Mm -hmm. But I beat Mario on setup. And Tim McPherson was like, you going to let Joey set up? I'm like, Tim, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> like, I'm weak. Let me get my win. I've got a – you and I were pulling at Hubfest one time. And I've got it on video, and you could hear Keegan yelling at me, don't let him get that on you. <laughs> don't let him get it like everybody else. France? He's raving you. That is mine, right? Is that yours? Yeah, yours. it's not mine. Ready to go. Ah! Wow. 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 Dalton looks strong. <laughs> Dalton Moses. Man, he just came on the scene with a bang. I, I'm kind of upset, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset. Why? I think I could have beat one of his class. <laughs> Y'all tried to talk me into it since I got here. Those huge amateurs. <laughs> they had some big. They were reading off a lot of amies. They still need a uh, rock and roll. I mean, that's two classes. They just need a good. Did you say there was six, huh? Seven. Seven classes. Hey, wow. Seven classes, but they're not very deep. Yeah. So is it just a lot of amateurs? Because they were. It has to be. Seems like has a lot to of be. people. Has yeah. to be. I think they had 185 entries. 185. Oh, okay. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well, we definitely should have had two tables. What was he holding off for? He was hoping. That's what he was doing. Yeah. Well, he had the three tables here in case we had like oh, 300. Yeah. Well, I, th I figured you had 220. <laughs> but yeah, 185 sounds about right. Yeah, you can run two tables, 185, and do it oh, in yeah, a timely. Yeah. But they started kind of late. That bunny class took up some time, so. Mm -hmm. You know, the vendettas went a lot quicker than they usually do, too. Usually those vendettas take a lot of time. <laughs> they went fast, and of course yeah. that money event didn't take no time with Corey. Both vendettas went six nothing, right? Five, one, six, oh. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we caught him. Now, Zach's, Zach's coming up, man. He's he's getting stronger. That kid's getting stronger by the a year, man. It really is. Hey, well, look, let me tell you something. When you pull a vendetta, I know it, he pulled the right vendetta hand. with his right hand. But you can't imagine pulling six rounds, how much that oh, takes yeah. out of you Massive. at all. Massive. So, you're not fresh left-handed. 
As much as as much as people will say, whether well, they pulled right-handed, it takes a toll on your whole body. Oh, absolutely. Well, man, I cannot remember who it was for the life of me. You'll you'll remember it too. He blew his left bicep pulling with his right hand, pulling on the peg. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Who I don't remember. That? I don't remember his name. Some. Oh, do you remember that? Somebody blew their left bicep pulling with their right hand. I've I, I heard of it. And remember, but I don't remember. Who it was. I, can't remember. I can't remember who it was. You want to do that? I'm good. I got a pull. Oh, it's the Ooh, I did, that uh, that guy in the green shirt, that's William Wallace. William he's, uh, Wallace. He's from, that's a cool name, huh? That is. He's been uh, he's been practicing with those guys uh, up, up around Memphis for several years now, but uh, he's a Seventh-day Adventist, so uh, they always had tournaments on his day of worship, so he never, you never saw him. So Casey lives close to us, but he don't practice with us. He don't train with us at all. Casey has so much talent, but I mean, the dude's got a lot, lot going on in life, so he just kind of does his thing and yeah. shows up. But he's like, he's strong, he's fast, he, he's a good kid, man. Well, that's the devil about arm wrestling. You can practice and practice and practice and, and go to a tournament, and somebody that doesn't do anything just comes off the street and whoops everybody. That's the fact. That is a hundred percent fact. <laughs> I've seen it happen. And then you won't ever see them again. They win, and then go to wherever I, you know. It happens. I think it's so cool to see Mississippi State has grown so much at what it is, right? Yeah. Because I remember it was me and you, basically Louisiana and Mississippi. It was about about what was there. <laughs> well, you know, we started arm wrestling in Mississippi. Wayne Withers started yeah. it. He had the first tournament in Philadelphia. That was my first tournament ever in uh, 2015. Yep, 2015. That's so right. uh, going from nothing to growing – our sport in in the state, it's it's come a long ways. Because back then, the, the only uh, director at the time was uh, Bo Kirby. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, it was Bo out here, and when y'all started throwing on events, we was like, man, that's close enough. Yeah, Bo Bo had his tournaments in Hattiesburg, in uh, Hattiesburg, yep. and uh, I had one in Tupelo every yeah, year. One in Starksville. Yep, yep, we did. Bo did that one. That, that was the one me and you had met at. Yep, that was exactly the first time we met. Yep, yep. somebody won that one. I think that was the last time you beat me, wasn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> I think Biloxi was the last time I beat you, but who's counting? <laughs> I, was, I was about to make the comment that Mississippi State ought to be a Mississippi, Louisiana. <laughs> it that's was. what it always is. It was, man. I mean, look, he's bringing, he always does, Sean always brings a lot of people in now, though. Yeah. I mean, he's got Tennessee that shows up, and a few years back, he had New York that showed up. I mean, he definitely draws a crowd. California. Right? You California, remember that year yeah. we had uh, Dallas Langston come? Yeah. That year we had a, a beast of a tournament. Cause we did. Adam Morinsky came from uh, from the Carolinas. Ch Chad was here. Um, Hunting off. Yep. Um, big classes. Deep, deep classes. That's that's. We were talking about that earlier too. That, that's the one that everybody. I get like a random message like once a month. Like, were you the drunk guy beating up on Dallas Langston? I'm like, I don't remember none of that. None of that. This that William Wallace kid is pretty stout. Yeah, he's stout. He's very explosive. He's got a strong hand. Look out. Watch out now. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Is that Dalton? Who is that? No, that's not Dalton. Yeah, is it? Colton. Is it oh, Colton? Colton yeah. yeah, Colton Kimber. Okay. Yeah. Alabama boy. Yeah. You know, he just got back to Ole Miss. He, he took a little layoff. Yeah, for a while. Colton was fast and just seen it again. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the William Wallace kid right there. The one in the golfer's hat. Oh, okay. He's not really experienced enough because he, all, he's, all he's done is practice. This is like one of his first tournaments. Gotcha. He's got a terrible setup right now. He's about to get his hand peeled. Unless his hand's way stronger than I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you got a good little wedge, though. Mm-hmm. That looks center. Elbow. Okay. 
So who's this one right here? Because he's kicking everybody's ass. I'm, I'm not sure. He's strong, though. Yeah, he's strong. Who are you talking about? This kid right here in the green khaki shorts, or khaki pants. I don't know. I'm going to tell you now, any man that's brave enough to wear khaki jeans and a <laughs> green shirt, he cannot be taken lightly. Man's a wild man. He claims mar married in nine. Yeah. Oh, Ke Casey's got his hand. He's got him flattened out. He's got the angle. There it is. Casey Kramer with the win. And I just heard that was name. just a that was a show on technique. It was. You know, run. you can only overpower somebody to a to a certain point. You know, when you get when you get the power level close, the technique's gonna take over. Absolutely, and like right there, I mean, Casey surged twice, and there was no elbow movement. He didn't drag back. He didn't try to readjust. Once you stop the match, you have to understand you're still in the match. You have to. You got to keep moving. You have to keep moving. You have to use your lat. You have to use your shoulder. You can't just rely on your arm to stay there. My boy. Cody Franklin is beautiful, by the way. <laughs> he has enough hair for the both of us. He got you in trouble last time? Oh, yeah. He got me in trouble with Herman. With Herman? Yeah, not, not Herman. Uh, with uh, the man the rail. Looks like they're switching over. They're going to the left left hand. So, did they just file Colton out? They said the live stream shut off? Somebody did, but I, it's fine. I okay. don't know. I mean, I don't know about fine. It may be a little glitchy, but I checked it. It looked like it's on. Let's see if, let's see if old Kyle can fight back on this. Nice. Quick. Very good. Whoa, elbow? Yeah. Oh, winner, okay. <laughs> like, I ain't seen no elbow. I feel bad, man. Kyle and Grant and them, they're they're very back into it. I mean they're they're all working out all over again. And there I am with my thumb up my ass. You know, and, yeah, pretty much, right? Kyle looks like he's, he's getting kind of in a group. That's a good setup. That's a nice setup. Top roll. Yep. Nice re grip. He still got the hand. Oh, 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 oh. He got the finger. Let it go. My, bu my buddy Mike Fontenot out here looking beautiful. Dude, that beard has gotten so gray over the years. This should have, this Florida do it to you. <laughs> Arm wrestling and kids. Well, uh, yeah. Sorry, you covered it. I turned down. I had to put it back up. I got you. Trying to help you out. Thank you. Nobody should ever turn me loose with a microphone. Man, that's what it is, man. We roll. You just roll with it. <laughs> they just need to have subtitles. <laughs> now, oh, no. He lost his hand. Weirdly enough, Kyle pulls well in this position. 
He's about to lose it, Bill. Shove your shoulder in. Oh, elbow foul. We got another fighting chance right here. I tell you, Kyle just doesn't look like he's normal Kyle today. Well, he's very light. He's very light. Oh, yeah? Like, he's actually gained weight for the match with Dusty today. Yeah. But, uh, like, before he started training for it, he was like 165. I'm like, man, this is the smallest of Oh, yeah, he's going. He got out hit yeah. really bad. Here comes Grant. Grant Bundy. Uh, the Grant's left hand is oh, always Oh, that's ridiculous. Dumb. It's stupid. Yeah. He has some of the most back pressure that can be generated at a body that small. Brian Calhoun just came from the uh, 230 class really? to the 198. Yeah. Yep. He's been pulling 230 class. He, he was maintaining about a 230, 240. The 198. Oh, Grant? Two. Oh, yeah, Grant Strong, dude. No, uh, uh, Brian, Brian, Brian oh, Strong. Yeah, Brian Strong. Yeah. yeah. His right hand's his dominant hand. Is it? Yeah. But he's still good left handed. Grant pulls with that flat wrist uh, style, too. Just a ton of back pressure, though. If you can't handle the back pressure, your arm's going down. Grant, I think, placed six at WAL in 2017. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah, he ended up beating. Um, I can't remember the guy from Great Britain. Um, real fast guy. God damn it. Colton Kimbrough's back to the table. Who is he facing? Nah, I, we don't know yet. Oh, oh look. Oh. Put, a, oh, put, put a little yep. stop on him. He did. He did. That's some really nice pronation by uh, Brian. And that's weird because he's normally a hooker. He he very very rarely top bowls. What weight did you say this was? Uh, with, with Brian and and yeah. Bundy, uh, it's one ninety eight. Ninety eight. Well, I guess it'd be one ninety. Yeah, one ninety. Open or Masters? Open. 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 I don't see how he kept that. How he made that bigger cut from 240, 240, 230 pounds to 190 and kept his strength. That is impressive. That's a big jump. That is. But it makes a huge difference when you got guys like Grant that probably walk around at about 190, 180. Yeah. Uh, then you got a guy that comes down from 230 to 190. That's a huge jump. I mean, I've cut some weight before, not that much. Yeah. Well, he, he did it the right way, too. It's not like he was doing a cut. Oh, he he actually lost weight over time. Lost weight over time, yeah. He didn't cut just for this match specifically. Ryan's got a really good setup right now. It's comfortable. Oh, that back pressure is hard to deal with, man. Yeah. Bundy gets in those straps and he's mean. Well, you take the hand away and just put it on the arm. Yeah, well, it's, it's the lat. And he's one of the only people that I've ever pulled that he will lay down on that tricep. He'll tuck that lat and the arm at the same time. It's so, like the sequence of it is so fast. Here comes Colton. Colton looks good, man. He is fast. God damn. He's got a great setup too. He's gonna bend this kid's hands back. Oh yeah. There you go. Got him a bulldog. Yep. Colton and uh, Dalton Bumgardner. Um, a lot of hunter and off a lot of them. No, it's y'all. Hey, it's for y'all. It's for your reps. Yeah, go ahead. What's this kid's name? It's Bird, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Cody, Cody Bird. Cody yeah. Bird. Okay. He's out of his he's, league. He's stepping match. up from uh, the amateur class. He's starting to pull opens now. Okay. He still pulls amateur, but he's jumping into open because he was pulling multiples. It's a better way to learn. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Cody's real technical. He's got a good little setup, man. He's squared hard. His lights are all tucked in. Yeah, they just called it. They're starting it on the other table. Which table was that? The one they're pulling on right now. Uh, this is, is table that table. One. This is table one. No, uh, no this table two. Right he looks super. Cool. Oh, shit. I gotta get real. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rance. I just got told by Kenny Lafferty. I look like the white rubber boot version of Joe Rogan. <laughs> Cody was in that match. Yeah, damn right he was. And you would think traps could change that, but I don't know. That was he was uh, very comfortable there, and the guy couldn't go anywhere. He's very, very stacked in his lap. I mean, anybody that can stack their body up into their lap like that. It's going to have a lot of center control. And it, it showed in that last match. Let's see if we could do it again with the strap. If he could tuck that elbow back on the go, I think he might have this. Bringing back the geriatric gentleman, Tim Brisbane. Nice hand control. It. There was an elbow oh, hop. I did man. see an elbow. Before they call me up, they're doing masters already. Left though, not right. Look how he stacks up so well on his lat like that. What's that? He stacks so hard on his lat. So solid hand control. Watch, he does, he's going to do it again. On go, he sits right on top he, he of it. He, he's a referee. He knows better. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what sucks about refereeing him because he knows better. He wants to tuck it so hard, but he, he got a good hand. I mean, he should be pulling novice then, right? Yep. Come on, Mike, call go. <coughs> Great hand. Yeah, he should not. Listen, that kid, that kid across him is good. He should not be pulling novice. He's pulling, he's pulling a novice by. This was the opener. Huh? I know, but he's going to be pulling a novice class. Today? Yeah. Oh. What's his name? C Cody? Cody! Cody! I need you to do me a favor. Drop out of the novice class. Drop your ass out of the novice class. But you don't belong there. He stacked so hard on that line. I'm like, look at that. You know what? You know what? It took me a learn how to stack like that. I didn't see that coming at all. Hey, hand control was solid, dude. You, you, you felt how you stacked yourself on top of your head and you came down on top of your fingers? And it Holy shit, down. Mike! Yeah. Do it again, man. Speed what? kills, man. Hey, well, you figure you go fast, you don't get hurt? <laughs> we, we was talking about Grant earlier. Yes. 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 I can barely hear you. No, it won't be the same way right here. Grant's back pressure is ridiculous at that size. Who's Grant Bundy? His back pressure. Oh, he's terrible setup. Terrible. Oh, terrible hard. setup. Grant pulls a flat wrist, which I he does pull. He pulls decent. He does pull decent. He's pull, he pulls with that flat wrist. It's always like this. But that, that's he, he hard for everybody else. But, but flat wrist is hard for everybody else to pull. It's, it's very hard, especially when you get that much back pressure. It's not. That's why I, 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 I prefer to keep everybody flat. We keep my flat wrist and, and come straight over. Yeah. Prefer. But what we, we was talking about earlier. It was Grant, Mike again. Grant's one of the only ones that have ever felt that can pull back and lap and rock yeah. back in the bicep at the same time. 
on. So it feels like it's just we so missed, We missed Mike's match again. <laughs> so fast. They have press? Holy shit. Not, did he press? Yeah. Michael Ty, what are you in a rush for? Mike don't want to put no stretch on his arm. That's about to be bad. Yeah. Oh, God. He, Real needs to, he needs to stop loading. Yeah. If he's going to load against his arm, he's going to lose. <laughs> like that. <laughs> nice time to say, watch. I should be a novice. Yeah. Yeah, Grant's a lot, man. Don't load with that. Don't load with that. Listen, why are you, lo what are you loading? Hey. Hey, why are you loading? Hey, why are you loading against a guy like that? I really wasn't. He just, he, he's just smart. He won't, but he won't go. Then let it go. Oh, he just. I, I was trying to. The moment I let go, he just stopped. Oh, look. look what, I, what I mean, like. I know what you mean. But like, even when he's not. Even when he's not, just like, hey, whoa, too much. Fake it till you make it, son. Sets up so good. He's got a really good setup. Oh, why'd you let your good hand go? Oh, Did intentional, anyways. Hey, trust your hand. After what after, after the other guy did to him? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> his, his hand stays pretty solid. He's too calm. Yeah, yeah. Nice and calm. Brian's got the better set up now. Ready to go. Yep. I heard that pop from over here. <laughs> what you talking about? What was that? Your thumb? Yeah, just my joints popping. I oh, whoa. Shit. Better than me in Poland. I had to snap my fucking thumb back in place. your wrist, so I'm just going to go straight back. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Bundy's got a good setup. He just needs to slip, though. He's not going to be able to handle this kid's hand right now. He's too far. He's too over. Yep, he, way he, too He's going to lose. And you're not calling that elbow, though. No, they're not. Slip. Oh. oh. Holy shit. That boy got a stout arm. He does. Got to never punch the table. Damn. You know, breaking, breaking your hand or something. Good time for a piss break. Damn, that boy got a start on. What? You want me to referee? Oh, you, you. Suck, I just tuck the tray down, bro. Hey, that boy got a, that boy got a hell of a hand. Damn. So. 
Come on, brother. Drain them out, Rand. You, you, to, you let them get too sideways. Yeah. You got to make sure they straighten them out a little more. Is that some of the side pressure, man? Keep me back. Yeah, so but he's, 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 start, he's already starting over here. If you don't get him back to center a little bit, you're fucked. You're already. You're already that's why I was like trying to get Yeah, him. but that's what he wants, though. He wants you to load him back. You got to get the referee to pull him back. Come on, Leah. Yeah. So if he pushes you, if he pushes, if he pushes you this way, pull your hand. So pull him like further, so the referee makes him come back. You know I mean, if you load into yeah, him, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what he wants. Yeah, I feel like when I let it go like that, they end up starting me over on that side. They shouldn't. So, yeah, well, yeah. But if you, I'll hey referee, you. thank you. I get the I'm sorry, I get the thing right here. I don't need. You can stand there if you yeah, want. You got, you got cameras, man. I got cameras. I forgot about the cameras. They thought about that. Oh, that want to warm you up real quick, huh? Yeah. We got just one match. Oh, uh, that. Just, well, no, I'm, I'm sure I get. I don't know if it's left. just me and him, is it? I don't know. So the other guy, what weight class are you in? 76? 90. 90? Yeah, he might be. That might be your class. Yep, that's your class. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to pull the little red kid. Calhoun, too. Yeah. Calhoun wins. I'm going to get him again. I'm going to have to get Bundy again. No, you won't get him. If it's just us oh, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to pull the kid, in, the, the one in the red. Mm -hmm. Then it'll be whoever goes after the loser of this match. Oh my god, I got a stout hand, man. Fuck. Let's go. That's you. Yeah. Cure for AIDS. I'm gonna put this Brendan, back on too, just in case. Brendan had no cure for AIDS. Got 
to be you. Ain't nobody else. Got to be you. Yeah, is it me? Him and him and, him and him and um, Daniel Worley. Oh, and Worley. Yes. Yep. Yeah, they had the whole the whole thing was full. Yep. I think that's the whole year I didn't get the mic. And that's why that's why they're not here again. Because <laughs> they were screwing they were screwing up freaking. They were cutting up. There were beer bottles. Literally, this whole table full. It was like, and that was like some getting taken off and back on. And eventually, it was just like they were. Well, there's a lot of them Bishop. There's a lot of them Bishop boys. I didn't realize how many there were. Holy yeah, shit. They, yeah, they throw them down. A lot, a lot of them. We we're, were in Alabama, man. There was, there was a lot of them. It was like a whole row of them. Cousins, but like, yeah, Tony's got Justin and uh, yeah, and Tony and the boys. Yeah. Tony and his, Tony, the well, yeah. Tony said, and we went, we went, we went freaking one in Alabama, Alabama State. Yeah. They had like half the freaking side all full, full of freaking. They do have a couple of cousins. They have John Cousin, and couple. Justin. Couple. That's, that's Tony's two sons. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You got a, but on the other side. Let's talk about Tyrone Bishop. Tyrone, no, no, no. Tyrone's from Georgia. Georgia. They got a cousin that started the football. They have they have a cousin. Oh, the little one. There's a cousin. I'm just talking about the ones, I'm just talking about what they had in the stands. They weren't pulling. There was three of them pulling, and then the whole side was full of bitches. It was like a whole herd of them. Yeah, his brother. I think his brother's here. It's Cody, right? It's cousin Cody? All they can do is stop us. This is the real one. Bill is the real one. He's always been guys. You still doing everything under the sun? You. At one point, you were cell phone towers, you were doing cars, you had a trailer park. Yeah, I saw that. I swear to God, he had like nine jobs at one point. What are you doing? I ain't staying that long. You couldn't watch him. I'm waiting on food. Getting hugs. Yeah, giving hugs, man. I don't get to see people no more. <laughs> I like hugs. Kristen has sent me like four pictures of shit she bought already. Oh. Buying stuff. Nice, oh. man. <laughs> nice hit, man. Either Grant's gonna have to stay in his hand, or he's gonna have to. He's got no. He's getting too far. I told him he's going too far this way. He's got to get over it. Not without pushing him, he's got to get over this way. Yeah. So if this guy pushes, he's got to let go. Is it open? Okay. Tim's ready now. No, I ain't open. Master, man. Oh, man. Listen, you slide in the masters, you pull three or four guys, and then, then you, you slide in overalls. and you slide in the overall, you're not on top of the overall, you're three or four down. If y'all can't tell it's tip slick. Fresh. Hell guy's a gorilla. Yeah, he's a gorilla. Look at that setup too. He just they gotta set him up straight. You, gotta get, you, you cannot win. You cannot win at that angle. Yeah. There's no way you can win at that angle. No way. Straighten him out, Mike. Line up, you line you line up that way with him, you're fucked. Yeah, he's, he's you're up, absolutely he's, screwed. He's pumpkin carving hard. Oh my god. Why would you line up with that big eight that way? Hey, hey Mike. Mike's like, he's like a both lining up that way. I know you're allowed it. Fuck that chair. I'd be like, uh-uh. <laughs> No, you, get, you know, you can't get out of that. You know where you're getting out of that. It's halfway to the pad over here. Yeah, because I'll be like, you can put your arm like that. I'm putting my arm like this. We can. Well, they're both lining up that way. What are you going to do? Yeah. Our boy just lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
he let Grant get to the straps. Grant's too strong there. Look at Frankie. Frank is, Frank is strong, man. Good try, baby. He was too strong for me. Never too strong. Technique. No, but I tell you what. It, I stopped boy. him in that first one. You did. I this think I opened him. This is the boy that's receiving. There's something good. Oh, that's, uh, that's Don. That's Don, man. Yeah. Don's hook is crazy. Don be the guy. Like, go inside, Corey. There you go. Straight him out. Oh, they're going inside, too. Watch. Watch. Oh, that would be bad. They, they're going inside right here. This boy can hold him up Yeah, inside. Don can. Don can, can do it inside. I'm fucking impressed like hell. I don't think anybody's holding him up inside. Don's strong know. inside. Let's see. Oh! 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 Nice oh! fucking hit. Hey, Don. <laughs> Sorry about the pop, guys. Don. Say it again. Don't Holy stop me when I drag Hey. They called that shit though. You guys Don, called you surprised it. Surprise yourself. Hold it. Where am I? Now look how sideways he is. Oh yeah. Straight him out. Straight him out, Mike. Don, don't let him carve you in like that. You're, he's way on his side of the table. Tell him no, Don. Ref grip it. Ref grip it, Don. No, he's fucked. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Don, Don. Why would you start that far over? Hey, you're way, you like you're way over. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah. He's like so sideways. Yeah, he did. He's over and here. He's he back a little make bit. Him start like, like that was beautiful. That first one, hit, the first hit was beautiful. Oh. Yeah. He, we, see what he, after he did that, you see we went further in. Yep. I Don. tell you what, we're going to be straight as a freaking owl if we pull the overall. <laughs> <laughs> no way I'm getting out of that big fat hand. Yeah, you seen the sausage hand on that thing? I, I showed his hand a little while ago, yeah. Bitch got a paw. You better remember I'm used to that, though. Yeah. I'm used to everybody having a big hand. But you got a big hand, too, though. I don't have a big hand. It's that thumb you got. You got that damn soup spoon right there. That's what my, that's my buddy's abusing. Yeah, decent style for him, though. Look, if I get him, get him flat. We'll see. Hopefully, we'll see in the overall. Yeah. I know you've seen it. You see Ivan Prudnick's thumb? It's like Who's? this. Prudnick. Prudnick Stump is a, is a toe. It's, it's like that. It's a, it's a, he's got a toe on the end. It's huge. Don's so strong. Shit. Great job, Don. Impressive as fuck, that boy. See, Frank, Frank right here, Frank is strong. Frank, Frank doesn't train like Frank could train, but Frank is strong. And that's 1-1 one, one for Bundy and Calhoun now. We gotta do it again. Uh-oh. Look, he's almost straight there. He is. Frank, don't let him carve you in. No way. Too easy. Yeah, Don's inside him, him, him and his brother are impressive as hell. They are. Very. Don got concrete hands, though. He's been doing concrete for 15 uh, years, 20 helps. years, exactly. Besides the fact they're like sandpaper and they grip without, without chalk. Oh, shit. That's a third, huh? Can't beat that. No, you can't. Yeah, yeah, it is. Don's a bad man, bro. He's getting bigger. Remember when Don used to be way small? He looked like Mike size. That's that concrete hand. Trying to concrete all them lines. Don, you look out of breath. He gets a minute, don't he? Yeah, he does. We gotta go. He likes to set up almost the same way, though. As, he does. He sets almost the same way as Cody, uh, Corey does. All carved in together. Frank, Frank, Frank. There it is. That 
those, whole, those two pulls of Corey kind of took a lot out of him. Yeah. Frank's strong as shit. Funny enough, you wouldn't believe it. This big motherfucker can backflip right now. Standing backflip. Big as he is. Who? Frank? I don't believe it. I swear. Hey, lose money. Yeah, show me. Big I'm from Missouri. On it. Big guys can do a lot of things. Frank. Don't backflip now. He said $100. Can't don't backflip do back right flip. now. No, I did not say Arm wrestle said. first. <laughs> show the video. <laughs> I lost money on it. I'm like. <laughs> I didn't say $100. I don't know where that came from. Thank you so much. I'm just trying to get in the backflip. Right? <laughs> He's going to do it when it's money, though. He's like, hold my phone, collect a check. He's giving up that wrist, ain't he? Oh. There you go, Frank. Nice. Pronate, pronate, Frank. Drag. Drag, don't just stay there. Oh, you on your bicep. Stay. No, don't just hit. Oh. Elbow. Yeah, need to let up a little, need to let up. That might need to let up a little bit. Let him go. Hey, hit stay. Now you gotta pull Corey. Hey, come on, don't get sideways with Corey. Hey, yeah, don't let him be like this. If he's like this, start your hand like this. Let him We're not all against you, Corey. We love you. Hell with that. I want to see you lose, damn it. <laughs> you gotta lose once, twice today. How do you be mad at a guy like that? I mean, the fucking dude's always smiling. He is. You know? He's just a happy-go-lucky. I hate, hate punk. R.J. Molinaire. Well, at least you're good for something. Let's see if R.J.'s right hand can be like, ah, Corey. So strong. It is. Hey. You can't, you can't stay with that hand. It's too big. Too big, too strong. You got to get out of the hand, out of the hand somehow, and it, out on the end of his fingers. You either got to pop it or you got to hit hard this way. If you this, you're this way, you're already underneath it. I mean, and it's so hard they won't straighten him out that He's way. He's either saying you got to turn him on his bicep completely or go outside, but you ain't turning that bicep. You seen the sign of that at all? Not that when it's turned that. Not when it's already turned his way. No. Exactly. RJ's hand. That's right, look, he said it to me, look, I was there, this is the one I lost money on. Here you go, boo. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard of him. Here you go, boo. AI. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. I thought he was throwing your phone to a fucking videotape. Oh, shit, hold on, man. And he was going to rock and roll. Were we fighting? No, I got to call this girl up. Oh, I thought we were fighting or something. Everybody getting up. <laughs> 67, go. Or Le Mans. See now, Irby got that. Irby won this match right now. Irby won this match right now, I'm telling you. Yep, David Hobson fucked up. Irby didn't won this match. Nope. Nope. Oh. oh. Start. Yep. Irby, <laughs> like Danny is that. Cody, big. how can you not see him put his fucking peck against the fucking arm? His uh, man peck, his man boo against his arm. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to see that. Yeah. I could be. I could be, but I, I could be. Hey, but I thought you were roughing the table, not just sitting there. That's all you're doing is watching. This you got to referee something. Oh, 
Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Brennan's got a good setup right there. Oh, but he got beat on it. Oh, elbow ball? Oh, okay. You both, both good points. I know that ain't straight coke this time. I, you know what's funny is I was thinking this is the one to open it up, I think. You know, <laughs> forward here, we got left hand out of the way. Maybe it'll help my right hand a little. Left hand's gay. Yeah, you know. At least it not know it's going. It's coming around, That's though. All I got Let's left. get it out there. That's all I got left. Let's get it out there. That's all I got left, Tim. <laughs> That's all I got left. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm gonna tell you now. I, I, I didn't watch like five matches, and a lot of them Corey's matches too, because I think people are just scared of Corey. I would never let somebody set up like that on me. You see how many people have set up cards in like that? There's at least six, seven matches I've seen. Well, listen, that, they're all they're all Devin and Lorette fans. <laughs> they're all trying to pull Devin shit. You know, I set up like the, I set up in the corner in a strap to get the strap tighter. That way, when I square, I've got the body in the back of hand. They're letting it but if go. You don't, if you don't have that's all you have is you have to be there, right? You got a tough hand, I'm surprised that, I mean, you should be able to stop the top. Right? I would think, you know? I would say. Well, I think a lot of people have been training, I don't mean to tease on Ryan Bowen too much, I think everybody's been training with Ryan Bowen one month. And they don't train their hands anymore, so. We don't drive on the left side of the road either. On the right side of the road, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. We don't drive on the other side of the road. Other side of the road. <laughs> We drive on the correct side. Okay. Okay. Look, he's getting balled out again. Shitty call. He wants to miss something. He wants to miss something. Caught no caught. He's, he's enjoying the match right now. <laughs> I don't know the kid on the right, but Levi's just got a straight setup. It's it's very flat. See how I'm, I wouldn't would set up Hobbs like that. It's all right. Too much. He hooked Hobbs hooked or Hobbs top roll? Hobbs on the top roll. You better, you, you, better learn, you better practice your top roll on that low. He's in the top roll right now. See, guys set up like that. He should have set up a little higher. Herbie's that old traditional, like Danny Gillian, that uh, wrist wrestling, like I will grind it out, Mike West type shit. So you're gonna see him too, watch. He'll set up hard inside, like he'll be right here. Damn, that's impressive. That's a man. Little dude was surging hard, man. And yeah, that's Cameron Williamson, man. He's a uh, he's a bad dude. Yeah, he was giving a hell just now. Boy, 
two guys in front. Uh, I don't think so. Well, they just pulled. Yeah, that was B-side win, though. That was B-side win. Finals. Just Joey, why are you so big? I didn't say that. It's what was exactly what went through your head. It's not going to be like, I don't know, Joey. <laughs> That's what we was laughing with Herman. I was like, me and Herman hood right now. We'll touch the colors. Yo, yo, slow, yo. It on, no. <laughs> Tim's, Tim's starting to get aggravated. <laughs> Nick's arm's not gonna do well on here. Nick has a damaged right arm. I don't know why he's even testing it. What's wrong with it? I think he's been having elbow issues for a long time. Some connective tissue elbow right near the ulnar. Food for thought for all the new guys out there. Don't pull when you're injured. Sometimes just makes it worse. Absolutely. He still look good with 62 years old, man. He just get finish that that, that that finish hit. Same thing I I'm I'm, I'm dropping back on like finish. But his hand's still so much stronger. Huh? His hand is still stronger. Oh God, it's huge. But he's he's letting go the bottom finger. I don't get it. Watch, he's gonna do it again. Watch. He's gonna try to pro, outside pronate and let's go to bottom finger. That's what he told me. He said to me he has a hard time holding on. No, he don't. Same thing. Same problem I've been having. Yeah. And then he starts separating. You don't need. To. Just I remember when we was kids, arm wrestling, and he used two hands. I mean, back then, he was in his 40s back then when he started. He was so fucking strong for that age. There you go. Look at you. Look at you. I guess I'll take that back. Look it held him. up. It held up. It did hold up. I guess it ain't that hurt. I guess it ain't that hurt, is it? You ain't never gonna calm RJ down. No. That hit he used to have back in the day. Oh, oh yeah. See this kid in the back, this Dalton kid. 
he's strong. He he won that left handed yeah. division. Yeah, North Country strength. The whole the whole friggin' lightweight class is pretty good. I mean, they're all decent pullers. Wow. Oh, he's strong. Cowboy Moses. That kid is strong. Why you? Guess not all cowboys wear cowboy hats, huh? <laughs> He's got a great setup right now. Who's that? Um, I've got his name. Uh, Dalton? Da no, not Dalton. Oh. What is it? Cause it starts with a K, doesn't it? Oh, shit. Brands. What's his name again? Huh? What's his name again? Keegan. Keegan. Keegan Porsche. Keegan, yeah. Oh. Yeah. King and Porsche just had a great setup. Now, if he can do it in the straps right now, he'll have the leverage. This guy looks tiny over here going against uh, Aiden. It's the same thing. He's setting his elbow to the back. I would, I would push I mean, right into that elbow. Look how big this Aiden kid is for the class. Yep. Yeah, he's tall, ain't he? Go. Oh, just easy. Easy. King is about to lose this one. Yeah. Yep. He was he was high, didn't have no hands, just like the wrist was almost dumping, but he was trying to post it, but he wasn't worried about his, his elbow. Like you gotta drive that down a little bit, man. RJ and Brendan. It's probably for this for the final to go to the final. Yeah, I think so. Traditionally, it's been Brennan recently, so we're definitely going to see. RJ doesn't really look like he's too on his game today like he usually could be, but could go either way. Definitely looked focused pregame. It's the hand. RJ's hand, something that's hard to deal with no matter what. There it is. Ooh, Brennan with the good pronation. See again. Nope. Let's see why I over pronate and let go. Like, well, that time he, he, That's how he gets out every time. So he can't he finish. Yeah. Nick, don't let him carve you in. RJ needs to move up to the masters. Yeah, he does. The kids are getting a little too good at the young age. That whole class is good. Oh man. He don't walk his fingers at all. Nope. He would climb that up, he'd crunch him in. That was ugly. Yep. RJ's broke that arm before, too. Doing that exact same thing. Uh, the bicep. I'm sorry. I blew that bicep doing the same thing. Damn, Dalton's got a good setup. High hook tire pro right here. Oh, good stop, Nick. Jeez. Oh, that's two winner. There you go. Good job, Nick. Way to stand him up. No, I mean, if I can use the bathroom. There you go. And I got one right there. Too. Where you going?
Here we are in the finals. Winner take all right here. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Dalton versus Nick. Nope. Elbow. <laughs> Nick, you got to be faster, Nick. Stay in the TMC. He's about to go pull anyway. What's that cat's name? Dalton. Dalton. He he's, looks strong. He he's looks doing great. good today. He does. Nick can stop this hit. He just has to stop being late. He is so late. He has missed a hit every, even since his vendetta. Yep. Man, one of them two bulldogs today. Not one, but two. It is fast. Ah. Explosion. Man, them things are out. <laughs> it's like a lot of buffalo. <laughs> like a lot of buffalo going on here. I had to use two ranches. They weren't playing around. Kick his ass, Tim. You want to just sit back? I can't get up there. <laughs> Look at an old lady trying to climb up there. <laughs> That's the reason I walked around. You know? I swear to God, I didn't get up right there. I walked around. <laughs> I told you walk up the tree. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for Levi if he loses this. You can't just lose to a guy in a bandana. Man, you know, this is what we were talking about a while ago. You go to a tournament, brand new guy comes in from nowhere yep. and just smokes everybody. Who is this kid? Huh? What's up, girl? Hey, you think I got this in shape? My buddy Carl Segu and going in. This is, this the, is this the 2.30 class? I, I think so. 2.30 open? Yeah, because that kid right there ain't no senior. Yeah. No. Nah. Well, you know, you wouldn't think uh, Brian Calhoun would be a master either. No. He didn't look, he didn't look it. Did not think he was that old. He did well today. He did awesome. I mean, to get a win on Grant Bundy like that, yeah. that's awesome. To, to go from the class that he went, that 230 to drop that much weight to 190. And, keep that and then come in and, and win two classes is pretty good. Keep that strength. Levi with the win? Really? Good job, Levi. Man, how ripped is Levi? Fucking jacked. <laughs> he is jacked up. You need to work on them calves, though. The calf <laughs> game is failing. This gotta, is you've got to keep that low weight. This is this is arm wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> true. We always skip leg day. So here's Aiden Bajron. So Aiden has been killing people today, and him and Brendan have gone back and forth a lot. But he, Brendan really has no cure for what Aiden's been really dishing out. That's why they call him AIDS. He's <laughs> killing no people cure. and there's no cure. Oh man! Wow. Up. He's definitely uh, impressive. He's got a really good setup, too. Oh, Brandon with the hand. Clawing, son. Mm. Where's Aiden from? Somewhere in Louisiana. We're not really sure, though, to be honest with you. Gotta be north. He's pretty impressive. I'll tell you what. There he is. You know, this poor kid's now never going to be able to dish, uh, get rid of that. They call him AIDS because 
He's killing people when he has well, no Well, he's tears. got it on his shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't notice that. I knew y'all had been calling him AIDS, and I seen it on the live stream. I did, then I looked at his shirt, and it says AIDS. So. What? Were, were we amateurs now? No. Not yet. We still got to get through Masters for sure. Oh, right. True. I think there's some ladies too, and then they'll blow that I was going to say they do the ladies before the amateurs, don't they? I think. I like Sean's format. Do yeah. the pros first. I think it's smart. Very, very smart. So, who is this in the red? There we go. Oh, oh, oh man. he's in a good position. I thought it was Gary that Roberts was at first. <laughs> oh, it's not Gary. <laughs> oh, you would know. Yeah, Brennan Elbow fouled in a losing position. Okay. Yeah. Who is this guy so in that the red? Was the match. We're going to see more of him because he just went straight to the pack. That was easy. Get it, boy. Get that energy up. Big Craig. Craig versus uh, Casey. Craig was the actual inventor of the Louisiana hop. Am I correct? <laughs> I would, I would assume. I, I think I, that's where it originated, actually, right? He's not the inventor; he's the spokesperson, right? Sure. Well, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, man. It, I'm not even gonna blame it on Craig. It gotta come from Robert Redding, who taught Craig, right? It has to be somebody <laughs> that taught Craig. Uh, it's it's so funny. We've gone to so many tournaments, and everybody's like, "Is Craig really that strong?" Yeah. It, 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 yes. All we can go is like, "Yeah, like, absolutely." He don't look that strong. But like, yeah, but he really. <laughs> we know there was a time when he was laying back from arm wrestling. Yeah. Where he was he was beatable then, you know. Yeah. It, it, it was comfort. But now, since he's back at it, he's just same old Craig. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know? This is gonna be a good little match. Damn. Jeremy Thornton's come a long way. He's so strong. He, he has come a long way. But I tell you what, anybody gets in a hook with Danny Gillian, you are like, you have to know you're about to grind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he ever gets it locked in, it's. It's in. It's, it, it reminds me of Mike West. He pulls like Mike West. Yeah. Just, you're, you're going to. Except you, Danny will get in like a complete break arm position oh, and not give two shits. And Mike, Mike's the, a little safer. The way the way Jeremy pulls, though, if, if, if it goes there, he'll probably get beat. But he's so fast and explosive, yep. he'll never let him get into that lock. Not to mention jacked. Yeah. Oh, he's a, he's a big boy. I don't know. Is that? Who? Yeah. This is a two-team class. Yeah. Uh, well, you better go around there. Look, look at the screen. Yeah, Jeremy's been beating some good guys lately. He's more of a lefty, isn't he? No, he's a straight up right guy. Oh, okay. He don't even pull left handed. See, the only problem with Jeremy, what he's doing now, and we'll see, we'll see if it changes in the straps. He's low handing out of the strap. Yeah. Which, if you low hand out the strap, you tend to get thrown into a hook a lot easier. Yeah. Now, if he does it now and he can l keep the back pressure in his bottom fingers, I think he'll top roll Danny. If that goes the same way in the straps, it's going to Danny, but he's going to have to adjust a little bit. He's really dumb. We got RJ on the other table over here. Who's he pulling? Can't see. Like a, another young kid. Yeah. It says uh, Claunch, I think, on the back of his shirt there. Claunch. It's good seeing these fresh faces out. Absolutely. Come on, man. The problem is, is Danny's got a really high hook right now. He's gonna, he's gonna hook him. Buckle side, dumped wrist. The buckle's really low on the wrist. Danny's gonna dump. Danny may high hook him right here. I gotta see what Danny's wrist is gonna do. Jeremy's got a good setup. He's got a great setup. It's just that that buckle's making me a little nervous. But I guess the ferris strap does change a little bit, right? Yep. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. There it is. Danny's got him. Danny is. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, he's, he's got a lot right of that there. hand. Oh, that's, oh. oh, very nice pull. Hey, 
I stand corrected. They Jeremy got they went I there and Jeremy got him. You know, I said that if they got there, I didn't know if Jeremy could take him. I didn't think he could. But he did. He did. He sure did. Very strong. Well, he kept him on his side of the table the whole time. He kept him in the winning side of the table. If he'd ever got centered or or, or or a little bit on the other side, it would have been a different story, but he kept him on his side of the table. It's a good pulling. Very. There we go. Now, here comes this pretty she, him. He's they, got – They, he's, them, he said. He's got the best hair in this business. Cody, they, them, Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably one of the most flexible people I've ever seen pull. I know that, that – Rumor that, has it he's in the band afterwards, I think. <laughs> I know you can see that permanent tattoo he got on his arm, right? Yes. He's had that from doing that exact same position left-handed. Yep. He still is not Just afraid to no jump fear. in that shit. No fear. None. And he's quick with it. He is. He's very quick with it. And if it if you do stop it and go to it on a hook, his side pressure is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And this isn't the same Cody as he used to be. No. No. Cody two years ago, three years ago, was just a, a beast. That was a bad man. Well, I mean, he's good, and he, he, he doesn't train. No, he doesn't. At all. Period. Climb cell phone towers. So, I do not know this guy in the res name, but he just walked through somebody earlier. Can he do it again? We're about to find out. Ah, oh, look at look at table one, Matt. Say. It's Aiden and that uh, the little kid with the uh, yeah. bandana. That'll be a good one to watch. Oh. oh, God, this, who is this dude? dude? Cody, who is that in the red? I don't know. Oh, did, uh, did the red guy win? Yeah. Walk through Carl. Like, wow. Ooh, here he goes. Uh, Jeremy's been wanting to pull somebody like Craig just to see where he's at. Hey, that dude's a dog. You know what? Uh, Jeremy's been wanting to pull a, a higher caliber puller just Wait. to see where he's at, and this is a good this is a good time for Jeremy. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to go Jeremy's favor at no, all. No, no, no. But I think this is great that he's getting that it's opportunity. It's great that he's getting an opportunity and experience. Yeah. Great setup. Amazing. He's got him pushed all the way to the side. Last few years I pulled Jeremy, though. He has been getting a lot better. Yeah, Jeremy's coming up for sure. Hmm. About expected, though. Yep. About expected. <laughs> uh, You're just t looking at a different class photo with Craig, too. It yeah. is, man. I mean, yeah. well, we've we seen it earlier with uh, Herman and Craig. I thought that was a great matchup, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, even though Craig's a little bit more in shape, a little bit more active, um, Herman's knowledge on the table is just something that's so special. And he, he hung in there. You know that? Oh, look at this match. Yes. That's a good match. They're deep. They're bone on bone. And I don't really know that age kids, but he's been uh, he's been putting in work all out for real. Look at that! That's a good move. That's an elbow foul. That's an elbow foul. Oh, let him roll! Let him roll! He's patient, man. He makes oh, that's an elbow foul. Missed it again. <laughs> You're looking at the wrong elbow. The down rest looking at the wrong elbow. I know, right? What a match! What a match! Look at the up Ooh. pressure right now. Oh. Well, don't you know that arm's blowed up after that one? Oh, yeah. That's like his third or fourth match like that tonight. You know, the match with uh, Jeremy and, and Craig, though, it really shows you the difference between a good pro and elite. Yeah, absolutely. There, there's just a big gap there. There's, there's a massive gap, right? And, uh, you know, it was fun. Like, remember back in 2017 when we went to uh, Vegas for Worlds, you know, we was able to see that gap a lot, too. Oh, yeah. That, Absolutely. It would be a match where, you know, hey, look, we're, we're there. We're there. Well, you remember, uh, oh, man, he ended up winning the amateurs. Paul. Lynn? Paul, Paul Lynn. Yeah. Paul Lynn's amateur. Yeah, yeah. Paul Lynn's pulling amateur. Yeah. And, I pulled amateur with Paul. Yeah. So, that, shows, Paul, you, that it, shows you the gap between that, a good pro, mm -hmm. and the elites that were pulling oh, in, the, in the open. Absolutely. If so, Paul Lynn's pulling amateurs, that's a big gap. So, 220 amateurs, it was me, Paul Lynn, and Sean. Yeah. I beat Sean. I lose to Paul twice. Yep. And 
now, like, I could get in my best shape, and I couldn't catch Paul if I tried. No. Like, not even in the, the, the longest stretch of the imagination. Yep. You know, and but Paul was always elite from the go. I mean, yep. he was he was just that he was that high level pro going into the elite side. Yeah. Oh, there's an elbow. How do you feel about the rigid rules? Eh, I'm biased. Yeah, <laughs> I can uh, I can lock them myself. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of them myself, but I, I I I can understand where people don't like them as much. Um. I just got used to pulling like that because that's that's the way they pull at Worlds yeah. and the, the bigger competitions. So I'd admit rigid rules kind of let it go a little further. Like you, like it's a little bit more fair. Yeah. I do not like the running foul. I hate the running foul. I don't like I've the running foul. I've fucked with a running foul so many what times. What about you? You like I, the running foul? I, I, I honestly think it's more fair, but no, I hate it. I hate it? <laughs> it's yeah. terrible. I, I think it's a better way to go for the uh, – I, I just – I don't if like it. If you talk about the entertainment side of it, I agree, right? It, it's it's definitely well, a better there, – There's, so many, yeah, well, big, there's get, so many people that get fouls for a restart, and they know what they're doing. Though. The running foul takes that out. So, like, yep. I mean, I, I honestly think it's a more fair way to pull, but yeah. I, I honestly hate it as a puller. It's better to watch, too. Because you get to see more arm wrestling instead of just stopping the match immediately. Yeah. Because then you, I mean, if you if you foul on accident and you let up any leverage you did have, you've lost it now. Yep. Right. And as much as you, if you drink like I do, the running foul, it's pretty rough on you. <laughs> it is definitely rough on you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, if you listen to Jonathan Hoffman, man, that's that's how you don't get blown up. Take a few shots before the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, thin the blood a little bit. Yeah. I do that all the time, and it don't always work like that. <laughs> Alabama in the house. Oh, okay. All right. Now, I, I get to see if, what this guy is all about, you know. Because right now, he's been running through people, this guy in the red shirt. What was his name again, Brad? Kent? Kyle Kent? So Clark Kent Clark over here. He's <laughs> about to go against Thor. Superman versus Thor. Let's let's see what happens. Oh, Danny, what a great hit. Danny's a beast. I don't I I mean for real. I've been in that situation in Texas with him before, man. I don't I don't like going on bicep with Danny. That osteoporosis. Oh, oh he's off foul. table. Why aren't you calling that? Elbow foul and lose position. Yep. Hey, did. Hey, hey. You can tell Sean to do something. You got lucky on that one. Cause he's, you got lucky that cat's that missing a bunch of shit. They almost restarted down. He looks strong. Oh, here's a good match. Levi and uh, Levi and Aiden. So, so they were calling him AIDS, right? He said they call him AIDS because he's hard to beat and he's killing people. <laughs> and no, 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 no. He's, he's killing people and there's no cure for him. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> So fucked up. Was you and Jeremy? Jeremy Oh, okay. Hey, they call him AIDS. <laughs> it's so fucked up. <laughs> this guy in the green shirt's been doing real well. He's doing real well. Jeremy's setup looks solid though right now. He's cut right across his shoulder. Yep. I don't think I beat Jeremy today. He's looking. Jeremy looks strong. Oh, Man, Levi's be- got him. Man, you couldn't beat me today, much less my boy. He's like, nah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Dalton Duck is talking to me right now. Oh, God. No, it's, it's great when Nobody you're. Nobody talks shit like Dalton. It's great when you're injured because I can make those claims and don't have to back it up. Like, boy, you better be glad I'm hurt. <laughs> I'll take that back. We can sit there and talk about Dalton talking to him shit. Nobody talks shit like Josh Webb. Not a single no. arm wrestler in the world. He's, talks shit. he's his biggest fan. Absolutely. Love. Uh-oh. Find someone that loves you like Josh Webb. Love Josh Webb. <laughs> <laughs> Great guy, though. Great guy. Did he? You know, super, just he's a super great. guy. He's an awesome person. I love him to death. So this is going to be a good match right here. Because this guy likes to go inside. If he goes inside with Danny and this Danny catches be a, him. This, 
This could turn into like a little war. Clark Kent kept calling him. He looks strong. He got some. He has a good setup. You know, he's another one. Another one of the cases, like I was talking about, no names, just shows up. Is is killing folks? Yeah, you know. He's obviously been arm wrestling somewhere because he has got some technique. Oh 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 oh! I guess not. Let's see what Levi's got. That was a three. <laughs> Danny, he likes to press. You see it. He transitioned into it real good, too. Mm. I think Levi found the cure. Yep. He, he looked good right there. Yep. Justin Bone said, let's go Greg Calhoun. You fucking that man? You in a relationship with that man? <laughs> I'll pick it. I'll pick it. Oh, I didn't, li- I didn't like that go for Danny a few minutes ago. This guy likes to press and that he transitioned uh, good. That guy was dumping his wrist real hard. Danny's got a really bad setup right now. This guy's low hand looks yeah. strong. Yeah. He, I think he's going to fold Danny's wrist. Yep. No. no. There you go, Danny. Stay in it, Danny. So Danny is money right here. This guy's in a bond right now if he thinks he's going to go bone to bone with Danny. Danny drug back. Good move. He needs another inch, though. Man, both of those guys are pulling center because they're not scared to get in that arm break they're position. Not. Either one of them. Oh, Danny's got him. He's he's gassing him out right now. The guy keeps climbing though. You know he keeps regripping and climbing. Ah, <laughs> oh, he touched his arm. Yep. Uh, that's a questionable. That's a questionable. That was definitely questionable. A day ender right there. Yeah, that was definitely questionable. What's that they call? Yeah. No, he definitely touched. Yeah, but he threw him into it. He drove right at him. Replay. Oh, you don't know how to do that. No. <laughs> definitely don't. If you replay that, he drove right at him and hit his shoulder. Tim, I promise you, you would have called me on a foul for shoving somebody's man's arm into his chest. I would have been cursing you. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Listen, but then Devin Loretta, sure. then Devin Loretta come back and say you're trying to manipulate the referee. <laughs> Because you yelled one time. Out of it, what the fuck, Tim? I'm pretty sure Tim hadn't had the prescription checked on those glasses in a while. What are you saying about gripping Tim's thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's how you heard it. That's how you heard it show, you know, gripping Tim's thing. <laughs> that's how the surgery happened. <laughs> you know them Alabama boys that try to get up there and get into Tennessee. The ones that want to live in Tennessee. I'm not from Alabama. Are you close enough? Tupelo is about Where as close from? as you get to Alabama. Bruh. Bruh. Where are you from? Tupelo, Mississippi. Rants. It's Tupelo, it's Alabama. It's like. It's 45 minutes away. By association. Basically. Listen, he looked a lot gayer without that beard, though. I couldn't even look at him last time. No, I will never go to a tournament clean shaven again. Ever. Ever. Oh, yeah, I yeah. went to one. Oh, guys, wait, did you shave yours off too? Oh, no. Right. He looked just no. like that catfish right here. <laughs> but I, I was, I was, I couldn't wait. I wanted to see him, like, if his face is shaved, and I cannot wait. And he comes out, I was like, damn it. He's like, I'm never shaving my face again. Oh, no, he, he after, we rolled him so like hard in that tournament. That's never, what he said. He said, Tim, never, Tim, fuck with me so bad. Yeah. I mean, he went home and glued hair on it. Grant's the only pro I've ever Oh. Danny's got him right now. This dude's got a really strong arm. Gotta be over over center. Oh, he's got great up pressure. Can he bust the wrist back? Can he bust the wrist back? Oh, lost the bicep. Nope. Yep. Great match. That was a great match. (laughs) 
Colin Colton. Good job, Danny. Colin Colton. This would be an interesting match. Kyle, Kyle really isn't fast, but his horsepower is there. Kyle typically isn't just quick, but he's got the horsepower. If he stops it. Come on, baby. At this weight class, yeah, Kyle stops it in the hook. It might be Kyle's match to win. Yeah. He's got to stop that explosion, though. Colton, Colton's fast. It's fast. Man. Yo, there it is. Oh. Ooh, and Kyle started first. He did. Kyle started first. Colton ain't no joke. Damn. I'm on that. Colton ain't no joke. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I think Tim's starting to learn redneck pronunciation. He is starting to learn redneck. You're starting to learn that redneck pronunciation. You're starting to hear it. you not? I can't understand anybody. There you go. You go up to Tennessee, half the boys got marbles in their mouth, and the other one's fucked normal. You've been hanging out with Larray Jenkins too much. Listen, he's worse than Larray. Oh, Rance? What? Rance got that deep south shit. He's worse than Larray, but he's not worse than Ray. No, 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 no one's worth it, Ray. I need subtitles with Ray. Listen, we, so we've, been in, we've been in restaurants and listen to people talk. It's like, what the fuck that motherfucker say? Damn, take the rocks out your mouth. Uh, Ray will go, how does that all, Joe? Run that back. What? Man, we, we make the, it mean. What's the, what's the cat from Louisiana? He, he used to pull with all y'all. He's fucking short. He's a short guy. We're all short. Uh, <laughs> short to you? Hey, he, I think he liked drugs up. Of course, all y'all either do oil or shrimp mode, so I can't remember his name. Real good. I can't remember his name. Y'all ever met the Mississippi Tony Bishop? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't get, uh, looks yeah. a lot like you. Do. Yeah. No. You, you know, actually, he's, want, he's been wanting to pull Tony. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to tell you now, man. I've been in this for a while. That's one, that's one family name I don't bet against, and that's a bishop. <laughs> I've lost no. way too many times. No. It's like betting against the Raiders. Is that you don't bet against them, you don't bet with them. Because if you bet with them, they're going to lose. If you bet against them, they're going to win. Is it? I do not bet against the Bishop. I do. Are you talking about Jerry Avon? You pull him? Are you pulling him from our side? Yeah. He don't come in any tournaments anymore. I can't. Me and Nick called him on the tournament we did. Dude, he talks so hey, we'll do a Cajun. Like that. Are you talking about Ryan Carmadale? Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. If you can it's understand today. If you can understand Ryan Carmadale. I can understand Ryan. Oh, well, like, of course, you're from there. But I mean, from anywhere else in the country. Let's see if, how this match goes. If now. you can understand Ryan, you've you've got the Yeah, Jeremy's way too fresh. Yeah. That last match took a lot out of Dan. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan. Come on, baby. See, you said it for me. I didn't have to this time. I ain't kissing him, though. That's a I might need you. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you do something? Yeah, Ryan. Ryan Carmadale. I thought we were pulling masks a long time ago. <laughs> he talks a lot like, like Brendan. He's just an older version of Brendan. Yeah. Great guy. No, Super awesome. strong, too. Oh, he's He's one of the strongest people I knew, especially whenever he was a, a good bit younger and doing it regularly. So this is Kyle Kent, and I don't know the guy across from him. This Kyle guy is strong. Adrian. This Kyle Kent guy, I think he's a little done right now that I Danny Gillian match, but yeah. Oh, he's still got good hand control. You remember that first Mississippi State tournament that we pulled after? Uh, it was my first tournament as pro. And uh, we drew each other first round, and we locked up in the middle, and you looked up at me and said, we got the rest of the tournament to go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> was, that a, was that a WAL? Yes, tournament? that was WAL. That was in Biloxi? Yes. At uh, the IP, yes. <laughs> yeah, because I burnt myself out with you and lost in the championship. <laughs> Fuck you, Rance. <laughs> Because I lost to that, that damn kid that was talking trash, and I can't believe I let him beat me. Yeah. Some of them bitch. And then I beat Wayne in the overalls. 
Left-handed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you had a good day left-handed. I did have a good day. The gate's locked. You come back that gate, you're looking for trouble. Let's see what Mr. Jeremy got now. Smith County. Okay. I got you. Jeremy, you can dub the Mississippi Tony Bishop at this point. What's that? We, we're starting to dub you the Mississippi Tony Bishop. You can, you're looking like a tall version of Tony. I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if our little buddy right here can, can pull it off. I don't, I don't see anybody beating Colton today. No, man. He's killing people. He's on fire. His hit his hit is on time. Like, just completely on time. Oh! Oh! Good job, sir. That hurt? He looks strong, bro. He looks strong, strong. His arm wasn't that bad, and then he started pronating. Hey, I, that, I thought you had him. I thought he was done. That pronation. So who's this kid right here? I have no idea. He was, he was he was talking up a game like he was talking up like a knowledge base, but uh, I never met him. He was sitting by uh Craig and Carl. I don't know. I don't know if they know him or. I feel bad though. It's been so long since I've been to that tournament. I don't like. I, know a lot I of talked. These I talked to him earlier, and uh, he had uh, he had some uh, neck surgery. He's got and he's got plates in his neck, and I think he he arm wrestled for a little bit, and then he since then he's just now coming back from that neck surgery. I don't I don't I don't yell at him to get in better. I'll push him. I'll push your shoulder back in place. I'd rather push it back in place and see that thing snap, man. I, I throw up. We'll see where he's at with, with Kyle because yeah. he's he's grabbing a hold of a real man. Kyle's a little worn down. We'll see what it looks like though. I I, I, I mean I don't mean to talk down on the kid, but I, I don't know who he is. I, yeah, they give it to Kyle. Well, I mean even wore out Kyle is 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 tough. Yeah, absolutely. Kyle's setup from here looks good. It's just hard to see. God, Jeremy Thornton looks huge. He doesn't look like a T10. Hell no. Again, it's Craig. Oh, Kyle's setup looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Tony takes it serious. If Tony yeah. walks in like, if he bullshits, he'll he'll, he'll smoke Tony. If, if Tony bullshits about it, yeah. but if Tony takes it serious, it'll be a good match. Tony, I'm gonna tell you right now, Tony will lose the super match. But if they met up in the tournament, Tony's just a better tournament for it. If the super yeah. match he gets in his own head, you know, he'll, he'll put sixty thousand dollars in a race car, but he's scared to lose a hundred on the table. Like, yeah. <laughs> but if he bet, if he bets on it, that means that son of a bitch is confident, boy. Look, yeah. I, mean, I gotta go, ref. Yep, go have fun. I gotta go work. Go to work. Earn your keep, damn it. Oh, oh you better suck in. You want to do what? Stand there? Appreciate you. Hey, you see that door right here? You can coach in here, you can kick back, watch, watch TV. Play on your phone, take a nap. I don't want to be on the side. You never, you never you. know what happened on that couch. <laughs> There's a green room. <laughs> My wife won't ever watch you. Never. Uh, I get up, she'll, 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 she'll sit in the room. Trying to make it look smaller. I get up, she walks out. Ever since I broke my arm, that's the first broke, second broke turn. I broke my arm, you'll never watch. Ever since that, she never watched. She walked right away. Kyle got another good setup right here. I don't know who he's pulling. Who's that? I forgot his name. He's a North Louisiana guy, uh, pulls with Levi. Okay. I spun around like a pinwheel. I come off, my arm spun. I caught it up here. I pulled it back down. Bad. 
They said they heard it this outside. Person, but I'm proud of William Wallace. Of course I'm prejudiced. I think you meant bias. <laughs> God dang, bro. God dang. Way to, way to be honest on the podcast. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, bring it out. Bring it out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're welcome, GRG. Get it together, though, brother. Get it together. <laughs> oh, man. Cal looks, uh, yeah, looks pretty comfortable over there. Like, I'm going to a guy with a yellow shirt because I'll be damned if I go with a guy with a black shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he does look solid, though. He's got a good setup. Yeah. He's got a really good setup. Come on, Kyle. Kyle honestly kind of looks uncomfortable now. Yeah, he ain't lagging it. He ain't lagging it. Robbie Carson Dyke. So Robbie is strong. Like, even if people don't know who Robbie is, Robbie is strong. Robbie, yeah. Robbie has like a 500 pound raw bench, no shirt. Like, no, like, lifting shirt. Jeez. He's, he's ridiculous. He's from, like, went to, like, Junior Olympics and stuff. I think the first time I won Louisiana State, it was against him, and I about blew my shit. Yeah. Look at that thing. Look at Kyle. Wow. Kyle brought it back. Yeah, Kyle brought it Kyle back. Brought it he back. hit. Stop, uh, Kyle stopped him. Boy, thought he had the pin. Kyle went all the way back. You got to stay on it, man. You have you to. Justin, stay on top. You know where people start getting that shit from? Craig. I, I did the same thing. I used to hit and think it was okay because Craig did it. Craig yeah. hit and get back up. Yeah, yeah. well, they're they going to let Craig get away with it because, I mean, like, you know, he, he he's going to do it again. I mean. But also, Craig, Craig can hit again the same way. Oh, yeah. From the same. I, I can't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I got, I'm like a one and done, Rich. man. Rich. Rich. We were talking about Tony Bishop. I mean, that's who I grew up training with. So I, he does the same thing too, and I had to learn to get out of it. Like that's why I hit and hold because I ain't trying to do it again. Man. Exactly. It's tough. It's the first time I've seen uh, Grant's right hand pull in a while. See, jo Josh Bishop is the one that taught me that lesson real quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Went to practice. I think it was at Andrew Yates. Yeah. Josh a hit and hold. Told you. I hit I hit Josh. I came back up and as soon as I came back up, it was like a just a pendulum. He swung me across that table so hard. He's like, "Why didn't you stay?" Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If, if people don't know Josh. I mean, that's in my opinion, that's one of the if he would get back to it, like he's one of the most underrated natural pullers I've oh, ever seen. Oh god, yeah, man. Come on, man. You got Colton Kimbrell over there against uh, Kyle. He's killing people that's, right uh, now. Didn't Colton beat Kyle again? Uh, I think he killer. did. I'm pretty sure he did. Colton hasn't been stopped today. Yeah. Not at all. If he lost anything, it may have been on files. Files. Yeah. I don't think he's lost to anybody else. And I don't think he's losing this one either. Yeah. He's just so fast. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what the straps do. Well, the straps are uh, early. It didn't help. Now we got Grant tensed up here. Grant and the straps is always a little different, Grant. Right? Yeah. I don't know about his right hand. It's kind of it's, it's it's hit and miss, man. And he lost today left. Yeah. Yeah, he did. It's his own fault, too. Yeah, he, absolutely. He could have won that match. Absolutely. He needs to trust his hand, stop running away from it. And if you're going to slip, you better learn a better way to slip. Yeah. There he goes. Oh, oh, oh stay. Oh. Skinny guy got some power. Yeah, he does. He's posting hard. Oh, yeah. Damn. Got, there's a lot of. Oh, he's. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty solid pulling. He's adjusting he the was, whole time. Skinny guy got some power. The entire. He, he was pulling dude. with his palm straight to the sky. Damn. Yeah. That's hard to do. Hell yeah. <laughs> but he was adjusting, man. He was pronating he really, really hard. Dude. He was. He's starting underneath him and everything. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But Grant needs to hit, stay, let him make the move, make the adjustment, take an inch away. I still think if he'd get used to putting that platform under him, I mean, not taking nothing away from him. Oh, I mean, that, it, that's, that's, a, that's a setup. I, I really, I really oh, think he man. can stay on top of it better. Grant's hand is in a bond. About to get a bit of his own medicine right here. Yeah. Oh, good hit, though. Stay, stop yeah. moving. He, he ain't got that hand like he had last time. Nope. Though. Damn. Nah. He's, in, he's separated now. That's, Colton looks solid. Colton was in control the whole Damn. time. The whole way. Yep. 
Ross is from Louisiana today, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hurting my soul. Oh, no, it's a uh, Grant just took a beating. Yeah. I mean, he had a bad setup in that strap. So Robbie only has one weakness. Robbie, you got to go outside on Robbie hard. This kid here? Way outside. You, you train with him? I beat him. <laughs> Look, he's impressive. I know Jamie was super strong. He has like a 500 pound bench with no lifting shape. If you go in the hook with him, it's, it's, a, it's a bond. Corey did like a 585 and he did a 500. Damn. He, he went to like the Junior Olympics and stuff, tested and all that. Stupid strong. Like the first time I had, I had one Louisiana State because Craig and them didn't pull for once. Wow. He, he shows up and I'm like, how the hell am I going to beat this damn kid? And all I did, Grant's like, just run. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and I just went way back. There's a lot of focus on these pullers, though, but I'm going to tell you right now, this this tournament's going so goddamn smooth. It people, is, People man. running the brackets and, uh, yeah, 217 on the film over there. Brad, he's killing it. Uh, Brad, I, I promise you. Hey, give it give it a couple weeks and when them pictures come out, videos come out, it is next to nothing. Second to none? I think that's what I meant. Yep. Yeah. Second to none. I, I knew what you meant. He's smacking me. He's yelling at me. Oh, man. But I'm, this, this is one of the smoother tournaments I've been to. It's going quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is what I think year four, Sean's been doing this now, right, Sean? Uh, 17. 17 was the first year. 17 was the first year. Yeah. It's running smooth, dude. It's six years, yeah. Was, six years here. Was the one I came to the first one? Or? The one that we got drunk, stayed out all night long, and didn't get home till. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was 17. Yeah, that was yeah. the first one, yeah. 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 Good times. <laughs> Actually, I think 17, I think, is the night that all of us went to Ropers. Do you remember that? Yes. Uh, Justin Bishop and all Oh, that's when we, we almost got in a fight with uh, Parsons and all of them. We yeah. almost got in a fight with the random yeah. people. Yeah. I, I wasn't there yeah. when Justin was no, there. No, no, no. That, that was the next year you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When we got here and we stayed out all night long. Yeah. yeah. I can't do that anymore. Yeah, no, no, no. a little bit old. Yeah, yeah. I think y'all went home because it was me, Justin, Haley, and Kristen, and we we rode in uh, yeah. Justin and his van. Well, yeah. well, last year y'all had somebody had an after party somewhere, man. We we did. We was tired, but when it when it goes through really smooth, if this one goes keeps going like it's going, I mean we'll we have plenty of time left. I'm oh sure. yeah, yeah, plenty of time. So we we're just talking about this is one of the smoothest tournaments I think I've been to. It's, it's and flying. Yeah, we're actually slowing down a little bit just because this is a comfortable spot. I'm in my hometown, you know, so we run this one a little bit. So I do. I mean, it's a lot slower than normal. Um, all of my other tournaments, I pride myself in being done by five o'clock. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So I try to slow this one out a little bit, just enjoy it more. Yeah. I don't. I don't get out very much, but if there's one tournament, I, I'll put stuff out of the way to get to. It's this one every year. Like, yeah. Whether I pull or not, I'm gonna try my best to be here. I appreciate that. I know RJ, and RJ's poured all over the place, and he gives me a big compliment every year, saying this is his favorite place to come pull. This is the only place I ever see him out of a state. I know. Yeah. I know. Really? Yeah. Yep. Grant's not set up very well right here. Uh, I think, I think Grant's, I think Grant's burnt out for the last few matches. He's, I think Adam might be in his head right now too. Yeah. Adam's about the top row right here. Brian Calhoun, he's stepping down. He he was a 230 guy in Mississippi. He's lost a lot of weight getting down here in this 190 class. Yeah, that's what Grant was just slow. telling us, man. Yeah. Yeah, get, it's, and yeah. I, you wouldn't think he's that old. I mean, because he pulls uh, seniors. Yeah. yeah. All right, fellas out there in the cyber world, we are about to wrap up all of the open classes. We're going to do some masters right here and the ladies, and then we'll jump in and do the amateur left hand and amateur right hand. So if you stuck around to watch it this far, I thank you so much. If you want to see the amateurs, stick around, and hopefully we won't have any accidents. We'll run it smooth and safe. I'll tell you what, man, we've, we've seen some impressive newer guys. Yeah. Um, and even the ones that haven't pulled in a while, like Colton Kimbrough, he's just kind of yeah. coming back. But he looks phenomenal, Colton's man. killing it, man. He but is he's, absolutely killing it. I don't, I don't think he's ever stopped, though. I mean, he, he stays at it pretty steady, training and practicing. I mean, whether he gets out or not, but 
in that AIDS kid uh, bathroom, <laughs> man. He's... Yeah, AIDS is a, it's AIDS is good. pretty tough. Yeah, Sean, you kind of missed it. Uh, Aiden bathroom? Yeah. But his guy has AIDS on his back. They said, and, I saw that. And somebody says, I think they call him AIDS because he's killing people and there's no cure for it. I'm like, good God. <laughs> Dang. Can't take these people nowhere. Do what? Just need it down, right? It's got a little head ref situation. I think when you start out in the ref game, they start you out on the, the down ref, you know, watching elbows and stuff, because you might not be as experienced as. Uh, Bad thing is, the little down ref earlier was looking at the wrong damn elbow. Yes, please. Nice. Look, Sean's by the book, but I honestly do like reffing under Sean. I mean, he's not going to let you away with much of anything, but for the way I pull in my style, it works really good. And I'm good at his cadence. His cadence on call is Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. I, I mean, I, I've seen him call some really bad calls on, like, some of his best friends. I mean, he's going he's gonna to foul you out, whatever. I mean, it's, it's about as honest as it gets. Yep. Now, granted. I'm partial to Leonard, and it's only because I've learned how to cheat that, that cadence I, so I, much. I do like Leonard myself. Leonard Leonard's one of my favorites. And I love Tim Breslin to death as a friend, but I cannot stand pulling under that guy. You know who I swear to God, <laughs> you, you, you'll probably agree, actually. You know who's one of my favorite refs? Travis. Who? Travis. Travis Bajan. Bajan? Yeah, Travis ain't bad. Yeah, Travis, is like he's like fair. He's like, if y'all are good with it, I'm good well, with gonna it. He's going to let people pull. You hey, know what I'm saying? Go, man. He's, he's, yeah. I mean, it, it's not bad. Uh, Tim, Tim, uh, Tim McPherson, he's kind of the same way. Yeah, Tim's you know, good. He's going to let it go. Well, remember we had – thank you so much. Remember we had Alabama State and uh, – I was uh, I was on the video and uh, – I'm like, I got the trap on. I'm like, I'm feeling so confident. Josh isn't behind me going, oh, you got this. And Tim's like, you're going to let him set up like that? I'm like, Tim, shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> Tim, Stop man. talking. Man, I have, uh, I have smushed so many of Tim's fingers where he holds the rails when I put my foot up. The, the Tony Bishop one still, like, it's legendary. It's like, because he grabs the damn yeah. legs. I mean, don't yeah, I, do that, man. I blew man. the meat out of Tony's fingers. Who we got right here? We got uh, we got Tim Breslin and uh, I don't know this guy. I'm kind of lost on some of the guys. That is the most professional gum chewer I've ever seen in my life, though. Like he is, uh, he, he's, he, uh, uh, Brian. <laughs> he's got it down to an arrogant art, bro. Like I do not know who this kid is, but he is strong. He is. He really is. Yeah. This right here, this right here, it's Lance Hahn. What his name is? Lance Hahn. Out of the Lance Hahn. What? Yeah. Hahn. Okay. So Lance, Lance, so Lance went from amateur Alabama last year straight to pro in Mississippi and actually holding his own. Like he's doing good. Did you see the amount of up pressure he just did yeah. to make that release? No, I, I didn't. It's, it wasn't his hand that let go. Yeah. It was Brian's hand. So if he can do the same thing, dump wrist it right now and go with that same up pressure. Yeah. He's about to break this wrist open. No, he's he's doing great. I mean, I I'm in Alabama every year, but it's hard. There's so many people that come in and out of the sport. I mean, it's hard to remember. I'm the worst with faces anyway, but. I feel bad. I, I do remember him, though. I feel bad that I, I forget most of these people. Like, yeah. Poor Keegan. I don't pulled Keegan like four or five times. Forgot his name. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Once somebody beats you, then you start remembering. You know, oh. but, like, when, you, when you're walking through people, it's hard to – like, there's so many people that's in and out of it. I, that's the only way I, – I laugh at Ron Bath all the time. That's how you get Ron's respect. Yeah. Ron ain't going to know who the hell you are until you, you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start winning. I was like, hey, Joey. Like, yeah, that's oh, right. now you remember. <laughs> that's right. I think Ron remembers me because his son broke my goddamn left arm. <laughs> Once you tote somebody oh, off stage with a broken Ron, arm. You're Ryan's like, <laughs> the one that broke your left? Was it Ryan? Or, yeah, it was Ryan. Oh, it was Ryan. man. Yeah, yeah he, uh, he's never beat me since. But, uh, yeah, he. I don't what, even think he was winning that day. <laughs> Ryan came. Like, he, he, he gave got up, out right? of it. He, Ryan got out of it, and he got back in it. Yeah. It got big, I guess, back in about like 18 or something like that. Man, he was on his And his left. His left was pretty yeah. – I think his left was the better arm anyway. It is. So. 
but that's that's him and uh, you've been seeing David Hobbs up there. So Ryan, Ryan's kind of the one that's got David into it. You know, they were best friends. Mm-hmm. You know, so. I like Hobbs. I pick on him all the time. I was like, man, I can't. I, I'm trying to figure out where your neck's up. Hey, don't don't try to sound like me, brother. I've been trying to. I, I said the same thing the last four years, man. I'm starting to train. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't trained since. Uh, I ain't got trained shit. I'll beat all y'all. I'll smash your bitch hey, ass. Last, right last day I was in the gym, I, I got that win on Pablo. You got the win on who? Pablo. Uh, from Illinois. I blew Pablo's arm off the table, bro. What? Yes. Was he drunk? No. Did he break his arm before? He come back on the B bracket and beat me, but barely. It was a war. Get the fuck out Man, I'm at a war. Because I, I went up there to pull Stephen Logston. I beat him um, three in the super match, two in a 98 class. That was last year? And two, it was uh, two, three years ago. Right there. So it was uh, five, no, seven times. So I beat Stephen Logston seven times and then entered the, the weight classes, and I had to pull Pablo. I think I won my 98, had to pull Pablo in 220, and uh, – I lost to Pablo. Yeah, so I was second. Pablo went first. But I beat him on the A bracket because he couldn't beat me in a hook. But well, then he had to come back up there, and uh, he really couldn't take my hand. So it was a war because he kept me flat. And I'm not real good flat. I can hold a long time, but I cannot finish a match flat. Yeah. Dude. That's Josh Bishop's, like, strong point, you know. Well, see, but, uh, I tell people that all the time. Like, you're one of those ones I don't better. It's just because the style itself. Like, no, oh, you think Cody Strong is like, that's not, it's not that's Cody Stronger or weaker. Yeah. The style alone, like, if you. Well, even in a hook, when it went in a hook with Pablo, that, that, I pressed him the first time, granted, but the second time he was setting up the top row, and he feels like a tree stump when you grab his hand. I bet he does. So I, I didn't set up to press the second, set up the hook, you know, and I couldn't I couldn't keep him contained. He kept me flat, but, I mean, I got a really strong hook too. It just wears my well, arm. Well, with your side pressures. Kind yeah. of ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm, I, that was a three year ago, Pablo. I'm going to tell you right now, Pablo ain't the same goddamn guy. Uh, that's a strong man right no, now. I, I, I'm not bragging about it. There's no way I could beat Pablo right now. Oh, hell with yeah. that. Keep yeah. that bragging point. Shit on that. I still talk shit about beating. You never beat Pablo. Yes, I have. He said, he said three years ago, hey, look, I hold on to all the old wins. I'm like a plumber. I bring up old yeah. shit. No, 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 no. I beat Hey, just, just to let you know, I top rolled this man. I have to. <laughs> hey, we talking about the past. Hey, Don't come over here. Don't tell. Come on, come over here. Hey, I'm about to hear it now, yeah. Rance. Oh, we can talk about man. I've, I've beaten BJ. That's happened. <laughs> In a tournament. Really? Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, Louisiana, at a uh, the one uh, Bayou State uh, Championship. Why does Rance sound jelly right now? I'm catching some jelly coming out of Rams. Little, little jelly. Little jelly. Good God, that man is big over there. Jesus. Rant, Lord. Rance gets irritable. He gets irritable when he can't drink, you know? And then I can't understand him. I need subtitles. <laughs> I just love him because he's got a fish on his arm, you know? <laughs> well, let's see how worn out Danny is on this. I think it's going to be a little too. Uh, he's still going to be able to get Carl. Carl's good in the hook, though, right-handed. Carl, Carl has been. The last few times I pulled Carl, he's feeling there is. solid. There he is. Hey, solid, solid. He's going to stay right there, too. When Carl gets in that wedge, he's pretty good. Hey, I'm going to give a shout-out to Nat Fit because that is where he's at right now. All that blueberry protein will put you on another level. Man, hey, you, know? you, tr- you tried the, the glazed donut one? Yeah. You put that shit in coffee? Oh, it's, I, it's good. It's too sweet, though. I got a mix of it stuff, like coffee. Right? Yeah, the, the yeah. coffee ones. Oh. But just straight up, dude, I can milk and, I can milk and blueberry the – the shit out of it. It is good. good. Oh, that was close. Stay. God. Good job. Danny's tired. Good win by Carl. Carl's over there picking on them seniors for their match. You worn out on a little buddy. This man is so big, he's having to do a split with Tim. Our old little buddy, Tim Bresnan. Little buddy, Tim Bresnan. I'm glad 
glad he's being humble over there. He is. And he didn't Michael taught him to the pad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, <laughs> Tim was making fun of it earlier. He goes, we missed Mike's match again. I was like, I bet oh we my did. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Bow. Dude, it's like. Why are you in a hurry, Mike? Man. God dang. He hurt that boy. I bet he did. Oh, my God, dude. That hurts. I've been pressed by it before. It sucks. That's why I laid down the. That's why I laid down the Craig while ago. I mean, like, what's the, what's the point? And, well, some of the boys that are just way stronger than you. Like we had Mississippi State. I guess it was 2017, right? Yeah. Matt Mask was here. Yeah. I got screwed over. I get Breeda first match. Yeah. We wore it out a little while. I lose. I go to the B side. Well, freaking Mass loses the run. Yeah. No, I got a good Matt. I'm like Matt, don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm like, like let me go first and don't hurt me. Yeah. He's like, all right, little buddy. <laughs> he just eases me down. Like, yeah. Hey, I have asked Craig to pull me down real slow like that at a time or two, and he ain't. I think I gained his trust because he pulled me down slow today. <laughs> See, now Todd will do it. Hutchins? Yeah. Todd will know. Todd yeah. will grab up and he goes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it ain't, it ain't like – it ain't like you're gonna get up there and surprise Todd with a bunch of side breaks. You still, you still getting a shoulder tap no matter what. If he don't know your name, he he ain't worried about it. No. No. <laughs> he said, he said, look, look at you being all humble over there. You didn't at least Michael Todd him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Can he pronate out? I thought he was. He, Come on. You he's gotta giving drag a lot of him, up pressure. You got to pronate. You got to drag him. You got to pronate. Climb. If he, if he would climb, it'd help him a lot right there. Like that. Climb, climb, climb. If he gets those fingers up. He's got it. There he goes. Oh. Hey. I'll... I'll a little more, a little more. Well, whenever you prone it, whenever you you started driving with your shoulder, you had him. Throw that hand. I know it's, it's hard to climb when the people's putting. You do? You got it. I got to be. I got to be Corey first. Oh well. I got. I That's got the only reason I didn't pull any I got late. I got less faith than that. Until I, I think you against Tia. I mean, Tia's tough. But. I gotta get. I gotta get through Corey first. Yeah. Right? That, that, Corey, that's that's Corey's a big moment. Yeah. At least you know how. We won't. Be setting, works, we won't be setting up sideways. At least you know how. Well, if anybody got the hand to do it, it's gonna we'll be try. you. Yeah. Nobody else got the hand over here to do it. I'm kind of excited about that. We'll try. So you pulled the seniors class just so you can pull Corey. <laughs> Exactly why I pulled. Him. I wasn't. Gonna, I didn't sign up till after you walked in. So I thought Mike was gonna pull right-handed open, oh, right-handed masters too. So I wanted to pull Mike. Yeah. He only pulled left, not pull right yet. Yeah. And he's poor. He's like. He's been pulling a long time. Good old boy, man. Can't can't go wrong, Carl. But he he went for a long time, and it's like he couldn't get out of a rut, and then out of nowhere, it's like a fire lit under. Him. Sometimes, sometimes just it all of a sudden hits you how to do what you yeah. got to do, you know? Yeah. Last couple last couple times I pulled him, he felt like a new man, like a whole different person. Look, well, he's got it again. So how many times you train somebody and they can't get it, they can't get yeah. it, they can't, they can't all of a sudden yep. boom, they get it. Yep. If I'm not mistaken, I think Carl's got a win on me in Louisiana sometime. Really? I think so. He's got one on me. I mean, he's done it before. Nah, it, it, it might be 10 to 1, but I think he I think he pulled a win out on me one day. Because he's one of the ones. He'll grind you. At least you know you don't get up there and un you might pull somebody 10 times, but you don't get up there and underestimate them, man. Like, you know what's the hardest part about pulling is when you like somebody, it's hard to really go hard. Trying to roll over, not kneel on my knee. Oh, Danny's got a lot of his hand right now. He he got kind of wore out in that last one, I think. His hands got blown up. If Danny regrips, he might. Oh no, no. Palm starting to drop. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
We've been preaching climbing though, but it's going to be really hard to climb. With, he's in a bad position to climb. He's trying. He just needs to keep that weight on the, keep the weight on the elbow. He's trying. Keep climbing, Carl. I know it's hard. But keep climbing. Uh, he's keep climbing. starting to get on top of that finger. That's that's all you got to do is keep climbing. See how it transitions into the hook right at the end. Yeah, I know y'all too old for this shit. Okay. Carl, that was way better, brother. Way better. Yeah, yeah, uh, way too old for restarts. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Where's that net that you got to call it? It's contact. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you for that contact. Well, he told me, he called me, gave me, gave me the information. Wait, this guy? Um, I'm telling y'all, y'all give it about two weeks, and y'all watch for Brad. Brad's going to put out some footage that's going to blow y'all's goddamn minds. Absolutely. He always does the best content. He really does. If y'all ain't following him on uh, YouTube, I would love to if I could. highly recommend it. 217. Is it 217? Uh, that's a good question now. I think it's 217. He'll turn around in a minute. Oh, uh-oh. These, these boys right here are war. I, no. That's a lot. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, winner, Carl yeah, Seguin on files. Just waiting on some ibuprofen from your lovely wife. Oh, this is going to, she's got a goddamn med kit. Right? Yeah. yeah. What happened to your boy Wayne? Wayne Is it? With it. No, he's going. He's pulling in Malaysia in a couple of weeks. So. Yeah. I wish I was going Brad. Yeah, it says two one seven. Really? Such a nice place. If you ever get a chance to go there, I almost couldn't remember the name of the. Go there. I was like, that's right. Turn around. Two one seven. Two one seven. My little buddy Nick Michelle rolled up. Oh. Hey, this is a nice little match here. Oh, Brian with the win. Apparently. So you're not working today? What? You're not working today? Tell me that you guys do something. I'll be, I'll be up there. I mean, you, you ain't worked all day. You might as well do something. I've done more than you. I rubbed all the left classes. I'm deaf. Why should I put earphones on? I can't hear anyway. <laughs> it's on. It's got a red light. They can hear me. Oh, they can definitely hear it, Tim. Trust me. Branch <laughs> Clayton is a homo. So they heard that. He, he her. Did he hear that? She him. <laughs> they definitely heard that. <laughs> No, they couldn't. <laughs> yeah, they could. That's Ranch's, that's Ranch's attempt to count to ten. He's he got to do it nine more times. Did, yeah, one more time. You got to do it eight more times, Ranch. Yeah, two. <laughs> <laughs> two plus how much is ten? Ranch can't count. Don't hit, him. Don't hit him up like that. That's my truth. <laughs> That's what it's all about these days, right? As long as it's my truth, that's what counts. You ever heard about that Mississippi schooling? You feel, you feel like a woman today? The Mississippi schooling? Mississippi what? Schooling. The, edu the education system up in Mississippi. Mississippi. I don't even know what you're talking about. Miss I don't know if I've ever heard of it. I think, I think Mississippi schooling is ranked like 50th in America. Thank y'all. Yeah, and I think Alabama's next on no, 49. No, we are. <laughs> I was just about to say we're doing We are. We're not dead last. No, y'all are, y'all are last. Oh, are we? Yes. Yeah, thank God, dude, because I thought it was Louisiana. But What's we're that? Education. We're second towards education. And Tennessee's pretty bad, too. We're pretty far down the list. Oh, only, only, worse, uh, only worse one is uh, Mississippi. Thank God my kids <laughs> don't want to school up north. Hey, Brad. Is that Sean? Nice. Brad, you got a, hey, you want a knee approxim? Where's that? It's good. Better than that. Way better. I'm gonna start. I don't want to test you now. I just got it. It's not a painkiller or nothing. It's a, it's a, it's a, 
muscle like, relaxer. Um, right? Muscle Bro- relaxer. Yeah, but not, not like a not a super duper. Fucking yeah. okay, chicken shit. <laughs> I missed the Dusty match, but I heard he clean swept. He did. He did. Poor and it, it, it wasn't it wasn't really an overpowering. The setup by Dusty was perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. And in my opinion, I felt Dusty a couple years ago, and he, he was getting better. I felt like he lacked a lot of back pressure. But uh, over a couple years of him training, I don't I don't think Herbert took it near as serious Whoa. as that young boy. This girl's also getting at it now. This young lady He's right getting here. Getting at it now. Baby girl just went sideways. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you you can see it from the start. Uh, the start of the match, Kyle had the power. He could definitely like the competition could have been there. I, I think it was. I think it was just Kyle's drive. I think I don't think Kyle's Kyle's been at that level for so long. And this new kid's coming up. I, he's gonna have more heart and more drive than Kyle. Yeah. Now, maybe that loss will put him back on schedule and you know, maybe, maybe he'll so, come back. But now, granted, this is the longest we've ever seen Kyle work out. Like Kyle really started getting. Up. Now, do I think he was? Strong enough? Yeah, I do think he was strong enough. But, like, you can see it in the table set up. Well, like, that, that makes me feel better. I didn't even know Kyle was, like, preparing for it or taking it serious. But. Yeah, he, I mean, just over the last few, I guess, since they – That still makes a lot of difference, though. It does. Yeah. People don't – I mean, three or four months training is a world of difference in arm wrestling. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. I hate when they move like that. Yeah, she's strong. Yeah, I've seen you win before. I've seen you arm wrestle before. Remember, remember Justin? Uh, Hawkeye, Justin, or uh, Jason? Yeah, that's, that's, right. yeah. that's why he started arm wrestling. She was baking him in our gym. She got this kid in the gym and started arm wrestling. He's pretty decent now. That's why he started this, because she was beating him. He's, he's my size, and she's... I thought you said she wasn't strong. It's her hand. Is that a good hand? Oh, she's whoa. She's she has a hard Great time job. She'll stand almost anybody else. She'll take guys in the gym that work out every day. Lou Ray, her name she's is. That little like, girl oh, got some talent. Like, oh. You've seen that, huh? Oh. Just a little bit of all she does. Is hey, that was a great, great this. counter. And awesome. I don't know what to do. She's looking at you like this. Right, you know who's strong as shit? It's Candy. Candy Candy is strong. Candy's strong as shit. Candy. Paul's Candy wife? Passmore. Yeah, yeah. that girl's strong as shit. Kid is super strong. <laughs> super strong. But you also you also talking about what a hundred and thirty pound girl. Yeah. You know she's ninety pounds when she's doing this. It's with true. These kids in the hey, we going to novice rent? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that little girl right there, man, she is strong as get out. Because you had to pull a 400 pound behemoth, you know, I'm not exactly the, the last time we pulled, I had a super match with DJ. It was a David Goliath super match, whatever. And uh, she, they talked her in there. She won my second. Candy, Candy. Candy, Candy, Candy. Candy's the only one that does. Uh-huh. And, and there was a 30, 40 pound weight class. Oh, Will, what a good move. Way to wait it out. I'll take one more for the roof. Tell you what, this little girl right here is strong. It's the Louisiana dude. girl, right? Yep. Yeah, she. I don't, she made a good adjustment a little while ago. Yeah. Look at that. She got a solid setup. Look no, she her. went straight. Look, she takes the hand, stays on top. She even did a little drag. <laughs> yeah. She'd be very old. I mean, they yeah. yeah. Look at the setup. It's solid. Is she? I mean, you're, oh. you're Louisiana. Is she not we all? She's got a Nat Fit shirt on. She's got to be north. Or she she got to know Craig. In, yeah, North Louisiana. Carl, Carl knows who she is. Man, I'm telling you, I haven't done shit in four years, Cody. You look like it, brother. Don't don't I know it? 
If mashed potatoes was a body, it'd be mine. Oh, I love mashed potatoes. Oh, I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes are good. Mashed potatoes and gravy. That's about what I look like right now. How come you're not pulling? It, your leg's like the nine-pound You're like the 90th mashed person. Is, I'm so <laughs> out of shape. It's so bad. When you can't pull, commentate. I just ain't got time. We do both of Just take the ale like I do, you know? Like, right? Yeah. I come here expecting ales. Well, see, you what I do is is I, uh, I end up going to a bar on, like, like we'll, we'll go out one day, and then I just get cocky and drink. You, really drink, you drink Bud Light, though, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he can deep throw the Bud Light with the best of them. Oh, look, that's my wife and kid calling. That's my little Where kid. are you? I'm not speaker. home That's yet. my little girl. Put it on speaker. Say, uh, hold on. I got to put the volume up, baby. Hey, tell Mr. Cody and Mr. Tim, hey, oh, what you got? <laughs> it's a a cute your dad. She made a cute little frog. There's a frog. Uh, <laughs> were we just talking that, about that? Hey, that's, that's Mr. Cody's favorite thing is rainbows. Were we he just loves talking it. About that? Look how pretty his hair is, Avery. He had pretty hair. <laughs> Look. I enjoy it down here. Uh, I get my house finished. I like Tennessee. Ugh. Hey, show Mr. Cody your muscles. Show him them guns. Show him them guns. Stop it. Oh. Right there. Yeah, you ain't ready for it. What? Maybe I'll get up there and referee a little bit. All right, girl. Well, look, I got to go, okay? I love you. Bye. I got short legs. I struggle with that. You gotta see that little thing play softball, boy. Oh, I bet, man. She's an animal, cuz. She looks like a pistol. She's a, she just turned eight in May, right? Here's LeRae. She's going at it again. Yeah. She gotta, she, look, there she goes, taking her hand right hand, out there. Man. Every time, she jumps straight on the hand. Smart girl. You got a little leftover food right there, boy. Uh, might be lying. Dude, uh, this, this dude's doing great, but that gum has to be out of flavor by now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a little lime on you, too. <laughs> what? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what bros are for. That's it. Yeah, Avery had just turned uh, eight years old, right? Yeah. And uh, in May, she turned eight in May. She's already driving the softball right now at about a 190, 185. And she's... She's gonna, be a, Christ, she's gonna be a dog, man. She's better than I ever was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's already four o'clock. We had, there was a lot of amateurs called. Yeah, yeah. Well, Sean said he slowed it down a little bit because he wanted to take a little time, I guess. John says five minute break, and then uh, and then in an hour, hour and a half, we'll be done with the amateurs. So, so we might uh, take up on that break. We'll let it sit here, see if those guys get warming up. We'll leave the cameras going. I don't know who GRG is, but he is the biggest fan tonight. Hey, Shout out to GRG. GRG like made us laugh so hard earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I think Brian Cow, who's going to win, but I'm kind of prejudiced. We're like, whoa, I think you meant bias. <laughs> straight prejudice. He come back and said bias. Yeah. GRG, new life for me fitness. Yeah. He's probably drinking more than Cody Franklin right now. Amateur skills. 
quick. He's doing three tables. And they honestly, I think they slowed the pros down to spread out a little bit, you know, because they got a time frame to hit. So it's, I'm telling you, this is one of the smoothest tables I've been to. What are they doing? What are they doing here? They're setting up three, three tables for them. Yeah, I know. What, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Oh, I gotta stand up oh, a little bit. Yeah. That money's killing me. Huh? What's in that? Are hey, you gonna go get you a bucket of vodka, bro? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I enjoy rapping, but I don't pay enough for me not to drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I yeah. take a paycheck. Sounds like work. Yeah. You gotta just uh, have it but in I, a contract, little you know? But I do I do respect that they're not, you know, like some of the best refs. So it looks like what I'm gonna try to do is probably I'll just back this camera up. You let me know if I can get them both in frame. You try to do all three? And this one I'll just move it because all the other the cameras are taped down. Yeah. Them doing that just kind of blew it for me, but that's about, it looks like my best bet, right, to shoot this one here, and then this one I'll back up, try to get both of these. You can, you can back that one up? Yeah, I'll, I'll, well, I can do it with the lens. Okay, the, yeah, yeah. The, I can't move the cameras now. Is yeah, turn it, turn it to higher left, back it up, and I'll give you a thumbs up. And you're going to leave, well, that I'm one's got gonna, two, too. Yeah, we'll fit, we'll just try to fit them in. That's what we're going to have to do, I guess. You gonna no. focus on one and back one up? It's not ideal. Well, I gotta see where their tables are going, but I'm thinking we'll just back the view up, right? Yeah. So I can fit them both in and we'll get both of them on this one. And then this one, I'll just Go to the other side. angle okay. and, and zoom in. Okay. Looks like the other two are fixed, so I could probably at least do that back one, right? So the, the back one, Go, just go, do one table. Yeah, go, just the back the one, go to the right, do that one table. <laughs> Almost centered. You want to go a little bit more? You want to center it? Yeah, yeah. Go a little bit more. A little bit. Hey. A little bit. That's good enough. Good? Yeah, that's good enough. It's close to center. We could go to the one side, but I wouldn't want to go to the other side. <laughs> and that one's close. If you can, you said you can back it up a little. I could probably go down on this one too, right? Uh, and I could maybe go this way a little bit because yeah. you, you can. I just but didn't want to. I didn't want to keep getting yeah, picky. No, I got you. you. Know? Yeah. We're pretty good. I got you. The other one, they're almost done. So. Yeah. A little bit more that way. It's good. It's hard to get it centered because it keeps. Other way. Other way. Is that all it's got? It's it's close. I mean, it's got a focus, but. Hey. 
if he could bring this table a little bit further. I know he wouldn't want to, but. Can you, you gotta focus on the camera? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna try to get it where it's at first. That's as far back as I go. I was zooming in the other way. What are you saying? Yeah. This table can't come back though. It's screwing up right here. Yeah, no. If he if he came back, it might get it more in the frame. I don't I don't really know. But. Hey, if, if you honestly, what if we move that one over a little bit, and then I can get it over? You can. Hey, they'll be cut out of hair, but if. if Once you center it up, that'll be better. We just gotta focus it. You almost need to kick over a little bit towards that table. Yeah, you gotta go right a little bit. Wrong way. Are you focused? Hey, focus was good, but it went out. Go back. Hey, do it slow and look at me. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Other way. I don't oh, think you're moving it. That's close. Wait. It's focused. That's good enough. Gotta go that way. Now go that way a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right. All right. It's close enough. We got to focus better. Is yeah, it's, it's a lot better. And then we got to move that one a little bit, right? Yeah. All right. That's good enough. It's good. No, it's pretty close. No, it looks good. It's fine. Be good. Better than one, Work it on the fly. More of an audio guy than a video guy. <laughs> Brad, uh, Brad got me in a video a while back, but this is there was way more than I thought. Uh, I got a, uh, what's a Canon M50 or some kind of mirrorless pad. Like, oh, the good shit. Yeah, we're trying to do videos. That's the whole thing. Can't go too good. It gets hard to even you can't, get this to work with all the shit because if you're putting so much through it. I know a lot of guys out there, but it's really hard to keep up with Brad's critique too. Like Brad trying to help me out, and I'm trying to follow all his advice. And I'm like, dude, you are getting so goddamn Yeah. Back it up. Back it up. Yeah. Level one, man. He's, man, he's so good. There's, there's a lot more to it than just buying good equipment. I mean, that's part of it. <laughs> yeah, that's for the people that end up selling it, right? Yeah. Shit going on, huh? yeah. And now the rookies, the I amateurs. Think I brought those out there with <laughs> It looked just like it. way smaller, but a know, way smaller version way of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> He does, man. He, he, he's done a fantastic job putting this together. He has. It's ridiculous. Boom Premium Production. Sean Pew Pew Hancock. And when Rebecca Boom. made him repeat us up three times a while ago and he said the same word for word thing, like, I was impressed, dude. Like, he's well spoken. He got it. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to repeat this up three times. Not that long. I'd have fucked that up at least four or five times. Oh, yeah. In the three. Yeah, good then. Yeah. Right here, so I'm one. He's slinging it for 
<laughs> that dude just goes with the flow, though. <laughs> you don't give a damn. Have you seen that thing riding the motorcycle? Yeah, with his little helmet. <laughs> Five hours in. There's more people in here than there was a while ago, too. I feel like it is, yeah. right? Let's say that people will start coming early for the band and all that. You know, and I, right? I bet you a lot of them amateurs may have left, too, yeah, being they so. weren't going to come back till three. Uh, you could do this in an hour and a half, no problem. With three tables? Yeah. Not no problem. It was gonna have to be moving, but he can get it done. This is where I make my wife mad. Hey, I told you I was only staying until two or three. <laughs> but it's, but everybody's telling me they only be only an hour and a half left. <laughs> yeah, it's just an hour and a half. <laughs> He's got to. He's got to be off the stage, so he doesn't really have a choice. Stop it. Hey, boy. Yeah, don't go diving in. I wonder if I was this cringeworthy as an amateur, too. I don't know. Every time I watch amateurs now, I get like. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It, it's well, it's just when they try to do something like, I'm going to dive in. Yeah. And then their head like goes all the way to the side. I'm like, oh, God. But in my opinion, none of that matters. Like, as long as your elbow, oh, yeah. as, as long as you're body. still tucked and yeah. you're in your belly button, I ain't too worried about the out of position. When people start really stretching out is when I start cringing a little bit. All of a sudden, you'll just see this. And it still don't bother me. I just feel bad for the guys, you know? Like, last year I was here and we had an arm break, and I was at the bar just giving advice to a guy that was an amateur, and he walked straight up here and did exactly the opposite of what I said and broke his arm. <laughs> <laughs> you want to, <laughs> you want to go, I told you. Dude, it was tough, man. We walked him out, but he was a trooper about it, man. He uh, he did. He didn't He didn't cry, holler, nothing. I mean, they wasn't nothing drastic. His mom took him to the hospital. I've still been told the loudest arm break ever heard was yours. Oh, it was loud. Yes, sir. Every person I know goes, man, yep. you, you went there with Cody's arm broke. I was like, I went there with Cody's arm broke. It sounded arm. like a 410 shotgun. Like, I mean, it, it was it, it, it was pretty loud. Oh, Lord. That's what did happens you, when you break a man's bone. You did know? you? <laughs> yeah. Did when, I I, when I broke mine. I uh, felt it in my uh, teeth. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I broke mine a long time ago. We were waiting. It was after Mardi Gras, and I had a buddy from halfway across the, like, the house pulling his head out of the kitchen. Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, yeah. And my buddy thought the table broke. No, no, no. I didn't hear shit. No. Like, because I guess for that moment. I knew what it was, and I was still talking shit. I'm like, y'all are so glad I didn't get to pull with my right arm. You know, because my left broke before my right went up, so I was still talking crap. It did make me sick though. I got I got a little sick, but once they once they got that Dramamine in me or whatever oh, it was, I was, to to <laughs> I was good to go. I was good to go. I was good to go. Well, see, I think it was 2000 and maybe 14 or 2015. I went to Kentucky Muscle. I was strong, man. And uh, yeah. he was doing good too. He separated a little yeah, bit yeah. there. Yeah. If, if he would have stayed on the hammer curl instead of going inside. If he'd have stayed tight, I think he would have had a had a match. I like watching some of these amateur matches. You, you can actually learn a lot Absolutely. from watching them. Yeah, also, I think it was 2015, man. I felt strong. I was in the Kentucky Muscle. Yeah. Met a guy, never pulled him again, never heard of his name again. He was yeah. in an open class. And we go, he felt strong, and all of a sudden, I, I, I felt like I had his arm. So I started lag dragging back, and he lays back, and it his bicep pops, and it felt like somebody was holding on to a rope and just, just let, let it go. go. Yep, yep. Oh, my God, man. Oh, yeah. I was like, my nerves were rattled after. Like, I was shaking. I was like, I can't believe I just hurt somebody like that. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, when, when Ryan broke my arm, he uh, the look on his face was, he was horrified. <laughs> hey, you feel horrible. Yeah. Especially if it's somebody you like. Oh, it's just so yeah, there, much there, like was, there was no hard feelings, you know? Like, it, it wasn't no big deal. I got I got a couple months off work. See, right now, he's it's tough, yeah. He's all outside the shoulder. Yeah, that's what I'm Keep I like, looking at your hand. I like to see an amateur stay patient. Yeah. He's doing well. He's Not freaking out surging. A lot of a lot of people start surging when they don't know what they're doing. Like they're doing great. Start pulling back. Lat drag. 
There you go. So the difference here, though, there's, there's not a lot of up and back. You know, he's just holding locked and giving side. So you're going to start that weight in there? Yep. I hate seeing that because that's, you know, it's all yeah. that pressure. Blood's getting out of there, yeah. Oh, see when he cut back, too. He's on it now. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. A lot of pressure on them arms. Why'd you tell me guys I was coming over the air both and I was talking? Huh? My wife told me from Connecticut. Did you shut up? <laughs> Corey called you? <laughs> oh yeah, they're always on. <laughs> yep. That's why they tune in, Tim. That's why it's got legs. They always go back. The only time it matters is when people take a cut, <laughs> and all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, that's it! I got it! I didn't mean to screw up your little edit of your match." It's hard to tell who's watching when all you got is GRG on the screen. Like, you know. Another shout out to GRG. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you are getting all the shout outs. <laughs> I'm telling you, that the first one when we was all commentating, Dude. we were we were completely blitzed. We should not have been on the mic. Oh, no, yeah. We were saying the dumbest shit. Yeah, well, hey. This guy right here is winning the whole thing. That one right there? Right there. Anybody whose pants is that high and shirt tucked in that tight His definitely is winning. Tucked in. In. Yeah, he's a, that's, that's a. That's nice. A, that's, move. A, that's a Adam Warwinski right there, man. Just clean cut. Yeah, clean cut coming here. 17. Yep. Strong. Yeah. He looks Wait good. His form Both is hands. great. Yeah, that looks beautiful. None, none I, of us. I do. pulled him like last <laughs> year. I think <laughs> he had been pulling. <laughs> I, I got some tree trunks, bro. <laughs> I that's think he had been pulling less than a year or like a couple months. Like, I couldn't even touch the kid on the after pull table. Like, Come on. It's nasty. Like his crazy hands, almost like. Uh, Where did Tim Bresnan pull that know. strap from? Oh, I, it was amazing. He just rolled out. <laughs> no, it's just arm come up, strap dangling. <laughs> I did see him drinking a Bud Light a while ago. Oh, oh Tim. Oh, Tim. He. He it's heard. Slow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, them, right there. Yeah, the, I don't know. It, I think it was Josh or Worley. I think Worley goes, uh, just starts starting random conversations. And I'm like completely masked. He goes, Joey, how do you like your steak? He's like, like, like I got more women. <laughs> and they were like, the show, I was like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> Talking about Josh Webb? No, uh, <laughs> Josh Bishop. <laughs> oh, Josh Bishop, yeah. How do, you like, how do you like your steak? Like I like my women. Shut up, Joey. Yeah, well, Shut you up, know, Joey. coffee and drinks. That's what I say. You know, I, I want it like I like my women. They're like, what? And I'm like, strong and mean. You know? <laughs> I was just taking pink on the inside. I don't well, know. well, I told my like, no, he said steak. I told him I, I said I like my steak like I like my women. A little blood dripping. He was like, what? <laughs> 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 God dang. Back to arm nice. nice win. Right here on the table, I guess that's two. He's, he's, pretty, he's pretty good, too. He ain't bad. All right, so this guy in a white hat had a good little stamina match earlier. I don't know how much you got left in the tank. About to find out. Nice pronation, but stay. You guys talk to this Alexander Clark guy about his weight? No, Alexander Clark. All you got to do is just Google a guy named Water Cut. Yeah, I would say you don't even really have to get to 240. You're looking at getting to probably in a like month, a 248. In a month, you know, because you, you can water cut that eight pounds. You, oh, can, God, you can God. diet to a 240 with intermittent fasting or whatever you want to do. I mean, you I, really I think personally. But, really, but right? the, the 265 to 240 could be done in two God dang weeks, you know, if, if you look up a water cut and you do it right. But, um, it's pretty tough, man. I it's still a middle thing. Gets yeah, man, I, I, I average uh, my weight was, what, about 215, 210 usually, and I'd cut to 198 within seven days. I mean, yeah. it's not it's not something that's 
as hard as it seems. Now, you have to be mentally strong for it. It'll mess with you mentally if you go anything over 10 pounds. The toughest cut might be zapped, too, so you might have low endurance against guys that are ready to go. So, I mean, it, it is Absolutely. just The toughest wrestling. cut I did was I, was I was already pretty lean at the time, but I was going from 215 to 165 for WL, and I weighed in at 168. But that was a three, three-and-a-half-week cut. Yeah. You're going 215 to 165. And, you know, if you're 265 already, I'm kind of assuming you got a little bit more body fat than I had to play with. So, water's going to come off a little easier. Simple Google. Simple Google, bro. You got it. Yeah. It's water loading, carb manipulation, and minimization of sodium. I don't know you, Alexander Clark. But uh, if you're pulling an amateur super match or whatever, if there's not a lot of money on it, I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't worth it. Yeah, I don't cut an amateur. Yeah, you don't cut weight if ain't no money. They some tough matches in these amateur classes. They actually punch yourself in the face. Yeah. I keep waiting on some amateurs. Like the first time I seen a uh, Jerome Loud. Just walk in and it's like, Jesus Jerome Christ, man. Jerome was different, though. Oh man. yeah. Well, him and uh, who was that guy back in the day that had all the flame tattoos on him? Talks to himself in third person. Chuck. Chuck. Oh, Chuck, he come out of nowhere and was just clapping people. Like, well, Chuck had that hand, that concrete hand. Like, yeah. it, if you do a job, if you're like a mechanic, every or now and breaking then, concrete. I, at that point, I'm thinking you're just. That's running. right, man. Every now and then, like you just see a guy come out of nowhere and just doing good. Yeah, I mean, this is that WL, uh, WL New Orleans right here. So that was before, and that was after. That's seven days. I got close. I was 91. <laughs> I look like a crackhead. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it was hard, man. I got hungry. I can make, I can make 76 in the morning now. Easy. Oh, God. Man. I'm so fat right now. I was pretty lean 215 when I went to 68. We talking about ladies like that. You want to go to the band room? Come on. <laughs> the band room. <laughs> Take me now. <laughs> Take me now. What a groupie. I require a couple tequila shots first, bro. Yeah, I mean right there, that's right there, that's two hundred and twenty pounds, two fifteen ish. And oh, that's 215-ish. And that's WL, 195. And that's seven Damn. days of cut. Damn. And how much did you get back out of that when you went? I got, back, I got back right at about 215, yeah. 212. Like 20 pounds back is crazy. You're welcome, Clark. You know, I can't ever yeah, get it back. Well. I can maybe cut it, but then I don't get it back. I only get back like four or five. Well, the miles. funny thing is, everybody sees uh, used to see me at that weight, right? I'd walk around at that 210, 215 weight. I'd weigh in, and uh, so all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, Joey looks small. Did Joey look small?" And then I come back on stage the next day and like, "What the fuck happened?" It's not who I saw yesterday. That dude gained 20 pounds. Hey, I. Because it's not about cutting. It's, it, the most important part is putting it back on. Because if you don't put it on the right way, you will be lethargic. Okay. That guy in the yellow right there has given up everything. 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 Oh, Tim, Tim, needs, Tim needs to bunk uh, purple back a little bit. He's, he's trying. I knew all their names. The guy in the blue got a goddamn arm on it. No yeah, yeah. hand, but an arm. No, he, he looks like he might win it, though. I think he's right. He, he, he might no, win it all. I'm talking about the other one, the one that just went down. No, that guy's a lot better. 
That's definitely one thing now is that there's a whole bunch of new guys pulling that nobody knows who they are. And some guys, some of these guys are pretty stout. That's all we've been talking about, yeah. man. You can be a pro and you can learn a lot because, like, you can see them opening them up their weaknesses and, like, what works against all their styles and stuff. So, like, I enjoy watching the amateurs when I get a chance. Yeah. Well, then, like, you brought up Jerome. I mean, when yeah. Jerome came there, Jerome was big, number one. But his hand, it's like one of the biggest damn hands I've ever, like, ripped up with my life. Oh, it's insane. It's like it's grabbing huge. a block. Man. Yeah. Like, well, if you're talking about Jerome Loud, huh? yeah. yeah. He is on a, well, he come, he's he's come a, out of he's a different animal. Well, nobody sure. knew who Jerome was. They oh. just showed up one day, and it's just well, like. Yeah, right. Dude, well, oh look my at, God. Well, look at Robbie, right? Robbie dude. Russell. Yeah. Robbie had went to that Georgia tournament. Nobody knew who the hell Robbie yeah. was. All of a sudden, he goes against Sam Harris, and he lots in the middle of the table, uh, table with Sam Harris for like two minutes. Robbie's been pulling for a while. At that yeah, point, but I, I mean that was a long time ago. But I'm saying like when Robbie, like he wasn't even an amateur. I don't think Robbie even hit amateur. Robbie I, showed up at a t- tournament. And was like, yeah, I want to pull. I, I I think Robbie's doing better lately. You know, back in the day, I don't I don't remember Robbie doing that great when he was earlier. Oh, he was, he was still pretty decent. Now he's way better now. Yeah, he's way better now. He's doing great. Like. I know that Ryan Carmadel turned 93 today. So at least, at least 93. At least 93, probably even 100. So give Ryan Carmadel a happy birthday. Yeah, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure the only thing that's been around longer than Ryan is the sun. I don't think that's been around long as him. No, probably not. <laughs> no. Shout out to my boy Ryan Carmadel. Poor Ryan. Poor Ryan. I love my old buddy. He pulled the seniors class for anybody that don't know. He's old as he's going to pull the seniors <laughs> class. <laughs> Senior citizens class. <laughs> He gets that cheap coffee, you know? Absolutely. A- A- he started AARP. <laughs> it used to be called CAARP. <laughs> I'm amazed John Toops hasn't texted me more yet. He's been texting me. Doesn't he do, like, cross-country running now or something like that? Ryan Cumberdale? No, oh, John. John. I don't see Ryan Cumberdale running anywhere. No. Except to the nursing home bathroom. <laughs> to, except to the bait shop. <laughs> we got a match right here. Blue and green. Oh, oh, that looks bad. Wow. Don't separate. Get up to the table. Don't. That's a bad thing to look at right there. We, I was just asking Cody, did we look that cringy at, as, as amateurs? I would like to think we didn't, but we probably did. Yeah. I don't think I did. I always stayed really tight, except for the one time I broke my arm. And then after that, I stayed really tight. You learned your lesson <laughs> really quick. My hand is behind my shoulder looking at you. Nice like, hit. Keep that elbow yeah. tucked to your belly button. Closer your elbow is to your belly button. It ain't going to break. That's it. Unless, unless y'all both just that god dang strong, you know. But, that's what Ray Hendricks would tell us, man. Ray would tell you, like, get on your tippy toes, put your elbows dead center of the pad, and just squat on that thing. You yeah, feel that? That's right. Stay like that's that. Right. That's right. There's a lot of meat on table two right now. I'm going to tell you, Ray, Ray's underestimated for a pull. Yeah. Man, Ray's a really smart puller. So do you know Ray don't live in Louisiana no more? Where did he move to? Colorado. Yeah, he just no. recently pulled Colorado State, I believe. Yeah, and actually won both hands. Yeah. And yeah. just out the blue decided, you know, because he retired. Like, sold his house, moved out to Colorado, that, called that it quits. That is still a bad, That bad poor man. guy is out of place in Luke, Colorado, I'm telling you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude's been in Louisiana his whole life. Yeah, no. He is straight. Can't even say the word on this thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> They say les bon temps roule, you know what I'm saying? Hold it. There you go. Right there. there you go. Hey, go straight down now. No. Oh. Drag. Right drag to you. Pull your elbow. There you go. Good job, young man. Hey, good hand control right there. Oh, shit. Oh, Spacey's in Louisiana. You know Spacey? Spicy. Spicy. Read the screen, brother. Oh, Spacey. You're saying spicy. <laughs> I didn't say spicy. You from Louisiana. Spacey. You hear everything I don't know spicy. I wish I could have made it. I was like, what? Spacey. Uh, no. What part of Louisiana, Spacey? If that's your last name, we got to be north. Got a, got a double handful of Louisiana guys here. Yeah, a couple on not here north. talking crap. You know, anything north of I-10 is technically a Yankee. It's like 
South Arkansas. Yeah, you ain't never watched Bugs Bunny well, if you, you don't know that. You might as well be in Shreveport. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> New Orleans born and raised. Oh, all right. Hey, hey, Well, keep running. Hey, hey do that again. <laughs> oh, Nolans. Nolans ain't far from here. How long does it take? Like two hours? About an hour. About an hour 45. Yeah. 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 It's about two hours 45. For, uh, well, so, I'm an hour from New Orleans. Yeah. Nick's like, in Mar- uh, I'm like 20 minutes from I'm in Marrero. Marrero. I think I'm like... Four like hours? Six hours? Six? Yeah. Out of city? Oh, no, you're in uh, Silicon Valley. Ca- yeah, yeah. yeah Silicon Valley. Uh, yeah, about six hours. About six. I don't know. I made it to Josh's house pretty damn fast that yeah, last we, time. Well, Josh's, you come up from the south. Mine, I usually go up north through Birmingham. You probably come up through Mobile. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, see, that last time, it was the Alabama State. Remember, I had seen yeah. you at Alabama State. Yeah. Well, that would have been quicker to come up yep. through Birmingham. So, I, I, I was going because I stayed at Josh's house that weekend. So I drive in and dude, it's late. I left late. I told Josh like, bro, I'm not gonna get to your house until like, like yeah. early in the morning. He goes, oh, it doesn't matter. Come on over. I'm like, all right, sounds good. That's right. So I start driving, not realizing where I'm at. Yeah. I'm like, I just gotta get gas. My 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 little my gas thing started blinking. Didn't even say numbers no more. It's just blinking. If he quit separating, he would have it. Yep. If, if, all he's gotta do is stand back up. First table right there. He starts out strong stand and separates. Up. Blow that bicep off the tendon. It looked, like me. The it looked like me in my super match earlier. I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of family that lives in Slidell. Slidell, yeah. Yeah, they've been there their whole lives, pretty much. That's where you were staying at when you was coming hang out with us for a while. Yeah, that's, that's where I was planning on staying at, but uh, I work moved toward Lafayette. Okay. But uh, so I drive from Lafayette over sometimes. But I think uh, I think I was around when I was coming to train with y'all. I think I was staying in uh, Laplace. Okay. I was doing a job down there in Laplace, and I'd ride over. Yeah, but I, damn, uh, gas light came on, no numbers, right? Just blinking. At that point, you know it's time to get gas. Well, you, you got plenty of miles left in the tank. I, well, I should have, to be honest with you. I didn't realize where I was, so I stopped off, and it started getting kind of sketchy. I'm like, where the fuck am I at? I didn't even realize where I pulled over. I stopped in New Orleans East. I was, I was trying to get shot. I realized I was at. I put two dollars in and I rolled. I'm you got, like, you got to fuel it on the run. Yep. I, pump pump. Hand on my gun. Hand on the freaking pump. Two dollars in. We rolling. I told you I was like, I almost got killed coming over. Here. Oh yeah, he's got. You got all the hands. Hey, you need some. Every time he, he just, starts so strong, he separates. Like if he just stay on top of. Once he lands he, that he, hand, his bicep is probably so blown out right now. He probably can't stand. He have it sold. Yep. Come on, dude. I'm about to tell him that right now. In a second. Hey, bud. That's that's what you do if you if hey, you don't you get the hand. Down. You know what he's right. doing? Like that's a defensive move. But once you take the hand, you should be an offense. All he's got to do is stand up, and put that pressure on top. That's it. You need to have it. I just think he's so blown up right now. You can't. Look, he has it again. He separates. He's got the hand. He separates. I think he's just blown out. Like no, he's tired. That's a, that's a, doing that. and that's a dangerous way to go. Because I mean, like. And as long as they're going slow and smooth, they probably ain't the biggest deal. But people need to stop watching YouTube and doing King's move. I know that too. As long, as, long yeah. as he, if he jerks one time and down pressures, if he hits straight down, that all broke, man. That's it. Yeah, shout out to Tulane for putting a whooping on Ole Miss right now. How about Colorado beating freaking Nebraska? I kind of saw that coming. But the but uh, that much? Yeah, kind of. Oh my God! Y'all God. talking about them little boys on TV? And we talking about them little boys on TV. <laughs> <laughs> God dang. So, this is Kyle's little boy right here. Kyle Abraham's little boy. Hey, this little kid is strong. Yeah. He he is definitely within the last, I'd even say a year, yep. made some pretty good, solid progress on the table. He's got a hell of a little top roll, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He can hit, too. Yeah, I just see. I think he's a little taller than Kyle. He's, he's almost taller than me. <laughs> this boy, too. Stop Same stretching Same position out. every time. Who, who was it? It was Tim Lewis and Mac, right? Oh, Mac, yeah. That's just what this is what this is looking like. You talking, talking about Fred Durst? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The diddler. Oh, bro, they laid under the table. They were they were interlocked legs. Yeah, like, they, were like, they were leg wrestling oh, under the man. table. Oh my god, that was the most painful thing to watch ever. Man, dang. 
Wasn't Bill Collins reffing that match? Yes, it I was. I think Bill it was Bill Collins. Bill Collins. <laughs> like, they're just sitting there staring at him like. Get in it, man. I want 30 seconds. <laughs> Might need to give them 30 minutes the way they're both breathing right now. Hey. Spacey, you ain't lying to one of these in my rolling the days. I didn't, if I would have known it, I wouldn't have gone there. Nick, Spacey's asking wins practice. Nick's never home. That's the problem. Nick's never home. Yeah, I got a home, but I just visit every couple months. He's a rolling stone. There's a song for that, but I can't think of it right now. Papa was a rolling stone. That's it. We was talking about how your favorite move is the King's move. What? Your favorite move is the King's move. Oh, yeah, I love that. This was, Tim, that was, Tim Bresnan endorses the King's move. You heard it here first. <laughs> Tim loved that match. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, oh, Ward had his hand the whole time. This is like, why are you keeping I've never seen somebody have somebody's hand like this. Separated, and they're both separated. And you still move. I did uh, we just, we literally. Oh, that, that <laughs> we just, wasn't Bill Collins uh, rapping it? Yeah. We that, 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 that match went so long that they had to cancel the, the feature match until the next day. Jesus. Oh, Dude, their legs went underneath the table all tied together. So this very, is. Very so this little boy right here, not, not the tall one, the shorter one, I that's Kyle A. Bear's little boy. Watch his hit. Natural, natural hit. Top roll is going to go into it real fast. Yeah, he, he's, he's definitely. Oh, well, he's, he's set up beautifully, too. Turn it this way a little bit, Nick. I want to fuck that up. Boom. What's the top roll hit? Colin A. Bear. Go ahead, Colin A. Bear. Good job, young man. That's a cool name. Rio. Oh, Sal. A. Bear. It's Sal. No, but I'm not pulling, man. I'm from New England, man. That's Herbert. That's, that's A-Bear. Like A-D-E-A-R, A-Bear. I, try, I tried to get Joey to pull, Sal, but he wasn't going for it. That's a cool name, man. I do talk so much. <laughs> what is that? Sal said I talk too much. I was like, yeah, I do. I blame it on Cody Franklin. He's been feeding me alcohol since I got here. So. Hey, Pete, can you hear me? Pete, I'm still talking again. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's never too far away. No, Sal, I'm not pulling, bud. I, I ain't got nothing left, dude. I wish I could. I wish I could. The only thing that works left on me is my left hand. The right hand's for throwing softballs to kids. That's it. <laughs> and his left don't even work that good. At I'll still bust Nick's ass. We no. <laughs> Look at the record between Nick, Michelle, and JoJo Loretta. Oh, listen. I am, Tell me what the record is. I am really upset I didn't pull today because I could have beat that 61 class. That 261 class, I would have smashed that shit. It's a good thing that wasn't my class because you wouldn't have won mine. I, I would was bust there. your ass too. It should be a rule against people pulling their flip flop. Right? I couldn't do that. I, I use my feet too much. I I use my feet way too much. <laughs> Colin back up to the table for the second match. Just like you said it, 
Hey Bear. Because it'd be, it'd be pronounced Hey Bear. Maybe French. Hey Bear. A Bear, not Herbert, but with the top roll. Yeah. They got A Bear, they got like the Gotros, the Benoit's, the Lee Rets. Benoit's. Hey, see, you can at least know Benoit. He's from New England. You should be able to know Benoit. Benoit well, well, not that. I mean, not that Benoit, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, people say Benoit. It is Benoit. It's it's Benoit. Benoit. I got a friend of Benoit. Yeah. Damn Benoit. Hey Aaron. Hey Aaron. Hey, <laughs> That's what we call Aaron. That's what we call Aaron Blevins. A A Ron. Aaron Blevins has been A A Ron Blevins for like years. Really good hit. It's kind of funny to see you not in New England anymore. You know, it's. I got more money in my wallet. I bet you do. I bet you do. But you're not part of the dungeon. I bet Ron's bored. I go up there every six weeks. Oh, do you? I've been going up. Like my last load was a couple from about a month or two ago. And I went up there and my own tournament on the fair. So I went up last week and run my tournament and trained on Saturday. And then I got to go up after we pull that. Slide in a little training. A little bit. Got to hang out with Ron every now and then. Ron, the only time I drink. So with Ron? <laughs> and here comes the big boys back to the table. I think Colin went left handed earlier. I think so. I think so. Colin looks good, though, man. He top rolled the brakes off of him. He's feeling stout for sure from even last Mississippi State last year. His little top, his little hits there. He's he's gonna be a beast. Oh, oh, stay. No, don't don't re grip. Stay, Colin. Oh, they didn't call him. There you go. There you go. All right, Colin A. Bear. Good match on table one right now. You would think that Ron, uh, you think Tim would bring some of them guys down here a little bit, you know? Hey, come hang out with me. I think Tim is scared to bring some of them guys down here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think anybody's ready for RVJ to come down here. That's, that's how you beat them to get them down here next year. You say they're scared to come down here and they'll all come down here. That dude's freaking huge. Yeah, that's a big old like boy. Six, eight. Dude, yeah, they, they, that's a big old man. Because, man, to have Ron uh, Kalimba come down, get RVJ to come down, that'd be great, man. Be Although I can't drink with RVJ. I, I just – he's so mean. God damn it. He's, like, the most loving guy ever. But he's, like, when he starts drinking, oh, man. He's the only guy on the after pool table that ever almost broke my arm. <laughs> That's, yeah. Colin back up. Uh, this should be a little yeah, easier. He did it before. Sean, you did it before. It was like three, four. We might see a strap uh -oh. match. We might see a strap match. Oh. Colin's struggling with this little dude. Come on, Colin. That little young man is putting some heart into it. I love it. I love watching the young kids arm wrestling. That's definitely. I'm glad. That's one thing about Mississippi State that I find is better than most other tournaments is that the kids' classes typically you have a handful oh, of kids that will pull here. Absolutely. And I wish it would happen more often at more tournaments. We had 51 kid entries at Strongest Magic. Wow. 51. 51. Wow. They went for two hours. No, for a kid, uh, strongest badge? They went for two hours, over two hours. That's awesome. I'd 51 love to see kid interested in that strongest badge. That's pretty damn impressive. That, that is impressive. Overdue, That's yeah, but we still finished on time. Well, like we were saying, like, with that too, hey, Grant, throw that in there. The fact the kids took two hours. That, should, that was not, that wasn't on the menu. Is, is A-Bear, goddamn it. There you go, Colin. 
Hebert, no. A bear all day. It's like, hey, it's a bear. Like, hey, there's a bear. That's, that's <laughs> a bear with a sockele on Chapatulas. I'm trying to spell that one. <laughs> Look at your left Good elbow. Match right left here. Side. Look at your left. Look at your left elbow. They are in deep in that hook. Look at your hand, man. Oh, they're they in deep right now. They are in deep right here on the table. Yeah, they bone to bone. Bone to bone. Good table. drag. That kind of excitement since Rebecca made us do a YouTube video. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all don't have a taller table for this man? He's got to be like six. He's he is huge. Somebody get that man off of the riser. Sal, I ain't joking. This guy's probably got you, like, he's probably five inches taller than you. I'm not even joking. Man in the black shirt right here. Pulling the guy in the purple, reddish shirt. Doug Lambert, that's his name? That's a tall man. Jesus, peace. Yeah, he is one. Oh, he must uh, I think he pulls in uh, North Louisiana with Robbie and them. Oh, does he? I think that's where he pulls with, if I'm not mistaken. Look, man, he towers Tim. Jesus Christ. He, that is one large human <laughs> being. Good Lord. I guess he wasn't on the riser. No, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, your hey, he looked good, man. Hey, he hit good. Him. He looked good, dude. Hey, his hits. His hits, like, money. <laughs> it, it's on time. It's really on time. He looked good. He looked real good. <laughs> Kyle said Colin weighs more than him. <laughs> he looks like he does. So I was just told the gentleman in that blue shirt just a year ago almost lost his life in a car accident. Oh, oh you know what? I think I remember him kind of vaguely. And we got us a Hey, look at right your here, hand. Fellas. Look at your hand, young man. Yeah, I don't remember the gentleman's name in the blue shirt here, but I do remember somebody mentioning that. His name is on the tip of my tongue, but I do not know who he is. It would be you to have a man on the tip of your tongue. Oh, I was also holding men's hands today, so I guess it goes hand in hand. He, him, she, them, he, her. <laughs> Let me, she, them, titties. <laughs> Oh, he feels like a machine now. Back into a hook battle with these two. Nice. Tim, which one's your bad arm? Both of them. I'm pulling Tim Brisbane left-handed. Just because he's he says left-handed's gay. And that's all I got left. Is it all you have left if it's not there though? I mean, technically. 
I mean, it's still there. It's just not there. <laughs> I feel bad for somebody, the first person I pull. I'll feel great for the first person I pull. After that, I, I'm done. Nice win. He does. I My wife never cheered that loud for me. This crowd wakes up for the amateurs. Kristen Lerette, where are you at? Where Where was my cheering section? <laughs> Tim kind of looks like an angry Santa Claus when you think about it. Who's that? Tim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I did have somebody tell me one time. I, I, I thought it was the craziest concept. Somebody said, you know, I don't like Tim. Tim's mean. I'm like, Resden? I'm like, no. He just like, looks like he's mean, but he's really like not. He's the nicest guy ever. He's no BJ, but he's super nice. Yeah, don't, they ain't really much of them nicer than BJ. There's probably one. That's probably one. Somewhere. No, there is one. Chase Stratton. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Because, but I mean, they run a they run a close. They race, run a so. close race. Because Ch Chase is hard not to like Chase. Chase like, hey Joey, you ain't seen him forever. Like, hey Joey, how you doing, man? It's been a blessing to see you today. <laughs> you too, bud. <laughs> Good little battle on one right here. Yeah, I like this. See if he can hold them bottom fingers. He's walking it right now. Needs to work on cupping that wrist. No, no, just keep going sideways. Either back pressure, you got to go inside. Come on. And we got a strap match on the middle table. Guy in the black shirt right now has got a great setup right now. Yeah, he looks he looks very comfortable right now. Yep. Oh, see, and that's that that's that amateur hand, man. It's it's you can almost tell an amateur right out of the gate when you see the hand. Like it's I feel like you're picking on me with that statement. Maybe. <laughs> so out of all the matches you've seen so far today, what was your top match of the night? Top match so far? Yeah. Oh man, that has there, to. There's been a ton of them, but it, it, one that should have been probably the top match. I wish I'd have gone a little longer. Was Don versus Corey earlier when yes. Don caught Corey? That, that was great. That, that was very. I don't know if I want to say unexpected or surprising, but it was unexpected I, and surprising. I, I can't say it was. If anybody's ever seen Don Man pull inside, he yes. is so strong. And we we talked about it. it. Was like, look, if Don can stop him, like he's gonna surprise Corey. And sure enough, he did. You yes. know. This, it's not surprising to some of us knowing how strong Don is, but, yeah, uh, but if you don't know who Don is and you you're missing out on probably one of the most underrated. Oh yeah, big guy pullers out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Danny and uh, Carl had a great match earlier too. Um, but let's see, who had a somebody had a war earlier? Who who am I missing? Had a war. Oh, uh, Aiden had a war with. I don't know the other guys. Well, he had one with Brennan, but I forgot the other guy. You talk about the guy with the little bandana on his head. Yes. Yeah, that was a great match. Uh, locked dead Cameron center. Williams, I believe, is his name. I don't know. They locked center of the table. That was a great match. Yes. That was a very, very good match. Got a good little inside battle on one right here going on. Okay, Black, black Shirt earlier had a better hand position earlier, but now Red looks like his hand. Oh, whoa. Oh, my goodness. That's a big man. Mr. Doug Lambert. That's a big man. <laughs> Good I just seen it. 
And now pulling amateurs. Got a little match going with black shirt, red shirt over yep. there. Oh, look, he got that low hand top roll. But see, he's just holding. Take advantage of the move. Now he comes back yeah, up. You have to, to take advantage. He, oh, like, elbow foul. Yeah. Come on, son. That's the difference with amateurs and pros. It's not only is that, you know, that not developed yet on an amateur. I, that's obvious. That's the obvious thing that everybody knows. Right, yeah. But the experience for when a match stalls, right? So when a match stalls, what are you going to do? You got people like Craig Touye or Herman that are going to know exactly what they need to do. Like, it's in their head. They understand what their next move is. Like, if you ever watch Michael Todd arm wrestle and Mike gets stalled out in a match on the Kings move, Mike is constantly making adjustments because he's not afraid of what's going to happen next. He's, he understands he's comfortable here. He knows it's stopped. Now it's time to make the micro movements to take the match back. Yeah, and, and things like that, once, you know, like, like you're talking about Michael Todd and everybody else, you know, it's instinct, you know. It's not having to run a thought process of what I have to do next is, hey, I know I'm here. So my next object is to switch to a different position or a different pressure or whatever it is. It's, yeah, it's it, kind of it, just kind of. It's, it's almost muscle memory. Right. Right, it, it, it's something that almost kicks in instantly. Like, I like guess as, as, as soon as you're getting into that experience level, you'll know it. Like, okay, I hit a top roll, and his hand didn't move. As an amateur, you can be like, okay, what do I do next? Oh, maybe I should go inside. Maybe I should protect my pronator. Maybe I should uh, protect from being over supinated and being on my bicep. You know, where when you're a pro or a guy that's been pulling for so long. You hit into the top row, that person ain't moving. I'm jumping into a, you know, right. a high Without hook. even second guessing. Yeah, not thinking, even second right. guessing. Correct. Right. And when you watch amateurs, it's not like that. It's a very slow, stalemate, drawn out process. It's kind of like that for a lot of pros, still, too, though. It is. It is. And I, the, the more successful, I mean, I air quote successful, the oh, more yeah, successful right. amateurs are the ones that are flash spinning. There's nothing they're really having to learn at that point. It's something that's just. You beat him on the go. You're going on yellow. Well, yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, you're, you're going to flash pin everybody and not, oh, have to, not give you the opportunity to be put in the bind to have to do something else. Absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Sean Hancock coming at the table now. I hope they are. I can't wait to see this. Tim Bresnan versus Corey West. We've been waiting all day. We've been talking shit the whole time. Tim's he's in rest up. He's ready to go. So it appears Tim Bresnan is going to grace us, grace us with his presence on the table again. Yep. Well, Tim, Tim's not dumb. Tim, Tim straight up said, I'm not going against that big gorilla. Fresh. That ain't happening. <laughs> I'm back, Pete. The He's man, still here to the talk. The man is back, everyone. I'm like the worst person at a tournament for that. I never eat. Never. Kristen got to come out and, like, so, take a bite. So they eat a big breakfast. Yep. They spike. About the time the tournament starts is when they're on top. And then the entire tournament, they're crashing. I ordered something at the beginning of the tournament. Because good thing you took you took the money match. Yeah. They forgot to make my order. I'm waiting there, waiting there. I came up here, then you, you took it. I went back down there. Yeah. And you had to go back in the kitchen and have my order made. I think she's trying to tell you. Yeah. She's probably trying to tell you eating too much. Hey, I threw biscuits and, and sausage to breakfast. <laughs> and he got us a slip. Yep. To the straps. Oh, where Sean likes to say, strap him up. I hate the fair strap. Hey, don't forget where Rance that strap was, lives. That's my strap. Rance I stole was, that fair square three years ago. So Rance was saying y'all are doing the fair strap now. 
Y'all doing the fair strap. You girl been doing it for a while. I hate that. I hate it. It should have stuck with a triple A strap. Which, oh, just yeah. a loop in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It's almost the same thing, but it's better. Yeah. There's no advantage either side. We got us a battle on table one, fellas. Oh, yeah, they, they are they're, they're locked the in the middle. bone right now. I think uh, blue shirt looks like he might be gaining some ground. And see, the, both of these kids right now, the only difference is, is one just needs a light drag. Whoever light drags, there you go. Whoever light drags first was going to win that match. You know, you know what strap I didn't mind? I didn't mind the Velcro strap. No, Vel I, 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 I hated it. the Velcro strap. I liked it. Um, Harold Ryden made it. It's Velcro, and it's got a loop. You, you run it, you go over the top, you screw the loop, and it Velcro's and it Velcro's Velcro's Velcro's. I like that. Oh, my God. It's tight. Always tight. They Look. never let it do this because everybody, nobody likes everybody. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> I'm blaming it all on the Northeast. I hate to tell you. No, but that, it wasn't the Northeast. No, that that strap y'all came up with a few years back. Which one? That Josh Grant didn't use. Remember, it just went across the top of your hand. Oh, you talking about that little thin, the no, super thin strap? No, never used that. I that, never ever used that. That was the most trash ass strap ever. It, it advantaged one type of puller, one type of puller only, and it was horrible. Listen, Massachusetts. Really shouldn't even be a part of doing it. Yeah, just take it out and put it like in the Midwest or something. It was horrible. They ain't nothing. They think no. That strap was fucking terrible. But like you said, the looped one with the Velcro, awesome strap. Love that strap. They used to have a strap. The guy in New York had a strap. It was a Velcro, but it was, it was soft. I don't know what it was made of. It was like cotton. But it didn't, it didn't scratch. Probably the best strap I've ever used. Real good. Now, Devin's training strap, we, we use that one all Which the time. Yeah, the big two-inch strap. The big two-inch strap I'll, to train nobody, with? Yeah, to train no, with, I love it. Yeah, but nobody, nobody sanctions it. No, well, I wouldn't use it in a tournament. I do. That's why, why, should you, why would you practice no. with it then? Well, just because I, we'll, we'll pull the strap so often, and your hand gets tired, it's a lot more comfortable. I ain't trying to... You wear it... But then you had the WAL straps. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. The WAL? No, fuck that. I think hurt. Now, when you, say, when you say those, you mean the little thin? The little thin ones. I'm telling you. The, so the we, problem I still have with my right hand is because of that strap. It the, pissed the, the first right time there. they brought those straps out for the first left-hand match that I had when I went to the strap, the first time doing it, they basically put our hands together with a single loop, tightened it, and just, that, and just wrapped it around. for the very. There was, it's something new they was trying out. The that was the thing I was telling you with Josh Rick. Doing. Yeah. They, that's what they wanted. They it was literally hand to hand with a loop on the strap and tighten it, and then the access was just wrapped around. It was the weirdest real. thing. I mean, I won my match, so I can't complain too much, but it sucked. Yeah. So, WAL, first, the first time we pulled at UNLV Stadium, and five arm breaks and, and two biceps. Jesus Christ. One tournament. Jesus Lord. It's probably more than I've seen in my five entire life. Arm breaks. Good match on one right here again. Oh, he's right there. Blue shirt holding on. Gray shirt's got a great position. There that's, it is. That's, that's a, a pin. pin. That's a pin. That sucks. That tastes like shit. I think that was that first WL Worlds you're talking about. Right? That, that first WL Worlds that they tried to do? Mm -mm. No? Because it wasn't in Vegas. We didn't do it in Vegas. I don't remember where we did it. You almost lost to UNLV. That's what it was? Because you, you, you went against Robbie. Because that was like the one that we were all freaking out. Robbie. Robbie uh, Burnett. You and Robbie played. From Texas. And from Texas. I know. And I think he ended up beating you, like on like it was should have been like an elbow file, but they didn't call an elbow file. It was wild. It was WAL? That was WAL, wasn't it? I remember pulling Robbie with WAL. God, the only one that beat me at, at UNLV was um, Jerry. Got it. Oh. And that was like an eight-hour match. I don't know how somebody's elbow can handle that. Not even just Jerry, like. 
obviously I would have never gone against Jerry in my lifetime, but like I could, there's no way I can get hit with something like that. My elbow would blow out. That's yeah, and to sit there for that's no way. What seems like ten hours sometimes, and you see some of Jerry's matches and all, and it's just just as much shit as we give Devin. Like Devin, like he hung in there on that kind of pressure. That's hard to do. Jerry's got so much side pressure with that shit. It's insane. Jerry's side pressure with that press, it's just fucking retarded. Well, I had a referee that kept telling me I had to stand up on the winning side. I had Jerry over here, and the referee's yelling at me to stand up. The hell I will. I, told you I, 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 I ain't moving shit. Yeah, it was Charles, Charles, um, Piston. No. Yes. Oh, who passed away? Uh, who passed yeah. away. Yeah. Travis probably yelled at him from the stage, like, shut up. R. Then he, they, they called me a foul when I rolled up on my bicep with him, on my, my forearm. They called a foul, and I was dead in the middle of the pad. And they were yelling at me to stand up, like, no, no. Well, Rob, Rob's, uh, I think it was Rob's brother-in-law, RBJ's brother-in-law, our brother. Yeah, cousin, brother, cousin, cousin. We were going against each other. The same thing. I'm like, I'm down, and Harold's on the bottom, and it's Charles on the top. Charles like, you gotta stand up. I'm like, the hell I am. But Charles like, Charles like, you gotta stand up. Harold's like, you ain't gotta move. I'm not getting up. I'm not getting up. You learn, to, learn. That's what the problem with some of these referees. They don't know the rules. You know. Well, I, think yeah. at, I think at one point, too, there were so many different kind of rules going on oh, God, that God. it was just kind of all over the place. And WL, that, kid, you never knew what you're going to yeah. rule. You never right. knew what your rules were when you got there. Right. Oh, they changed it, changed it that big pad and changed it, and yeah. changed it, changed it to go. How do you train for something you don't know when you get there? Right. The only benefit on the big pads, though, they were comfortable. I could elbow file for days. You would never see it. I could I could float across that elbow. <laughs> you would never see that shit. Contracts were the biggest bullshit. Now, yeah. now, now, East versus West is doing the same thing. It's, it's going to drive a lot of guys away. Yeah, Christine, you're looking for the 192 right hand amateur. I think that's already up right now. I mean, they're doing right hand right now. So, yeah, I think that is on table two. I think so. Is that two? No. That, yeah, that's two, yeah, right? right two. Yeah. The middle table, Joey. The middle table. Yeah, that one. We got a finals on table three right here. Big men finals. Big men finals. Big boy. All right, let's get it on, guys. Come on. Sean's actually doing pretty damn good on time. It's 517. I didn't think he'd get this done by that time. They Look have out. definitely been running through classes today. Yeah. Wait, hell, they didn't start pulling until 140. Mm -hmm. They really that late? Yeah. That's just them super matches. Exactly. I didn't take. Uh. Stop making fun of me. We we'll just call it matches at this point. <laughs> Ain't nothing super about that shit. <laughs> what is the? Then the money match didn't take long. Corey didn't let that. I'll see it. Like there's a lot of good guys in that overall class. Yeah. Like that right money class. Nice top roll. So that did not look like an amateur top roll at all right there. High pro nation, lat drag at the same time. Kind of looked like me pinning Joey last time he pulled. That's never happened. That's, that's a lie. I've got clear video evidence of Joey wearing a dog hat to a tournament. AI. And getting pinned. AI. It was in like 2013 or some shit. Still happening. Goddamn dog head. Tell you what, this little this young man in the white and red hat up there, he he did well earlier. He's been looking, he's been killing this amateur glove. Joey, apparently Sal says just how Ryan Tim, well I'm sorry, Ryan Thames pinned you. That's kind of rough, man. That's, oh. that's a little blow. Yeah. 
So hold on, hold on. So my excuse on that one is I had to battle with somebody at this table <laughs> to get to that one. So battle and lose, I might add. No, and, sir. Battle and lose. No, sir. That was a win. That was a W. That was a W. Me and Ryan are both retired at this point. <laughs> the boss told me to. Because he's, he's got a win in a minute. He's got a gorilla to face. He's got a gorilla to face. Nice job. The funny thing about Ryan, too, I don't think there's a person I know that has gotten more clout victories over high-ranked people than Ryan Tim. Just random high-ranked wins. Like yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that nine. statement. No, like in pros, like he's beaten Herman like three or four times. Who's that? Ryan Tim's beaten Herman like three or four times. He's beaten John three or four times. He's He's beaten Ray. He's, I don't know if he's ever beat Craig. I don't think he's beaten Craig before. I don't he, think so. He, he's beaten uh, Jerry Avance. I've seen him beat yeah. Jerry. You know. For those of you who don't know who Jerry Avance is, Jerry Avance is a stud. Oh, back in the day? Ooh, Jerry he was, was good. He was a stud. Jerry was really good back in the day. But, like, yeah, like Ryan has, like, that little Velociraptor hit he got, man. He was, he was good, man, back in the day. But he just – and he still is. I mean, he's still a good officer. He just, but, but you know who has a win on him recently? Me. Right-handed. Nah, that's, that, that's, again, false. Doesn't matter. Step up. Put the Mario show on. Step up, get stomped out. <laughs> Unless you have a super match with me, then, then you'll beat me. 5-1. Oh, great catch. Great catch. Yep, we do have overalls. We're waiting on it right now. Tim's, Tim's twiddling his thumbs, ready to go. Where's the bull of the bird, Tim? I don't know. Some shit. Some? Oh, the two overalls, but I can't pull left handed, so I get screwed every time. <laughs> Just gotta go to flip of a coin. So I tried pulling left hand in uh, Arkansas against um, Lindley. No, it was Arkansas. I didn't pull him. I didn't pull left hand in. I got a flip of a coin in Atlantic City. Arkansas, I pulled so Lindley, Keaton, Lindley Keaton, so I did all right, oh, but I got, got in the straps. I could, I, my left was so good. Tucker's good, though, man. I, I was able to crack his wrist without his straps, but I, knew oh. I, I, hey. I was hoping to just sneak one win in. Hey, look, we, we told we told uh, Lindley already. I was like, hey, man, I, I ain't trying to insult you, but I think Tucker might be better than you. The, the way Tucker has cut, has pulled supers, kind of not really necessarily ran through everybody, but ran through – basically everybody then cut down to 42 like it was nothing and still running through and you. still running through everybody yeah, man tucker's good man but see lindley was great too man i'm not going to take nothing from lindley, well, lindley was yeah. good. Lindley, lindley's left yeah lindley's left better than right. oh yep. yeah much well, he, was always, he was always up there oh yeah yeah cameron has been having some pretty good matches today he's I seen him actually have a match with uh, Robbie, I guess, a few years ago. He did really well. I think that's when Lindley I knew Tucker. Tucker yes. That I knew Tucker was kind of like up on the cut. Because if you can, if you're in Texas and you can give Robbie Burnett a battle, you, you're you're oh, getting up there. Yeah. You're, you're you're definitely up there. And that's another one, man. Robbie Burnett is so underrated. Robbie's right hand is stupid. Robbie's always been underrated. It's extremely underrated. Criminally underrated. Yeah. He's very very good. But you don't have a big you don't have a big mouth and a big name. You're underrated. Apparently, you That's know. It. Until he shows up. That's it. Well, I, I, I can't. I can't remember. Ah, man, my memory is starting to be like Tim's now. Oh no, my memory's shot. What's What's the 76 pool that used to pull with uh, Giving you a good little break, huh? South Carolina. Sure, Great. Oh, um. What you do? What your name? Phil. Thank you, man. He pulled with Chad Silver for years. 
76 puller, pulled with Chad Silver for years. A really good hooker. Yeah, caught cheating on his wife. That's why he stopped rolling. <laughs> I know you talking. I can't remember his name. <laughs> I cannot remember his name to save my life. I'm drawing, Dark a, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. Oh, it ain't a. Uh, I said the same thing. It ain't a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not going to remember. But that's another one, though. Not a big mount. Don't really talk. Goes to a tournament, though, and he'll wreck shop. Um, there was another kid from South Carolina, same way. Mike Bianchi. Mike Bianchi. Yeah, Mike, Mike Mike's Bianchi a dog. Mike's a dog. He's a little yeah. skinny, Walmart tire changing ass dude, and like he is just. An have, have they been pulling lately? Well, you had to get all that in. That's what they get all the Mississippi for. They got to get all that in. Walmart tire changing dude, motherfucker. At least you can understand him, you know? He like ran. Yeah. Boy, my boy Pete is listening yeah. now. Coming down here next month. Oh, is he? Man, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna love talking to some of them boys up in Tennessee. <laughs> he's got <laughs> these subtitles. Nice, yeah. Nice hit. Great hand control. That little kid's moving up quick there. I, I don't understand. You speak very well. Oh, thanks. But how do you get the next guy you go talk to? Mumbles and jabbers. You're all from the same place. And I'm actually further down the bayou than they are. It just depends on where you're at, because it's all kind of, it, like, it kind of gets to the point where it all kind of, like, mushes together, and you got a little bit of this. You got Cajun from here, Cajun from there, and if you, if you go by, like, Shreveport, you're basically Yankee if you're in Shreveport. Yeah, absolutely. So South Arkansas. Kinda, yeah. I also worked in, like, the corporate office for quite some time, so I had to kind of Bring down the he, dialer. He's domesticated, in other words. Well, I got domesticated. That's it. A domesticated coon ass. <laughs> Good win right there. That young man did really well. Great hand control. Sounds that little boy in the red uh, hat and red and white hat. That's his name, Cameron. No, that's the kid with the bandana earlier. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, the little bandana kid was good. The little, yeah. little fifty-five puller, the little fifty-four puller. From earlier, he was good. Yeah. Rizzuto's got a nice little setup right here. I think Rizzuto's going to bust that ass wide open right here. He, he has a really good setup. Nice. Oh. Nice stop by Cody Bird. Like maybe an elbow foul as well on Cody. Stay tuned as we will have the overalls here soon. This is going to be the match everybody wants to see, at least what I do. I got to see Tim Breslin versus Corey West. Also, another another big shutout to Sean Hancock for putting on Mississippi State again as usual. Another great turnout, another great tournament. Oh, it's it's running so smooth. I mean, really. Sad thing is that whoever won between me and Corey still got to pull, pull friggin' Tulia right after. Yeah, yeah, I do have to pull Craig right after. So, Craig, Craig sitting there just licking at the chops, hoping y'all wear each other out. My, my prediction, Tim Breslin flashes everybody in the overalls. Oh, I try. Sticking to it. If we flash, it's good. Flash is good. <laughs> When's the last time you hit first? I always hit first. You just don't see it. <laughs> the shortest, smallest, slowest. No. Nope. You guys see it? There we go. Stop. It hits all hand. This is it. Yep. That's my hit. All hit. That's all it is. That's all I, that's all I gotta do. If I get that hit high up, out, if I get if, if if I hit Corey like this and I get him here, yeah, that means he ain't in the hook. That's true. Have my it. battles done. The next is gonna beat a strong arm, you know. His hands out of it. Yep. So if I get there, just gotta get that hand flat. I huh? gotta get there. <laughs> That's the problem. Stranger dude. things have happened. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. Oh yeah. I, I almost beat Dennis. I pulled Dennis over to the mat. Yep. And I got so excited, I let, let him put me in a hook. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> John, John yelled at me for an hour to the back. What the fuck are you doing, man? Like? I'm tired. I said it went over so easy. I'm you know? sorry, I thought I had him. I got excited. I, it, it went over so easy. I was like, and also I was like, clunk. Oh, shit. We was, we was joking about like old Vic, was trying to bring up the past and all that, and I got a flash pin on BJ. It's the same shit, though. I, I flashed BJ so quick, it felt 
so. BJ got a good hit too. Oh BJ's yeah, fast for big dude. This is when BJ was shitty. Though. Well, we were both shitty. Like well, better than he was, better than better than he was a couple months ago. He looked good compared to last week I saw him. So I flashed BJ, BJ and I'm like, oh, I got him. I got him, and I got been helping his ass out. I got so confident. The next match, we go, we hit, boom! I felt like I had it again. I got cocky. Well, BJ went rock. <laughs> Threw me over. They're going left or right? Go, I got to piss. Go, go left first. I got to piss. Left so first. Is, I got to piss. So is Dustin? Is Dustin hiding in overalls? No, no, blow no, okay. no he, he, oh, Dustin didn't pull a tournament today. Okay. Because I was about to say, I, I changed my bet right now. They were trying to get him in the overalls. Don't they just put him in there? I'm like, he was going to try to get him in the Super heavy amateurs. Super heavy amateurs. Ain't nothing amateur about that boy, that's for sure. No, that, that young man is, he's, he's talented. He, he's definitely, he, he's been backing up everywhere he's been pulling at. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like today's match, I mean, him versus Kyle. Like, Kyle definitely had the horsepower to compete. He, and, that young man, out arm wrestled Kyle, period. And that really could have went either way. It's just. For today. the power side? Yeah, I think for the power side it could have. But Dust, Dust, Dusty is very technical. He's very smart when he gets on the table. His setup was absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'd love to see those two sitting there. I'd like yeah. to see it too, just to see where the power goes. But technically, that kid's. He's good, man. I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to get bone on bone like that with him. He's freaking. He gets in there. Well, he's also like 22. Dude's got like stamina for days. Yeah, right. Oh, look, he got confident. Those last two, he was confident. He just went straight to it. He looked good. He looked real good. You had to switch that just to one camera? No, we got, oh, yeah, for the two tables, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to do that because I don't want to break nothing. No, I'm talking about for overalls. I want to switch it just to one table for overalls. Oh, yeah. With the, just the full screen. Everybody's going to want to see that Tim versus uh, Corey. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. guys, we got overalls coming up in just a minute. Hang tight. Put Tim back on here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just over here. Oh, my God. We, never, we never give Holden Rogers no I, I feel bad, but I don't even know who Holden is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, love. I really don't know who Holden is, but Holden's doing great. Shout out to Holden. <laughs> Sean, you did a fantastic job this weekend, man. This, you did a damn good job on this tournament, like usual. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you very much. I mean, always one of the better tournaments, hands down, entry-wise and competition level-wise. I, yeah. I was I was prepared to pick on you for a little bit. We started at 140. You said five. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, th I think Sean's being a little overconfident, but no. We got ourselves a war right here, fellas. Absolutely. What a great battle. Way to stay, stay and hit. Stay, don't move. Oh, Good wow. job. Well, the, the amateurs go so fast because they're so fast to, to, to uh, set up and then to pull, they're just done. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you get into the pros, people are slipping, they're elbow hopping, they're doing whatever they can to get another start if they're losing, you know. So it is, it, it drowns out. The, the, the pro class takes three times as long as the oh, yeah. amateur class, yeah. even with the same amount of entries. <laughs> Yeah, you throw to that third table, it, it yeah. makes things go fast. Yeah, that and the combination of it's the amateurs, you know, and yeah. we just, it just rolls through. We, we were joking about it early because you, you were there when we was still in amateurs. But Do you remember looking so cringy when we was in amateurs? <laughs> I do not. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I, did, I, I look cool. I, at least I thought we did. Yeah. We started watching. I'm like, yeah. Oh. Right, did I look like that? Yeah. I can only imagine back in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s when, when I was arm wrestling, but it's, it wasn't in tournaments, you know. It's like on tailgates and pickup trucks and rodeos and stuff like that. I can only yeah. imagine how stupid I looked. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how I didn't snap my arm, or all of us did, because we're always in terrible oh, position. Oh, terrible yeah. position. Well, that's not kind of an ongoing joke, like I've been saying today. I've, I've been out of it so long now, I'll just get drunk at a bar and be like, yeah, sure, let's see, let's see what you got. Yeah. And if it's some run of the mill, just re regular yeah. person, I can still just beat them like yeah. it's nobody's yeah. business. Yeah. I, have no, I have no right to be on a professional table anymore, but but I, I watch them pull them like, please don't break your own. I know it. And i like, did I yeah. look like that at a bar back when I was in my 20s? Yeah, I'm Probably sure. Probably so. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's how I look. That's what I'm saying. I'd love to go back and look at, you know, be able to look down and see myself and 
terrible positions. I'd be I'd be hollering at myself, straight up, straight up. But now you got some of these little amateurs. They'll set up great. They look great in setup. Yeah. Well, we have this meeting before every one of my tournaments with the referees. When we get to the uh, amateurs, as a matter of fact, we had it again before we started the amateurs. Is what we're going to do, and we, we, we're real, real strict on keeping them straight, setting them up. If we see that they look a little sloppy right off the go, we pretty much already know it's a first timer. So we'll ask them, hey, it's your first time? Yeah, okay. And then we coach them. You know, we tell them what to do with their shoulders, with their Good elbows, and stuff like that. On going How to on keep right them now. square. Talking about keeping them square and looking yeah. at your hands and all. Just yeah. Saying, you know? Well, look, that's an amateur, but he's going for a flop rest, but he's doing it right. His elbow's tucked super tight. He's still behind his hand. Ah, don't throw your head yeah, into it, though, get, son. Yeah, get your shoulder in. Who's over there, Rance? All right, Rance, yeah. keep your shoulder in. Rance is all right. You, you give him a pass one of your better referees, I guess. Now he's got some more hair on his face. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> was I was praying. I was praying when I showed up he would be baby face still. Dude, he, he looked like um, who's that? Who's that country? Kenny Chesney. He looked like Kenny Chesney. Oh, a, a chubby Kenny Chesney. Don't tell him I said that. Um, <laughs> you heard it here first, everyone. <laughs> That's Tim. Tim about to choke people. Ooh, back into it. It's weird though. When I first met Rance about ten years ago, he uh, he didn't have a beard then, but he was about sixty pounds lighter. He was pulling yeah. a seventy-two class then, seventy-sixers, and uh, so he. I mean, he looked normal. Uh, he looked okay, but when he shaved it this time and he's you no know, two forty in shape, no. It almost makes you want to cry when you see that. <laughs> We're not talking about you. Hey, Rance. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Rance, what do you call a man without a beard? Superman. A woman. Fat Superman. Kenny Chesney. A woman. Superman. Superman didn't have a beard. He called you, you Chubby. I'm just saying. He called you None Chubby Kenny Chesney. No, I said fat. Your, <laughs> fat uh, Kenny Chesney. <laughs> oh, shit. Batman. Batman They're all gay. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not my hero. You know who up? Captain no. America? No beard. Yeah. Neither does Joe Biden. What are you trying to prove here? <laughs> Alright, we're about to get ready. Here we go. Are we watching cartoons now? No, he didn't. Are you, are you comparing yourself to people with no beards being cool? That sounds like what he's doing. Uh, Joe Biden don't have a beard, but. So a ranch is saying that Joe Biden is a superhero because he has no beard. He'd be Rance a superhero. <laughs> Rance is upset because he recently started growing a beard. He couldn't grow one before until like two weeks ago. How do we know it's real? How do we know it's not glued on, Rance? I'm a cool guy. How do we know it's not glued on? I need subtitles of both of y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I'm good. I'm golden, pony boy. Hey, it's not slurring. It's called talking alligator. One table. Oh, here it goes. So who's in overall so far? So we got Tuye, we got Corey, we got Tim. Yep, I'm trying to move it now. I'm going to try to see if we can't get this camera working out. That's pretty, pretty good right there already, huh? You the man. I think we You want some more time? Okay. Yeah, I know exactly who holding is now. The amateur 230, hey, left and right. right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I know who Holden is now. I understand who he is. Oh, now you're 60. I thought you were 58. <laughs> now you're rounding up. 
So who, who is our first place winner so far? We got Corey West. We had Craig Touye. I cannot remember the gentleman that beat me in the 230 class from northern Louisiana. Uh, Dalton that. Moses. Yes. Moses. Yes. Okay. Uh, Levi Knight. Levi and Tim, right? I believe so. And yeah. the, the young lady that killed everybody. I hope she wins everything. And I think I'm forgetting somebody, but I'm not sure. You're turning it too much, like it's the camera's tilting. The, the camera's starting to tilt. Oh, but it like focusing? No, you started going out of focus. Was it moving or was it focusing? It was focusing, but then you started moving it. There we go. Stop right there. Yep. Now focus. Now focus. A little more, keep going. They're turning, They're turning the camera. Right there. Oh, right there. Perfect. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. There we go. Had to get y'all focused in. I'm a little crooked though. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, I forgot about Mike. Yeah, Mike's in overalls. That's true. Man. I might have a new pick for the overall. Yeah, I think this cat in this uh, maroon shirt is going to flash pin Michael Todd. So no, we'll my, 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 <laughs> my, my bet right now. For overall, might be Colton Kimbrough. Uh, my my. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm serious. I I could see it going that way depending yeah, on. My, uh, my vote for overall might be Colton Kimbrough. Oh, he sneaks up from the bottom. Absolutely. Yeah. Mike's gonna flash real quick. It ain't gonna take long. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for him to lose, Lefty, unless somebody catches hey, him. Hey, square that dude up. He's a amateur. Square him up. How the hell is somebody gonna stop Corey, Corey West though? Or does he? He got to pull Tim. Oh, Tim could be the guy, right? I White, mean, and, and it could be a battle, right? So you can't go, really count Tim out, regardless. Never. No, no, no. He's always. That's world level, you know? Yeah. So you get into that point. Mike's going to run through him a little bit. I wouldn't mind having another crack at Dalton Moses later on down the line. I'm not all it very much, it may be either Craig. I mean, it depends if there's a battle or not. I don't know. If there's a battle between Corey and Tim, I think it's going to be Craig or Colton. Craig's not pulling left hand. Oh, it's left right now. You're right. It is left. Oh, this will be Corey West then all day. I think Corey's going to beat Mike. Damn, so fast. He is. That presses. Like I said, I've almost had my shoulder like pulled out of socket because of it. I didn't know Danny pulled left-handed. Me either. I didn't even see him do it. Jeez. See, the the bad thing is, is it's everybody's gonna. Just get it's not even just that Mike Strong because we all know Mike Strong and he's fast. Everybody's mentally intimidated right now with Mike. Well, they're I mean, not even gonna you, give him you all. You get up there and it's like, oh shit, Mike the tie. Yeah, Holy they're, crap. They're not gonna give it all they got. Well, and how many people are I mean, is that really wearing them out? It doesn't look like he's not getting at all. much resistance. So. Not at all. Because they're just not they're not giving it out. I mean it, it's typically as hard to stop a, an I'm gonna say an average pro press. But you know, my, Michael's not an average pro. No, that's that's so, a know, different that's, kind of you know, speed world, power world level press. Out. You know. So now Brian might give him a hundred. At least he'll give him a hundred. He ain't gonna do nothing, but he might give him a hundred, where everybody else been giving like twenty percent. See. <laughs> that's probably about sixty. Yeah, about sixty percent. Never mind. <laughs> Tall young man right here too. God 
damn it. Oh, there we go. He was. Well, I wonder if he was letting that one go. Mm, that would have been a smart move. Something tells me I don't think so, though. He tried. Yeah. He gave hell on that one. Yeah. So Colton's going to give him 100. I would definitely not sleep on this cat right here. Colton's going to give him 1,000%. Like Colton's even starting at the back of the pad. He wants to drag as hard as he can. I mean, in the <laughs> far side of the pad. Oh, Lord. Mike's just running through him. Yeah, that's too much. This kid's going to be something, man, when they get release him to the pros. This kid has been on a tear today, for sure. Pressure. I'm starting at the front corner of the pad, and I'm dragging backwards to the opposite side. If, I, if he's going to press me, I'm making him work for it. I still get my ass whipped, too, but I'm still making him work for it. Looks like he's trying. There you go. And he's going to drive straight back. Oh, he tried. Jesus Christ. Oh, Mike, Mike's treating everybody the same. Mike said the only people that are safe are women and children. I don't even the women are safe. I wouldn't let my wife pull him right now. <laughs> or my kid, probably. <laughs> and Michael Todd is your overall left-hand winner. Say Carl Seguin? I think he did say Seguin. Carl Seguin? That must be the fancy stuff. I swear to God, I'm calling him that from now on. That's got to be the fancy stuff. Carl Seguin. <laughs> oh, here comes this monster right here. God. Has a lot of weight at the table, fellas. And oh, look, he's low handed. Oh, he's dad moving him. Oh, he's gonna dad move everybody. Can anybody wear him down? Only Tim. Nobody even close. I wonder who follows Tim. You know, that's probably your Craig. best bet. Yeah. It's Craig right after. That, that is just a lot of man to grab a hold of. Hell yeah. You better be careful with this guy. Yeah. Well, I, I think he is being a little more gentler with people than Mike was. Yeah. Yeah, this style's not going to hurt as bad either. <laughs> the way Mike's jumping in is just rough. Here we right. go. Here, we, Here go. we go. Tim Bresnan, world champion Tim Bresnan versus Corey West. Angry Santa Tim Bresnan. I never count Tim out. <laughs> Tim just has way no. too much. Experience. You kind of can't, man. <laughs> well, he's like, you're not carving in on me. Look, nope. Yeah, he's got to keep him flat and open him up. Let's see what we got. Tim has a good setup right now. He's got yeah, him kind of yeah. cocked back he, a little he, bit. He looks comfortable All right here. Do. Oh, look, Ooh, there's oh. Tim. There's Tim. Oh, oh that is a strong man. He did keep him flat, though. He kept him flat. He did. He, did. he used that. He, he used that mitt and he cuffed him back in so hard. Damn. And you thought you were done. Everybody was about to get excited as hell. He's he's forfeiting? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 
He says, hey, you can have it. He knew there was no money. He's like, I quit. <laughs> Here's Holden. Hey, Gracie, this, Holden's about to do it right here. He's, he's going to take the big man down. I'm calling it upset of the day. Upset of the day, Holden is taking down Corey West. You hear it first? Here, Gracie. Oh, Grace. Oh, there oh. it is. Told you. Like a crystal ball out here. <laughs> Corey West is a freaking class act. He is. Hey, it's Carl Seguin. Carl Seguin up next. I'm calling Carl Seguin for the win. Grant, tell Sean to pull to to try to pull together money for a graduate pulling match at the end, like he did the one time to get people to put the money on the table. Harold with the win. Looking Holden, strong. I'm sorry, Holden with the win. They'll do it for the money. Unfortunately, I think this is where Holden's money, luck though. runs out. He did a great job today. He would have done that one for the money. He'll stay for the money, dude. Craig Touye. Well, they couldn't have passed it off to a better guy, I guess. That was perfect. That was perfect. I'd have rather him pass it off to Bresnan, though. Oh. 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 oh, little rubber wrist over there. That was there. all right. So as much as I, I'm 100% positive Craig is going to win this match. Robbie Strong. Robbie Shit. Strong. This could be a very good match right here. No, I mean, not many people would go inside with Robbie knowing how strong Robbie is, but Craig is that guy. Alaska, uh, uh, he Alaska might not. stop, Craig. Ooh. Be set up to win. Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Crutch got so much driving power. So his, it's just it's, his, it's insane. His ability to cut inside and then hit that lat drag. He hits a lat drag like you would hit side pressure. Yeah. And it's it's not something you just stop. You know. He's good at it, man. It takes it very hard to stop. Is that? Yeah. It's like cocaine. It's not something you just stop. Depends on your sinuses. Cooking is a hell of a drug. Fuck your couch. Hey, Colton, what a great hit right there. See, this, I think this guy won amateurs a little while ago. I believe so. But he does not look like an amateur. Like, he's setting up so well. He actually got a better amateurs though, so you know they're high level amateur. Well, you team. know the amateurs these days aren't like amateurs, you know, nine, ten years ago. It's not like you. No, it's not like you. No, it's not like you. That's what I said. No, it's not like you. That's what I said. Not like you. Yeah, you've never beat me, so they're not I like beat me. you no. way more than you beat me. No, wrong. Way more. I can. I have hard cut video evidence, my brother. Of one video, one, several. No. I don't listen to that, folks. Tuye looks damn near unstoppable today, huh? Yeah. Tuye definitely is, looks like he's operating better than he has in a long time. I think I think it's been a while since Craig's been super, super healthy either, you know? I think that's the man. I know he had some issues, I think, with his shoulder maybe a while ago. Well, he back. definitely had that one with the left that was a problem right. for a long time. But uh, He's got that round robin coming up, right? What is that, November? That's Tuye? October. October? It's sometime in October, yeah, with uh, – i got to start doing some interviews today, and I think I'm going to cover that whole thing. I believe it's Larray Jenkins putting that on. Is it right? Is that Larray? I believe it is, yeah. It'll be a good tournament. Yeah, that's the one that Kyle said he thought about going to. Yeah. Well, no, that's another one. Another one.
Timmy, I thought you had it. I thought you had it. 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 You You yeah. It was a quick little move. I was watching it. Yeah. Yeah, handheld is great. His hand is so big. He, just, he, he grabbed it like, oh, look at Tim. <laughs> but your setup looked great. It, like, from, from the go, you can almost see his wrist was almost cracked. Like, it was like, oh, Tim got him. It was great. It was good to go. What's the fucking point? Let somebody else pull for it. West and Brosnan. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, screw it all, and it's you and Corey. Pull together some money. Let's go. How would that have been if I'd have been Corey and the one right hand and one left hand? How would we do it? He can't pull right hand, he can't pull left hand. I'll just have you and Corey again. Tim and Corey! Tim, Tim, pull Corey for that thing. Pull Corey. Pull Corey. Pull Corey. It's for this. Make him pull money. Corey and Tim. We want Tim. Corey and 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 Tim. We have spoken. Don't you shake your head, old man. Get your butt up there. Who are you going to pull? Corey. Well, I'm going to turn my camera off. All right. 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 Don and Brad, let the brothers pull. That, that sounds like a good idea. Look at all these rules. All these rules. Mike's so competitive, he's like, I'm not losing this shit. So while they're sorting this out, big shout out to Brad Cook with 217 being here filming today and also High Dollar Entertainment, Bill Schumer. Correct. Horn Fighter Media, you're right. High dollar entertainment. I'll tell you what, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. I'm glad to be back with everybody and hanging out. And nobody miss y'all, nobody man. missed you're you, Joe. You're phenomenal, Joey. man. You can jump on a mic anytime. <laughs> I appreciate it. I miss you, though, Nick. You ain't got to miss me, but I miss you. No, nobody missed you. Just me. Just you? Just me. I'll take it. At least there's one. <laughs> they still bitching? Like, get the it's all because Mike wants some damn trophies, you he know does. what I mean? So he wants to collect it. He's here. I need it. He's fighting for it. He, he even wanted to do the coin flip for it. Oh, Jesus. We will be back after this commercial break. Right. If you're dialing with STDs, you too. <laughs> oh, 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 O'Reilly. Uh, I got to get in here with this, I think, right? Uh, yeah, meeting of the minds over there.
Y'all doing brothers? You versus Don? Oh. Okay, here we go. Dustin High versus Brad Mann. Okay, I'm down. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Something, ab something about this just feels right. I don't know what it is, but it's something. I don't know who the underdog is, to tell you the truth. I think Brad Mann is the underdog. Brad, are you the underdog? Hey. 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 <laughs> I don't know, man. I, gotta, I think I'm going to go Brad. I think they're starting in the straps, fellas. No way. Oh, this is Brad. <laughs> hey, Brad. Just win, bro. Hey. Just, just, just win. <laughs> he did lose a Jeremy Thorne. Let's go. Come on, Brad. <laughs> so we don't know who the underdog is at this point. <laughs> you got so much invested in this <laughs> Michael Todd is the biggest Brad Man fan right now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and they are starting in the straps. I, at this point, as as good as Dustin is, I gotta give the advantage to Brad left-handed. I just uh, actually, I don't really see Dusty pull too much left-handed. Actually, now that I think about it, Dusty's good left-handed. Well, yeah. I mean, I know he's good, but yeah. you know, as far as but Brad's strap game is strong. Like Brad's got a really good strap game. <clears throat> They're very yeah, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I think the impressive thing is we couldn't find two arm wrestlers that could arm wrestle both arms out the whole crowd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for Mississippi rankings too? I like it. I oh like my it. My goodness. Yeah, I gotta go, Brad, on this one. Sorry. Dang, Brad, you are definitely the underdog. Those odds do not sound good. I'm looking here. I can just fucking look right there. Brad has a zero <laughs> setup right now. Dustin got all the setup. I don't mean looking at the setup. Dusty might flash pin Brad. Dusty's way <laughs> tighter in the setup right now. He definitely looks comfortable right now. That's one foul on Dusty. I mean, I don't blame Dusty. I mean, this man is almost twice his size. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd be trying to get every little thing I can to. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the famous words? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. God damn it. Oh, oh my goodness. Took away the Pro Nation, carved in, drug him down in the hook. Mm. No bread, all meat. <laughs> no bread, all meat. No curveball, no changeup, nothing but fucking gas. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might want to not go in the strap. Oh, yep, they are not starting in the straps this time.
Dusty's loading hard. It's all on one side of the table. They need to push that over. Oh, that's Ooh, a win. That looked like a pin. That looked like a pin. That looked like a pin. That is a pin. What? That looked like a pin. That looked like a win to me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We are all tied up one to one. So, good call. <laughs> that was a pin. <laughs> That was a pin. You good? <laughs> yeah. That hand hit the pad before he slipped. <laughs> what a hit! Brad Man is pissed. No bread, all meat from Brad Man. I love it. This might go three three. Eat your hand. This might go to a coin flip. Smart move by Brad, not agreeing to the strap off the go. Oh. oh! Brad can't hit that hook. That young man is strong inside, everyone. That, that young man's freaking hook is solid. Right hand is Brad. Brad's just, did you see that hit? Oh my God. Oh yeah, Brad's pissed. Yeah, I don't think he liked that one too much. And you may see physical violence right here. Again, I do not blame Dustin at all. A man that size, you've got to take every advantage you can. You can like hear a pin drop in him now, it's insane. Why y'all so quiet? <laughs> 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 you can hear a mouse fart in this damn place. Jesus. <laughs> and now we are going to the referee's grip. believe in the COVID vaccine before I believe in that slip. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'd believe in, I would believe in the COVID vaccine before I believe in that slip. I would believe in flat earth before I believe in that slip. <laughs> What's up, Aaron Blevins? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, Sal. You might not want them problems after you see what's going to happen right here. Brad, Brad's right looks strong. The opposite day. Top. Usually it's his left for us kids. Is it, is it right? really? Usually his left is better. He is, his hit earlier just looks so soft. Dusty looks good though, man. He's looks strong. Dusty gets him turned inside, man. It's hard to fucking get out of that. Left-handed for sure. You've seen that. I just not sure what it turned into though. <laughs> this is why I hate loose rules right here. This is why I hate loose rules. I would already foul both of them out. Foul them out, Sean. Sean, just follow him out. Let him, let them know, Sean, you hate loose rules and loose women. We got you. <laughs> Flip around. So wait, is that, ain't that a pin for bread? That is a pin for bread.
from rigid rules to loose rules arm wrestling in the matter of seconds. Dusty is mad. He said the word crap. He's, he, easy there, Potty Mouth. You lit liquor. These damn kids are out of control. Who are you calling a cootie queen? <laughs> you lit liquor. Oh, man. What a way to end the tournament. From finishing early to potentially finishing at 10 o'clock. <laughs> why, why is this? It's getting, I don't know. <laughs> it's getting fucking ridiculous. Because somebody, because somebody wants a trophy. I throw both the trophies at him. Go home. <laughs> Grab me the water, please. One of them cups. Oh, one of them cups is mine. I don't think I got spit in it. I'm okay. Is it maybe this one right here? Like, as long as you can't see a big clam in the bottom, I'm good. <laughs> you can't, may not be able to see it. It might be in there. We don't know. There's a big clam in the light bottle. Yeah, it's better than Bud Light. Right? Yeah. Setup looks good. They both look very comfortable right now. <sighs> that was definitely Tim. <laughs> <laughs> That was as fair as they can get right there. Great start. That was fair. Hell of a match. Very good start. Uh, fair start right Tommy there. Smith, Brad just put Dusty and Tom out just now. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Do that again. Hey, I, I like a, a Mad Brad. That's your nickname now, Mad Brad. This, uh, this has definitely been something to end the day. I'm telling you. <laughs> I just wish it would go a little quicker. <laughs> and then come over to Brad's. And there you go, right there. How are you centered? Referee Rance laying the rules down on these boys. Double foul. Dusty carved up a little early, but that was a great that move. Man, when he gets in. Yeah. When Dusty gets sunk in, man, that's. It definitely looks like it's going to go 3-3, three, three, and they're going to go to a coin flip. That's exactly what I'm thinking myself. <laughs> Sal wants Brad. But does Brad want Sal? Yeah, Dusty's, Dusty's hand control is solid. He, I mean, he's turning Brad in every time. Yeah, it's... I know as good as Dusty's right, I, I do believe his left is a little underrated. Oh, look, he's... Yep, there it is again. Inside all day. That's his little spot, bro. Think we're going to a coin flip there, buddy. Yeah, 
Dusty stroking some side pressure right now. Both sides game planning on opposite ends of the table. And basically what Brad's debating, and I, and I mean, I see exactly what he's saying, is that my knuckles are facing him. I'm at a disadvantage because all he's having to do is supinate in and I'm on my, uh, on my bicep, you know, and he's right. But he's going to have to learn how to use that elbow, bring it to the front of the pad, and almost come at a disadvantage by being on the bicep. That way you're shortening the lever. And the yeah. slip. And where I think it's at for Brad, I think Brad's hands just stronger right now. Yeah, Brad, Brad is definitely. He's like just the hand itself is strong. So yeah. let, me, let me rephrase that. So Brad's right hand. It's just stronger. And I oh, think, yeah, no doubt. And I think Dusty's technique into the spot for the left hand, just fought, like Brad's just going to be at disadvantage. Well, all right. And you know, like you said earlier, you know, like, you know, we know Dusty had that six-round vendetta earlier today. Yep. Which is, you know, it's playing somewhat of a factor into it, but I just think overall, you know, size of Brad's hand, man, it's just it's like grabbing a freaking mitt. It is. But Dusty is still holding his own. So it looks like Brad's trying to low hand from this angle. Can't see. Not really. It's kind of. Can't see. Dusty's shoulders in the way. Doesn't really look like it. I mean, it's kind of. He, he dumped? Be, he might be. He's dumped a little bit, but Dusty definitely has a. Dusty's got a high hand right now. Yeah. There's no way that's not covering his knuckle. Oh, there it yep. is. Man. It did not matter. So, Tommy Craig and Michael Todd both picked somebody to represent them in overalls because one couldn't pull left, one couldn't pull right. So, they just decided we'll have two people pull for us, and this is the outcome of that. Yeah, it was the best out of three left-handed, best out of three right-handed. So, now they're going to coin flip the winner. So, uh, yeah. Overall, great tournament. I don't want to. Could you imagine if it was me and you? Huh? Could you imagine if it was me and uh, me and Nick? I said, could you imagine trying to ref me and Nick? It's horrible. Hey, I, I know you, I know you missed that, huh? <laughs> me and Nick are terrible. <laughs> and the final coin flip decided it would be a right hand match. Oh. For all the trophy. Uh, we all agree on this side for Refs Grips there, Rance. Let's just go Refs Grip. Can Dusty pull out the upset right here? He's got to do something different. Michael is all ear. Look, smile, ear to ear. Michael is the biggest Brad Man fan tonight, hands down. Starting to lose the crowd here. I think they're ready to go too. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. It's uh, this has added a, an extra element to tournaments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We may have started a new thing here going forward tonight, everyone. Yeah, his, his top row. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I'll say his top row is kind of setting in a dump wrist, but it's not much. He's not really dumping his wrist, though. No, he's not. That's a pretty damn dump. Mm. We'll see what happens when he closes them. Brian 
Giants laying down the law on the table. And Dusty posing on Brad, waiting. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to 217, Brad Cook. Dude's amazing. Some of the best content for arm wrestling out there. And also, if you haven't subscribed to High Dollar Entertainment. Absolutely. These guys are killing it. Hopefully, everything's looking good on y'all in. I mean, I know y'all not front row like us, but I mean, hopefully, it's as close as it'll get. I'm about to push people out of the way and rep this shit myself. Just say go. And there's man, your winner, man, Brad Mann. With the win. Your winner, Michael Todd. <laughs> Brad Mann said, no bread, all meat. Oh. Yep. If they would have started in the hook, it might have been a little bit different. I think I have to agree. Yeah. Hey, we might have started something new just Might have started something new. <laughs> this might be a new thing. Hey, Dusty did great, though. He really did. <laughs> I can definitely agree with him on that comment. That was the wildest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. But, uh, hey, it's been great. Nick, this was fun, bud. Joey, always a pleasure, my friend. Yeah, my boy. Later, son. Thank you again, Brad Cook. Thank you, Sean Hancock. Thank you all to everybody turning in. It was fun. See you all later.
split that run the whole time. Uh, uh, we're gonna get this shit done, I guess. What time is? Oh yeah, we probably got like a half hour to get this off. Of.